57, I'm getting old. Nim comfy. Do HSR before the new boss shows up next MSP spoils who it is. I have so much stuff to do! Wow, way to command me. Hey Dragon King, hey Tronic, how you guys doing? We have uh Tarantula! 57 months! Thank you so much! How's my best best tarantula doing? I, I always think you're a spider because of your name. Hey mommy, how you doing? Can we get a shout out for mommy? By the way, chat, we made two new commands. Uh, also signed up for a bunch of new sponsorships and stuff. Uh, it's really nice to be over 50 again. Uh, viewers, not age. <laughs> you can't age down. That's really good. All right, I think uh, ad is done. Hey man, you asked. Oh shoot, I did ask. You're right. Thank you, Noodles. Hello there. Hi, Tarantula. All right, Golem was here first, and Noodles was the first to say yo yo. And congratulations on having 17% luck. That sucks. Uh, but yeah. So here uh, tonight, I was supposed to do one of the summonings. But I was tired and I took a nap. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, should I even admit it? Chat, chat. For Christmas, I bought myself something that I wasn't sure if I could afford and I was going to return it. But then I was like, man, you know what? I can't afford it. So I kept it. I mean, I, I help. I help the kids, the sick kids. You guys remember we did two charity streams. One at end of December, one at end of January for the sick kids, like the hospital network. And I was like, okay, I, I think I've earned this. Uh, what, what did I earn? Well... I, I bought a MetaQuest 3 when it was on sale during Christmas and I I kept it, but I, I never had any time to open it and set it up until today. Today, I actually felt pretty good in the morning. I slept six hours. I went from about six in the morning to 11, 11 something. So I, about, I slept about six hours, which is like the longest I've slept in a row in a long time. So I was like, well, since I woke up pretty early, 
and I have the energy, might as well set it up. It's so cool. I had a lot of fun with it. I, I've already planned out to like watch movies before going to bed and everything. It's I have the quest too. And 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 yes, I kind of need it. I, I also justify it to myself as like, you know, a, a business investment because some of my sponsorships are through uh are for VR games and whatnot. Anyways, I finally got to play it out. It was really nice, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I watched the first episode of Banana Fish, which is a really nice Monthly anime. <gasps> MMHC Warrior. Oh, my God. Thank you for 76 months. Dude, what a legend. 76 months. This is how you know I'm old. 76 divided by 12. 6.3 years. Rose. 18 months. Big number go, burr. 18 months. If those were years, you're legal now. But you're already legal, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Where am I going with this? I don't know. Anyways, welcome back, you guys. Thank you so much, Rose. Thank you so much, MMHC Warrior. Thank you for support. It really means a lot. Oh my god, Mommy. No. No, Mommy. Thank you so much as well. You were going to make the same joke? Oh, wow. You should get a better sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, and give a shout out to Rose. Rose is supposedly a streamer. I just haven't seen him stream it forever now, but... Thank you so much. All of you, thank you. Also, we have two new commands if you guys want to try them out. Command one! Exclamation mark luck. It will value your luck out of 100%. Thus far, we've only had Noodles try it out. And Noodles has dog shit luck because he got 17%. Uh, all I can say is, that sounds like noodles to me. But yeah, be sure to try it out. I, I streamed a USCR day. Uh, okay, whatever that means. I'm happy you streamed whatever word that was. I'm pretty sure it's not a word, but it's okay. You're, you're now making up ways of saying different- of saying days, so you don't have to admit that you didn't stream. I understand. Yesterday. By your logic, Rose can't drink alcohol until he subs for 21 months. Well, do you even want to drink alcohol? Alcohol sucks. Do you want to be an alcoholic? Chat, be honest yourselves. Do you want to be an alcoholic? Like, like noodles? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Noodles is the only one in chat that I know actively drinks. Yes. N you know, the, the point of this was to say no, okay? But yeah, I, was, I guess you would have said yes anyways. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, you all have problems. Um. Thanks, viewers. No, my mom just quit being one. I know the pain. Yeah, yeah, don't. Don't be an alcoholic. It's bad. Alcoholism is bad. Uh, You'll end up like Mario Maniac. A gotcha fiend. I used to drink too much. Now I like never touch it. Good, good. Questions though on the drama of withering waves with the localization. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, I have no idea what's going on in withering waves with localization. All I know is the game's gonna come up soon, and I'll judge it for myself when it when it is out. I don't care about any localization issues. Um, if I did, I'd be driven crazy by uh, Farmer Heroes, for example. Did you guys know Lagoo's friend is really called immovable in Japanese, but. English translators were like, oh, dude, we're so smart calling it Lagoose Friends, even though it has nothing to do with Lagoose Friends. That's why the icon is of, like, one guy standing there all menacingly, like... that That's not an icon of a friend of Lagoose. Like, that that icon looks like you're the, you're the slave owner of Lagoose. Like, you're not their friend. You're, like, the, the owner, the master. Like, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that, I, I just said that icon looks like slavery. That, uh, no, because it's, that's not what it represents. It's not Lagoo's friend. It's immovable. But yeah, like, translation stuff it's in all the games. They all suck. Nope, I don't. I stream Monday and Tuesday. Weekend, weekends are maybe Wednesday. When is my day off for streaming? All right. Well, I haven't seen you stream in a while. And if I haven't seen it, then it never happened. I also never saw the creation of this universe. And so it never happened. I never saw dinosaurs. Or Jesus. So they both didn't have it. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm speed writing, uh, getting canceled right now. That's all. Okay, uh, let me finish setting up. 
Maybe scroll down the list. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, there. Uh, I really don't understand how guys can drink alcohol. Yes, good. Being a social drinker is fine. Yes, be a social drinker. If you find yourself drinking alone, I think that's the problem. I think if you're out with, like, coworkers and friends, then yeah, go ahead. But, like... No, if you're... I, I had a friend in university. Uh, I won't mention his name, but, like... I remember talking to him, and he's just like, I'm on a third beer tonight. I'm like, why? And he's just like, drinking is fun. I like drinking. And I'm like, you're alone. What the hell is fun about drinking alone? Anyways, uh... He eventually got past it, but like, if you ever catch someone just drinking alone, no, stop them. That's stupid. If you must drink, then you you know expensive expensive isn't necessarily better. Try to shot a three thousand dollar bottle was not better than a hundred dollar bottle. I'll be honest. I think if you don't have the taste for it, uh, you're not gonna care for the super expensive stuff. And even if you, even if you liked or enjoyed the super expensive stuff, uh. It's pretentious shit. It's not worth it. Like, it's a diminishing return. You know, at a certain point, it's just, like, slightly better. And then you have your own preferences, so it might not even be better to you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Alcohol tastes disgusting. It's just awful. Drinking alone equals depressing thoughts. Equals more drinking is making Funny more enough, depression. Oh, my gosh. They could have changed its localized name when doing the transition from engage to fey. For instance, Moth's oh gosh, engage no, skill was called no. Divine Speed and Engage, but it was renamed to Potent in Fey. So they could have renamed oh Lagu's friend to something else, but they yes. decided to keep it as is instead. Why did you come to some? <laughs> why do you? Why do you make these long messages where the conclusion is exactly what I said, which is they screwed this up, and then you said, "Oh, they could have changed the name." Yeah, well, wasn't that my point? They didn't accurately translate it, and they made it up. So obviously they could pick something else. Yes, congratulations on coming to that conclusion. I'm very happy for you. Okay. Uh, we might need a new com. There's like a new command, right? Nuke. Okay. It, it, tonight, are we going to have two new moderators? I would like to teach my moderators, my new moderators, the most important command you're going to need to learn. All right. Here it is. You need to know, for my new moderators, you need to know these two commands. Nuke and nuke username. All right? Mass remove messages by user. So exclamation mark, nuke username, space, at Sugma Sensei. This is what you need to do. A lot. I, I know he'll say many things, but stand strong, stand brave. And have exclamation mark nukes username space at Sugma Sensei on copy and paste. I believe in you guys. Okay. Mod check. I wish we got more Tokyo Mirage Essence banners in fate. Yes, don't we all? Does that mean me? Yes, that means you, gamings. Are you ready? Are you ready to accept the duty of becoming a moderator? I had one large margarita. I'm almost passed out from it. I'm a lightweight. All right. Thanks for revealing those that information. If I ever meet you, I'll take you out for a drink. Have you passed out? <laughs> then draw a dick on your face. You fool! You should never. You should have never. <laughs> you have never. You should have never told us that. All right, am I missing anything else? I don't think I am. All right, we're good. I am a VR user. I'm a FBT user on VR chat. Oh yeah, I could do VR VR chat streams, but those are easy to get banned in because there's so many scary people. Hey Zatch, he's lurking. You be fair, you didn't sleep through a trailer. Yeah, I didn't. But I was supposed to. Do, I was supposed to do a summoning tonight. That's why the stream title is what it is because we're supposed to do stuff. Smash Brothers today? Nah kind of want to. Don't mention Smash me. I always want to do it. I'm an expensive drunk. It's a curse. Oh, no. I I read a mess. I read a... Wait. Bro code waiter. I read this recently and I thought it was so funny. By the way, we have a new... um. I had to redo my Reddit scene. 
Because it doesn't fit correctly. Ah, uh, well, this definitely doesn't fit correctly. All right, I'll, I'll get a new screen. What's the worst thing a woman has done on the first date? She literally asked, what was their most expensive drink? The waiter met my eyes and the bro code kicked in. He just kept saying everything was out of stock. God bless him where he is now. Oh, it's, you can't, just can't see the remainder. I went back to give him a tip, but he declined. That's a real bro, man. Guys, if your date ever does this to you, you just make some excuse up. Uh, just be like, pretend you got a phone call. Like, walk over to the waiter, ask him, to, give him your number, ask him to call you, and and say, and then as soon as he as, as soon as he picks up, just say like, oh no, my grandmother's passed away. All three of them was in a deadly car crash. I, I must go to the bodies, and then just leave. That's what you should do. But this guy got let off easy. <laughs> this reminds me, I, I saw a tweet uh, earlier from, from a girl who thought she was so smart by um, not b paying for groceries because she just kept going on dates with guys. And then like, this is the public flashback was hilariously bad. Yeah, all, all three, you know. Felly, how you doing? Will you play me at SF6 or Guilty Gear? I actually will be playing a fighting game soon. I have to play this really soon. I'm running out of time. I might play a bit of Undernight tonight, but I also want to play a bit of um, Athena Crisis because it's it's like Advance Wars. But yeah, I gotta I gotta play this soon. There's only one day and seven hours remaining. I really need a I really need to do this. But yeah, I I will be playing some fighting games, but it's just I have to take care of the sponsorships because they only have a day and seven hours remaining. Not that we're, we're being paid for it, but they gave me the game key for free and I wanted to do it. I have a four day weekend approaching. Okay, all right, let's it's time. Gamings, congratulations. You are our newest moderator. Be sure to tell me who you are. Oh, I, I, I typed Ode twice and I did slash mood at gamings and then returned, it returned a message. Depression. All right. Well, congratulations. You are now our, uh, I don't remember how many mods we have. You are now a moderator of something. Did you see the Nikkei patch noms? Yes. They were patching the feet. That's hot. What else do they say? I stopped reading once they said they'll patch the feet. So how how was the April Fool's event two days ago? It was great. I loved it. It was immaculate. I wish you didn't spoil it. I'm not doing this on purpose. I have not let it go. My mind doesn't let things go easily. I wish you didn't spoil it. I loved it. It was the best. It made me so happy to play this game. It was my favorite event. I, I'm serious. I think I liked it more than like... I think I liked it more than like any other event. And I, I've played Miracle Snow. I've played... um the half year anniversary event uh, with Dorothy. Why am I, why am I blanking the name? I liked it every, I liked it more than anything. I wanna see you play FPS someday. See how much better you are than me. Oh, that'd be fun. We should play sometime. Though, I, I guess we'll have to figure out a game. They also patched the burst animation. Let's go. I, I kind of called it was awakening. Well, it's too late to call it because everyone knows, haha, -ha, dumb dub. Ha 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 ha. All right, if you guys are gonna call it, call it now, or I don't. I will. I will call you a liar in like thirty minutes. Remember, if you don't call it early, it's a lie. Okay, let me show you guys. This is what the guy showed. Uh, no. No, where to go? What? Oh, I can probably find it. You know what? I really can't tell anymore. Did they avoid posting because solidarity or I have no clue anymore, man. Uh, for those who don't know, yesterday they posted the so it's super late at night officially. 
Here, I found it. Call it now. Call now or I don't want to cure it. Call now or you're, you're fake. You're fake. Call now or you made it up. You're fake news. Now they just fix Rem? Yes. Or Rome. Chat. Who? Who you see? Who you see? Who you see coming up? Noms, I watch. I wail for Amelia's skin. You're such a bad influence. Oh, how, how'd it go? Did you get her? How'd it go? Oh, VR chat in private worlds. Pub worlds is super risky. Sounds right. I have to confess something. I also voted for TMS for COL. That's a great confession. You're a hero. I mean it. TMS needs more representation. It's super sag. That's an old meme? Wait. What? Uh, let's see. I think it's Black Knight. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Oh, wait. There you go. Duh. Uh, let's see. But it's like $9 Canadian. Yeah, you spent a lot of money. I'll call it in 30 minutes. No, that doesn't count. I beat Nikkei over clock mode ratio to 25. True story. Did you? Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Overzone. I like that April Fool's event more than even Overzone. Does the new command need a space in it? You have to nuke a certain name or it nukes everybody. The only person who deserves to get nuked is Sugma. April Fool's event is great. Yeah, you got a space though. I remember that the version update comes in. Remember that update version update comes in 20 minutes. It does. Oh crap. Are we streaming Faye all night today? No, I forgot that. Context warning. It's like a funny mix of YouTuber and Lethal Company. Yeah, I got it during April Fool's time. No, you have to put a space before the at part. All right, but um, here's Amoeba's art. He does great art, but he is a professional artist and he draws a lot of sexy Annas. Which I know sounds really weird for a lot of you guys, but he does a great job on Anna. Anyways, here's Frederick. Here's Lissa. He's so good. This guy is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that art. Anyways. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for the Young Heroes Fate trailer. So uh, we can all, all admire some kids and uh, stare at them for a while. And then go to jail. There was, where are we supposed to go with that? Okay. Oh god. Young Krom means another change fate. Yeah, it's going to suck. Young Krom's going to kick some ass. There's no young Sully. Stop. Stop believing in that. It's never going to happen. You got to let it go. It only hurts you more the more you expe expect it. The more you want it. We'll be killed by the kids before we go, get go to jail. That's true. The young heroes and farm heroes, for whatever reason, are so powerful. Anyways, um, let's start the stream. We got 19 minutes to kill before uh, it's the Fae trailer. So let's do it. Young Tharja? Oh my god, if they gave me Young Tharja. Well, is she still going to be demented? I only like her because she's... She's Tharja, you know? If she's just a normal kid who's a bit dreary, that's that's no fun. Young Tharja goes rip wallet, yeah. Uh, wait, your, your wallet already went rip. Didn't she say you already pulled uh, for Amelia's skin? You're broke now. Act like a broke person. Start, start offering uh, to suck PP pee -pee for 20 bucks. Okay, I need to switch this team. This team is sucking so much. It just dies to Winter Edel Guards. Oh my god. I mean, if I switch to a Cavalier, I'll still die to Winter Edel Guards, but it'll be less, less bad. By the way, as I mentioned, we made two new commands. One is exclamation mark luck, and the second one is exclamation mark PP. Do it. 
do the command. Let everyone know how uh, non-existent your PP is. Oh, wait, is there a timeout on it? Oh, shoot, there might be a timeout on it. Hold on, let me fix that. Well, this is why we test stuff out. There you go. Sorry. There's a global cooldown on it. Let me fix that. There you go. It's fixed. Now try it. You should ban Winter Edelgard. Yeah, this is not Langrisser. I don't get to do stuff like that. Wow, Yogi's 90% lucky. What the heck? Why is everyone lucky? You're not, you're, I don't believe in any of this. What? None of you guys are lucky. 90% my ass. Yeah. How did your uh, I got skin pulls go? Lucky. It seems that they saw my archer on summons. Nimbi did you B. actually get 0% lucky? Oh my god. Uh, Yeah, that's depressing as heck. Wait, which team should I use? Mm, I'm just scared of Lucius. He's actually kind of good. Do I savior this? Uh oh. I, I'm scared of Lucius. It's a teleporting Lucius. There's two dual heroes. Oh, he's gonna push. You know what? This makes it easier. Oh, it's plus 10. Holy crap. That baby hits like a truck, I know. That's why I'm scared. Careful, careful. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. I think as long as I have one damage, I'm all right. Are you, oh my God, is it not working correctly? You can't just keep rolling it again and again. Andre, what the hell are you doing? It has a user cooldown of 15. Gotta make that higher. You can't just keep rolling it for better luck. Are you an idiot? That's not how these things work. Imagine you guys had a fortune cookie and said you have terrible luck. And you're like, no, I don't. And then you open another 50 fortune cookies looking for another one. That's not how this works. You truly are an alien. All right, let me, let me change it. I've never seen someone do that before. It's obviously the first one's the true one and nothing else matters. You can't just keep rolling it till you get good luck, the hell? That's not how it works. All right, there you go. I think I think that works. I was just testing. Yeah, sure you were. 87% lucky. Let's go. All right. Time to kill. You have to keep opening fortune cookies. You just get one that says you'll have a long life and eat many fortune Close cookies. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> what 
can I do? I have no doubt. Okay. Maybe I go for a uh, Lucius. Why not? A goddess abides. Let's find happiness. I will go. They will submit. What can I do? Yeah, yeah. A goddess abides. Time to kill? I have no doubt. Okay. I think I attack and I back off. I could just go all in, but the counter attacks me fierce. What can I do? I seek a foe. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Wow, they didn't push. A goddess abides. I have no doubt. Okay. This is dangerous. He has an extra movement. Oh god, I just screwed this up. That's right, if, if you don't kill for Mortis, he stuns you. I'm so careful, used to just killing him. Careful. By your will. I love you. Let's find happiness. Careful, careful. Uh-oh. Speak. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, we're lucky. God damn. That was scary. Yeah, yeah. God damn, that was scary. Okay. A goddess abides. Okay. It might be healed and move forward. I have no doubt. Oh, she's gravitated. Time to kill. Let's find happiness. And stunned. I seek a foe. Okay, maybe? Close your eyes. Uh, we should be okay. You can't even refresh. I uh, oh, think we're all right. Do it. Okay. I will go. Okay, we're good. All right, we're good. Jeez. Oh man, that was scary. They will submit. I love you. I seek a foe. Let's find happiness. What? Why not? Are you still alive? Careful, careful. 
Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, we got it. I have no doubt. Time to kill. Why is that so complicated? Close your eyes. Oh, uh, we got it. What can I do? Wait, the debuffs actually helped out. A goddess abides. I have to go true brave. I have no doubt. Oh god. Okay, that was a lot more work than I wanted. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're free. I'm free. I quit. I'm going now. Goodbye, everyone. Screw this game. I'm free. Oh, hall form's ending. Hey, did you guys know I'm getting my former hero? Oh, wait, I'm quitting. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. But I'm getting my former hero. Look at this Sothis. I'm so proud of her. Dragon Stone, Rally Up Attack Plus, Blue Flame, Attack Speed Finish, Counter Roar, Attack Speed Pledge. Seal doesn't matter, but like, man. I'm so glad we finished her yesterday. Z, 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 Z. Oh, shut up. I'm allowed to have fun. I'm gonna get burned. Uh, nobody asked you. All right, we'll chat. Uh, we have six minutes to kill before it's time. If you're give me your final guesses as to the roster of heroes uh, we're gonna get. If your uncle works at Nintendo, I especially want to hear from you. I want like gazillion defense matches. You're building a Sothis again? Yes. What's next? Why? Should I not? Enough. We'll carve I love Sothis. She's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a blind eater. Ready when you are. Of course. My pleasure. Oh shoot. We will deliver. What's next? Oh my gosh. She's not easy to kill, huh? Is there a problem? Oh, how miserable. I want to guess, but I don't know anyone in the game. Uh, that red-haired girl lady from yesterday. Jill? I wish Jill was in here. It would have been amazing if Jill was in here. We'll carve I love Jill. Robin, Robin, Lissa, Freddy, Crom, and Emerin, because why the hell not? That sounds really accurate to me. I think this is going to be the least surprising batch of heroes, because everyone's just going to have the same guesses. That little Sag I tried. At least you tried, Mommy. Hey, Melody. What's next? Well, we'll carve a path. Ready when you are. Enough. All right, three minutes. Oops. <laughs> 
Man. There's something on my mind I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember right now. I hate that feeling of where you, there's something you want to say or do, but you can't remember what it is. We will deliver. Of course. What's next? Hmm? Yes, you can now spam. My pleasure. Is there oh yeah, sorry. Well, what am I talking about? I, I know what it is. Yogi! Uh, yeah, do you want to be a mod as well? Ulge? Oh, how dare you ulge me? Ban him! Ban him! Kill him right now. I don't care if he's a VIP. Kill lightning. You can't spell anyways. Alright. There you go. We have two new mods today. Yogur, or Yogi, and Gamings. Fair enough. Ready when you are. Oh my god, Edelgard's still scary. That can be a range. <laughs> All right. We got one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. You guys re ready? My body is ready. Let's do this. Oh, also, I didn't check. Oh, we won! Let's go! Freya into the finals? Against Linhart? Are you kidding me? The, how the hell did Linhart make it to the finals? What is this nonsense? Weird. Freya's up. All right. No spoiling, no spoiling, no spoiling. Uh, X Mage Park vibes. Exclamation mark vibes to uh, spam it away. I don't want to see you guys spoil me. How dare you even think about spoiling me. I'm going to vibes it away. Wait, I wonder why that doesn't show up as an emote. I'll download the trailer as I think about it. All right, I'm downloading the trailer now. Yay, downloading. Okay. Are those Franker faces emotes? I don't know why it doesn't show up. It can show up. The heck? Understand this at all? Use emoji. Skip emojis are less are less than or equal in length of four. Okay. I don't know why this doesn't show up then. Better TV shows up, right? Yeah, it does. Better TV. Oh my God! Whatever. I, let's just start this. Before someone tries and spoils. I was trying to figure out why the, the Krone emote doesn't show up on stream. It should. Before all the emotes used to show up on stream. But I think I messed up something.
I, I have no idea why it doesn't work. Package name, better TTV. Oh, I'm supposed to write it in, huh? Ranker? Faces? No, I don't, I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, what? I should probably just pick a better TTV emo instead. Well, just use Aya Bass. Wait. I'm gonna try it. Uh... Uh, yeah, uh... That shows up on stream. Okay, yeah. I don't understand why it doesn't work. It authorized it. Hold on, what the hell? Okay, I'll figure this out another time. This is really bothering me why it doesn't work. Okay, I need to move on. I need to move on. We need to check out the new heroes. But it's really bothering me that not all the emotes work. The hell is this? Why doesn't it work? Okay, whatever. Let's do it. I'm sorry. I was super distracted. I wanted to figure out why the emotes don't work. Let's watch the trailer now. Is this thing on? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, are we ready? Thank you guys for waiting. I'm sorry. I was trying really hard to figure all these things out. Let's watch out a new trailer. Um, this is my favorite trailer of the year. If you actually believe that, I don't know where you're, <laughs> you're crazy. Um, this is a top three banner every single year, Young Heroes. The best banner every single year is usually Choose Your Legends. Cause that has all the hype behind it, usually, and then it's and then it's one of those two summer banners. One always does better than the other, and then it's the Young Heroes banner. The other big banners, Fallen Heroes banner. I think those are like the top five banners, I guess. Uh, and then Christmas and then New Year's Heroes. I don't know. Uh, Christmas usually hits. New Year usually doesn't. So top five banners in the entire game every year is usually Choose Your Legends. Not in order. One of the summer banners. Um, Christmas banner. Fallen Heroes banner. And Young Heroes banner. So this is a top five banner. There's a lot of expectations on this. And so let's find out. We, all we know is it's Awakening. Let's begin. All right. Oh, that music's still so good. Envisioning their futures. Awakening had such a great soundtrack. Oh, jeez, no. Faded Vessel, it's Young Robin. I haven't thought too much about the future, but I hope I can help people. David Vincent is so good. Wow, he pulled out that voice immaculately. Damn. No offense to Greg Chun. <laughs> You guys remember young Ike? He just sounded like adult Ike. Maybe canonically Ike, you know, was born a man or something like that. But like David Vincent, good job. That was so good. Artist, Neko Mochi, Red Mage Infantry. I was scared right. that he was gonna screw up the voice. Wait, wait, that was burning. Flash Sparrow, Fell War Tome. Magic Oh no. <laughs> No, I don't even have to read this. This is just going to be the gambit, but the magical version of it. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's going to be so ridiculous. Gambit is already so good. We don't need it on mages, too. Wow. Then it tipped the scales from Brave Robin. That's a crazy combo. Grants allies rally spectrum and can move next to them. Eliminate foes of high damage. Ha! 
Wow. Let's see how this goes. Hold on. Doesn't that remind you of like catching from Genshin or riding Shogun? Uh, that that <laughs> that image is so familiar. That is so flashy. Oh, his stats are out. 40 HP, 60 attack, 48 speed, 36 defense, and 16 res. And yes, his teleportation range is insane. If you guys guessed Emerin, wow, it's Emerin. Uh, I don't know how everyone's so certain about her. She's supposed to be 14, right? But she looks so much younger here. Selfless Exalt. I want to create a country. No, a world of peace. That's Wendy Lee? That wasn't bad. For those who don't know, Wendy Lee is a very famous VA. She's done Haruki. That's a really big anime role in English. And Lin, among many other ones, she's a famous VA. Artist, 8-H-E... Oh, 8 itchy b itchy b 8 i chibi 8 I don't know how to say it. Staff infantry. How may I help? Oh, 40 HP, 67 attack, 61 actually because of the oath, 25 speed, 23 defense, and 47 res. Whoa, 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 whoa what is that? Whoa, whoa, what? It's this magic shield. Let's go. What does that mean? As you request. This is really long. What is that? Magic shield restores 50% HP. Why well, am I already reading this? I, I'm so curious. Oh, let's just read it. A Venus attack, win number eight, to target ally and grants the following effects to target ally for one turn. Attack res plus six and neutralize penalties on unit during combat. Oh, okay. I thought I was literally going to create a shield or a barrier. That's why I freaked out. If you use on turn two onward, also grants another action to unit. Wait, that's why she had another action. Oh my god, that's crazy. Hold up, that's insanely good. Whoa. Now, okay, this solves the biggest problem with mages, and the, it's also the reason why me and a lot of players pre pre prefer to have the cleanse skills in your C slot, because you can cleanse and heal, even though it's odd or even turns, unless it's a Hortensia. Oh, actually, does Hortensia do that? Anyways, whatever. The point is, you didn't want to give up your action economy to, to heal somebody, but now it doesn't matter. You can just heal and get back your turn. That's crazily good. Exalt War Staff. That's inheritable. That's a plus. Lights Restraint. Everyone's going to fodder Emerin now. Poetic Justice, Attack Res 04. That's a good kit, too. Really good for a lot of healers. Allies, allies can move to a space around her when she takes action. Her space, her special slows her foes' specials. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a fodder to no, we can reach no end. Accord. That's another flashy attack move, jeez. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, um, canonically, I think the talk was Emrin's supposed to be 14. She did not look like 14. And. Uh, uh, Lissa is supposed to be four. I think Lissa's four. And she's gonna kick some ass as a four-year-old. Littlest princess. My big brother Krom, he's really good at whacking stuff with his sword. Oh, it's not a lance, it's an axe. New war axe, bonfire, defense res finish, and times pulse three. This is your demo. Can augment her special based on her HP level. With low HP, she heals, and with high HP, she hits extra hard. You need a time out! Oh, jeez. Are people gonna plus 10 her? Wait, that was it? Infantry Axe. I wanted to double check, because I wasn't sure if she's armor or not. Stuff with his sword. Vessel of Fate. We work well together. Incredibly so. Oh my goodness, Shao Master Luigi called it. You guys want to know why I'm not 100% surprised? Shao Master Luigi showed us like the the art, official art of young versions of Krom and Lissa and Emerin, and it was spot on. That's exactly what they went with. This is the official art. Well, the artist drew it after the official art, but like this is what we saw in the official art. Also, this duel is not what I thought. I was I thought it was going to be a sibling duel with Krom and Emerin. They could have done that, but it's more popular to do Robin and Krom. 
Hold on. Now we have dual Robin and dual Robin? Wait, no. Wait. Is there a Robin duel? I know we have um dual Crom. I don't know. I don't. That's weird. Also, the VAs did a great job. Lauren Landa and Matt Mercer, they de definitely passable. And an artist, Hiragi Akio, and it is a blue mage infantry. There's no Robin duel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it feels like there should be, but Robin's been a backpack. We'll do our best. 40 HP, 59 attack, 46 speed, 30 defense, and 22 res. Those are nice stats. No. 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 Do not get your turn back. Do not. Do not get your turn back. I don't care if it's just reposition. You, sh you, you should not get your turn back. She got her turn back. God damn it. Whenever Krom's involved, this kind of crap always happens. It says reposition, dudes. Leave it to us. No, I'm serious. Look. She got her turn back. It's so dumb. We, we can never escape this. Whenever Krom's involved, it's just a free positional skill. Leave it to us. You've got this. Uh, I I think they only have two skills, Chad. I I think uh, I think Robin only has uh draconic packs and reposition. Because how else do you explain such a stupendously long skill? I I think at this point we're much longer than Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card by itself in the weapon itself. Do they actually expect us to, like, remember this stuff? Or do they expect us to read this during, like, Summer Duels or something? <laughs> By the time you're, you've done reading this, uh, you forfeited the match. <laughs> you just auto battle your entire team in. Okay, that's preposterously long. We'll read it later. But, like, what? Isn't that a bit too much? All right. Flare? Fell, Warm Skill, Attack Speed Link 4, Infantry and All Fall 4. Can disrupt status effects that could slow down specials. Their dual skill speeds up nearby ally specials in a 7x7 seven seven area. 7x7? Seven seven, that's like the entire map. Witness my strategy! I like how they're killing Duma. Imagine being a god of strength and you get beat up some by, by some kids. <laughs> Why was that only 12 damage? <laughs> oh my god. They keep crapping on Duma. Stronger by the day. No kidding. Is that like the coolest magical animation in the entire game? Every animation is so top-notch this time around. Here's Robin's dual skill. Grants rally spectrum and dual strike to unit and allies in seven rows and seven columns center on unit. Isn't that just the entire screen? Yeah. Why do you even bother putting a range up? That's just the entire screen. What, are you scared someone's going to use this in Grand Conquest or something? Oh, maybe they did it for summer duels purposes, so... As if you're, if, if in summer duels, this doesn't reach everybody, you've put Robin in the corner and the other hero in the other corner. And that's the only reason it didn't reach. It's seven by seven. This is just the entire screen. We'll settle this right now. Are, are they actually like thinking this won't reach somebody? Like what kind of scenario would you need a seven by seven in? You've got this. Oh shoot. It's time. All right. All right, sorry, I just noticed I'm still in just chatting. Man, who cares? Nobody watches the Farm Heroes uh category anyways. No, I'm I'm serious right now. 
Okay, one sec. Prior to me going there, how many people were in the fate category? Hold on, let's see. I'm actually genuinely curious. Oh, sorry. I just have the screen up on the side. One second, let me remove that. Uh, why is this showing up here? Oh, there you go. All right, prior to me switching myself back into the Farm Heroes category, we have 11 viewers in the Faye category. Come on, guys, you, you know you know, Faye is dead on Twitch. Whether I'm in the category or not, who cares? It doesn't change a thing. All right. Did it still not update itself? I think it did, but it doesn't really matter. All right, whatever. Let's go back, continue on. But yeah, there's, there's, nobody's watching this on Twitch. Whether we're in the category or not, doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, triggered. Thanks, thanks for verifying. Oh, wow. There's Frederick. Officially, Axe Cav. Ooh, is that a perf weapon? This might be really interesting. Please be a perf weapon, please. Please. I would love to make Frederick. He was pretty popular back in the day. One month, April 5th to May 4th. And this is the four star hero, of course. For crap like this, the game has no players. Uh, the game has no players in general, to be honest. Y you guys know. Okay, he's already quit. I don't think this is shit talking. I'm gonna bring him up. This isn't meant to be taken personally, but honestly, if he takes it personally, I don't even care anymore. Whatever, this guy started enough drama. It, 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 if it's in his life, uh, if this still bothers him, whatever. Um, Akaris, when he quit, you you, know, you guys know why he quit, right? For two years, he was negative viewers, uh, negative followers every single month. Why? Because he only streamed Farm Heroes. And Faye doesn't get new players. It's the same group of people watching every single year. Um, I, I think every month, maybe we'll find like one or two new viewers from Farm Heroes. Like, I, anyone else who's been a long time content creator Farm Heroes realizes we're, there's no like growth left. This category is what it is. There's nothing more to it. You know, the game isn't actively trying to be better and, and get new players or, or any of that. So that's why, he, like, the, I mean, I don't even really want to talk about it, but like, that's why people quit. Cause then there's, there's no progress. And if there's no progress, why bother? Everyone here is a regular. That's why it doesn't matter whether we're in like farm heroes category or not. That was the point of this. But yeah, if you think I'm trying to shit talk him, I'm not. It's reality's reality. And it's not hard to understand why he did what he did. All right, anyways, let's continue. Let's actually go over the heroes. Uh, I'm not trying to start beef, but honestly, if, if this somehow starts beef, I don't even care anymore, to be honest. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. Sorry, I'm waiting for the ad to end. Is it done? I think it's done. Uh, let me catch up in the chat real quick before we continue on. We're all regulars here at Doral Think. Yep. You know that game I got super bummed out because it died? Titanfall 2. The campaign was so good, I'll never get a continuation. Wow, mommy. Wait, it kind of did. It kind, kind of continued with Apex Legends. Is this banner busted? Let's find out in a moment. Every children's TT has a perf weapon. Yep, that's been the case thus far, so it should be the case. Thank you for reminding everyone of that, Red Love. Um, the young heroes have always been amazing as, as heroes to like plus 10 always they've never missed apex is stinky wow i thought you liked fps all right let me catch up fair they will gatekeeper you will be missed i didn't read anything yet hey mono fey huh yes it's fey um let's see Fifty-one months. As 
Robin Shipper, this new duo makes me happy nim nom. Thank you, Ruby Sakurai. Welcome back. Let me change the title of the stream. Sorry. For those who don't know, um, we were in just chatting. I never switched the category over to Faye and whatnot. That's why this was distracting me. Don't forget, Asherah still has the craziest animation. Asherah's animation is amazing. From up into the sky, the giant laser beam. I love that, too. But it is very nice that they tried really hard on the animations. Like, they did a great job this time. It's really good. All right. Am I missing anything else? To change fate without to change fate, so you can make to change fate so might as well. Uh, I was called by important business throughout your initial reactions. Have you already gone over the units? No, we just uh, finished um, our first viewing. We're going to go start reading things now. I was just catching up on everything. Wait, important business? What's going on? What, what, what important business? Also, chat, um, before we begin, I know this is a bit off topic. How do you mend a broken heart? One of my streamer friends uh, broke up. And by broke up, I mean, whenever someone says broke up, it's usually the they were dumped. But I, I'm not going to verify or know that for sure for any time soon. But what do you do to mend a broken heart? He's pretty down about it. Find a hobby, probably. <laughs> He's not a grandpa. Oh yeah, I'll be like, you should start jigsaws. That, that'll help you feel better. Alcohol and time, drink. Oh my. Why am I even asking you guys? You guys are terrible. Oh. No, <laughs> that's not good. Apply ice cream. Not encourage it, but must drink alcohol. Okay. I Ice cream's the only thing I've seen. Play video games. Emblem Ike is bad now? No, Emblem Ike is still amazing. No one would ever say he's bad. That guy's ridiculous. Hang out with IRL friends, sure. Get a dog or a cat. Uh, it's not the worst one. The generic answer is to go to the gym. That's true. If you get the... Whenever you pump and you work out, it puts out all those chemicals in your brain and, you, and it helps you feel way better. Genesis fam says orgy. <laughs> At least you tried. Drep dress up as Pecora and help the guy out. What? What? Have a fa friend, family support you, sure. A broken heart? I'd say they need to teach themselves self-love and learn they can be happy on their own and not chase love. Aww. But it's normal to feel sad when someone dumps you or you break up, right? Update is out. Oh, crap. Update is out. All right. Tonight's going to be a long night. We're going to go over the refines and data mine as well. So prepare yourselves. Okay. Let's get this started. Let's go over the heroes real quick. Uh, read it through because we're going straight into data mine after this. It's, it's going to be a long night, chat. It's very normal, but it's best to let emotions flow and not cling on themselves. Yeah. Take time to process it. Time mends all damages. Maybe spend time with them. Let, let them know they are not completely alone. And let them know that they that you don't have to be in a relationship to feel complete or be with some someone. They can have company and not be alone. Well, I didn't even know he was in a relationship. My actual reaction... I shouldn't show you... I guess they... I guess I can show you guys. I'm gonna double check to see if I can show you guys. I guess it's fine because he censored his name. Uh, I don't think you guys will know who he is even. All right, sorry. I know I'm not the... <laughs> oh god. Okay, before we start. I noticed this today before we started streaming. I said, why you a dot? He says, just got dumped. Not feeling it today. I said, what? You were in a relationship? He says, yeah. And I say, with a human being? 
Sometimes you just can't imagine it, and you have to make sure. Yes. Oh, I'm both happy and sad for you. Chin up, champ. There are many humans on this planet. Over 7 billion. There will be another. Thanks, Sang. Appreciate that. I'll be fine. You are a bad friend. <laughs> I couldn't, like, uh, I, I, had, I had to be sure. I'm sorry. I wasn't sh I didn't know. I didn't know. I had to- I- I couldn't help it. I needed to verify it. I was- Alright, let's- let's move on. Oh my god. Alright, let's move on. I don't think I was super private and he censored his name because he was being emo about it. Do you use humor to cope? Saying you little bully. <laughs> I use humor to cope, but I have really crappy humor. All right, let's, let's continue this, jeez. Okay, first hero, Faded Vessel. Robin. He's gonna be amazing. Actually, won't every hero be amazing? When has the Young Heroes banner ever whiffed? I think every time we get our mind blown. Fell War Tome, speed plus three, <laughs> okay. I don't even know why I need something like that for sure. Oh yeah, it's not gonna have slain because of Gambit. If you initiate combat within two spaces of an ally, deal seven damage to foe as combat begins. Okay, so chip damage. Activates only when unit can attack in combat. Effects... Oh, so if you get attacked in melee, it doesn't do anything. Unless it has close counter. Effects that reduce damage during combat do not apply. Will not reduce foe's HP below one. Grants all stats plus X to unit. X equals 16 minus foe's max special cooldown count value times two, minimum of eight. Okay, so less cooldown, the better. If foe does not have a special skill, X equals 8. Okay. Reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30%. First attack normally means only the first attack. First strike. For effects that grant unit attacks twice, it means first and second strike. And neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. And also if unit's max special cooldown count value is 3 or greater, and unit's attack and trigger unit special. When unit's special triggers, Excluding AOE specials, neutralizes reduced damage by X percent effects from non-special skills. And if you, unit initiates combat, applies Divine Vein Flame. Oh my god. Wait, what? On five spaces in a line center on foe's space? Oh, okay, that's that's fine actually. Well, that's still really annoying because it took away a lot of mobility for one turn after combat. Alright, let's sum it up. It's a lot of stats. It's anywhere from It's anywhere from eight or higher stats, 30% damage reduction, and it's on brave hits as well. You have partial null temple, uh, sorry, partial temple. And if your special is over three cooldown, you'll get rid of the reduced damage by X percentage skills from non-special skills. That's stupendously good. That's so much. There's no auto double though. But then again, this is not a slow Robin, so I guess he should be fine. Anyways, Flash Sparrow's also there. So for fast Ignis, the idea is you can use Gambit and still get off your special quickly. Magic Gambit, if you shits combat or foe's range equals two, inflicts speed res minus four on foe during combat. And also if units or foe's attack and trigger unit special, unit deals plus X damage. X is units max special cooldown count value time minus two times four, max of 12, minimum of zero. Excluding AOE specials and reduces damage from attacks during combat and from AOE specials by percentage equals units. Max special clone count value minus 1 times 10, maximum 40. All I'm reading here is that they're just making a ranged Brave Robin. So this is essentially what they did. They just made this dude ranged. So Gambit became a magical Gambit. Tip the scales is still tip the scales. And then it's not quite Deliver's brand, but it's really close. So all they did was make Brave Robin into magical young Robin. That's not a bad idea, honestly. But I can't help but feel like this will be another case of Robin where you're just gonna fodder him off a ton because Gambit is super valuable. And while attack speed finish four is better than Flash Sparrow, it's still just a really valuable hero to fodder off. 
And uh, unlike Brave Robin, who is a normal hero, you're going to be struggling to get a bunch of these young Robins. I like your weird words, Magic Man. Thanks. Yeah, they, they just copied a uh, male Brave Robin. Magic Gambit is not that good. What are you talking about? It's just the same as Gambit. It's, oh, sorry. It's not quite the same, actually. It's minimum zero, maximum of 15 versus minimum of zero, maximum of 12. And it's 50% on Robin, the physical Robin, and 40% here. Wow. Good pointer, actually. They're not 100% the same. I just assumed they were. It is slightly different. So you lose about three on X when it comes to unit deals plus X damage. And you lose about 10% on the damage reduction portion of it. Wow, I'm surprised they would change it. Yeah, you guys notice how it says max 15 and then max 50%? And then over here, it's max 12 and max 40%. Wow, it's not the same. I think they want magical heroes to remain like less bulky. Weird decision, I think. Gambit works with distant counter, but magic damage doesn't work with close counter. Ah. So I think they realize Gambit's too strong, and I think that's a fair assumption. I do think Gambit is ridiculously good, so. Whenever we see a hero and they don't have slaying, we almost always just recommend Gambit. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, magical nuke sabotage it. Right, you could have some really scary situations. All right. Nice pointer, chat. Um, still no love and sword. You're right. That's probably the biggest thing. Still no love and sword. All right. Chat, how old does Emeryn look? So I was told the age gap was 14 for Emeryn, 8 for Krom, and 4 for Lissa, I believe. So she's much older, but she looks still really young. She doesn't even really look like a teenager. I would presume she's like 14 here. Anyways, I'm just... Wait, it wasn't Lissa like 14? She's even smaller than Lissa, so yeah. It's such a weird... It's so weird. Alright, maybe I'm just off. Or misremember something. She looks 10 at best. Yeah, that's essentially it. Okay, magic, sh magic shield is immaculate. I think everyone's going to want to use this. Chat, do you value magic shield? Because it solves the biggest problem of healers, which is if they heal, they can't attack. And all the new healers are such strong fighters. IMO, if a healer can use this, they'll use this. Unless you're trying to do some movement tricks or whatnot, then you'll keep whatever else. But essentially, this combines a bunch of specials. Attack res plus six. Neutralize penalties and heals on 50% HP. So it's like a mixture of a bunch of um, assist skills. Uh, healing assist skills with some special abilities. It's really good. And then the one extra turn is what makes it truly awesome. Anyways, Exalt's War Staff. Focanaut Counterattack, Slaying. If unit's HP is 60% or above, or if unit has entered combat or used an assist skill during the current turn, allies can move to a space within two spaces of unit, grants all stats plus four to allies within three spaces of unit during their combat, and restores 70 HP to those allies after their combat. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants attack res plus six to unit, unit makes a guaranteed fall attack, and deals damage with 20% of unit's res during combat. Hold up. Uh, I gotta ask you guys a question. Sorry, I'm setting something up. Is this truly better than Lucius? I really like Lucius' stats red. He also has all double. He also gets attack res plus six. 
but he doesn't convert 20% of resonant damage, but he does buff. Grants defense res plus six and foe cannot make a follow-up attack to unit and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. He also gets an inherent attack plus three. Instead of dazzling, he's wrathful. I'm not really sure if that's completely better. It's, it is better, but like for a year later, that's actually very tame. I'm so used to Farm Heroes power creep being insanely ridiculous, but essentially, essentially, um, she's a better healer, but offensively, she's not actually better, better by much more. And when you consider the buffing aspects of it, maybe it's a wash even. Uh, remember, Lucius helps with Prime, for example. That's really big. Anyways, she moves better, she heals better, and she might even hit a bit harder, but it's not that big of a difference. I think this is a very tame upgrade on last year's hero. And last year's hero, young Lucius was free, so that's pretty big. Attack res 04, Podic Justice, and Lights Restraint. All right, you guys already know what those do. Yeah, her staff could have been released last year, honestly. This isn't crazily good. Allies can move to spaces around her when she takes action. Right. So I think that's the biggest thing. She's a better support hero than Lucius, but Lucius is better for Prime, and that might be more important in certain situations. And his min-maxing is really good, so he's much more tanky than Emerin is. It's interesting, but this is a very tame hero in comparison. Actually... They're really close. Lucius has 17 defense at base. Emerin has 23. Lucius has 38 HP at base. Emerin has 40. It's 62 attack on Lucius versus 67, 61 on Emerin. So Lucius actually wins on attack by one. And it's 47 res versus 47 res. Oh, they're really close. It's just defense and speed being shifted around. Wow. Is this the least power crept hero in, in a year, Lucius? That's actually really impressive that we're not ridiculously power crept this time around. All right, Little's Princess. Our little Axe Infantry Princess has defense rest finish, which is really nice, and Times Pulse 3, which is really nice. I think in terms of demoted skills, these are probably the best you could get. But yeah, finish is really good for survivability and healing, and of course to tech into, or sorry, to help with inheriting into defense res finish four, and then TP3 to help into TP4 is nice. Bonfire makes sense, but yeah, new war axe, slaying ability. If units win three space in the ally, grants bonus to units, attack defense res equals 25% of foes attack, SR combat minus four, maximum 14, minimum five, a lot of easy stats. I like stats like that. I just don't like how they cap it, but it makes it so in the future, as your opponents get stronger, she gets more stats easier. Neutralize effects that grant special cooldown charge plus X to foe or inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit tempo. Reduces the effect of deep wounds on unit by 50%. Wow. And reduces damage from foe's fall attacks by 80% during combat. What? That's just Brave Ike. Sorry, I know, I know an ad's running. I'm waiting for it to pass. I think it's a better version. So Ike has, if unit reaches consecutive attacks, reduces damage from foe's second attack onwards by 80%. And this is the follow up by 80%. But I think this is better. There's less restrictions and it also works on Braves and whatnot. And also if units HP 70% or above, deals damage equals X% percent of units defense. When units attack, triggers unit specials. Otherwise, resource HP equals X% percent of units defense to unit when, what? When units attack triggers unit special, X equals units max special quench count value times 10 plus 10. What? That's so much healing. So if you have ether, it's five times 10 plus 10. No, it's 50% because slaying will drop it by one. But that's still insane. That's so much healing. Wait, actually, no, it's, it's, uh, sorry. 
it's so much healing because it's X percent of units defense. So if it's say Ether, which is at four cooldown because it's slaying, it's 40% of your defense becoming healing. But that's still a lot. Okay. So she wants to spam specials and if she does, she'll heal a ton. Basically think of it like flare, but it's based on defense stats and the special she's using. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, with low HP, she heals and with high HP, she hits extra hard. That's really interesting. Yeah, they basically just made flare and put it in her weapon. 17 HP healing from bonfire is kind of nutty. Okay, that's really good too. Not like we were expecting anyone to be bad tonight. The Vessel of Fate, Robin. And finally, our last hero who I fully expect to be broken. But yeah, it's looking like it's not to change fate because it's just... Now everyone can do it, I guess. All right. Uh, I think the most impressive skill here is reposition as it takes the least amount of time to read. Target ally moves to opposite side of unit. Man, don't you guys miss it when things were just one sentence? Okay. You think? You know, I was going to ask guys, do you think it takes longer to go through entire special heroes uh, fate trailer nowadays? Or read a short story? <laughs> like a short story, like a bedtime story. I'm pretty sure I'm spending more time reading this stuff than an actual book. Anyways, Draconic Packs, Slaying. If a rally or movement is a skill like reposition, shove, pivot, etc. is used by a unit or target unit, grant special cooldown count minus one a unit and inflicts hush spectrum on foes in three rows or three columns centered on unit after unit's movement through the next actions. Okay, so all I'm reading here is that they wanted to do another to change fate, but they decided against it. So they wanted to like make it kind of the same, but not all the same. To change fate, moves target ally to opposite side of a unit, so they're using reposition. Grants another action to unit, they're going to get that through the B slot. Grants attack plus 6 to unit and pair up cohort for one turn, and inflicts isolation on unit and pair up cohort through the next actions. Here. It's here. Grant special cool count minus one a unit and target ally or unit and targeting ally. Okay. Sorry, I was in the bow. My bad. All right, let's keep going. If you just combat was in two spaces of an ally, inflicts attack speed, defense, res minus X on foe, X equals 16 minus foe's maximum special cooldown count, special cooldown count value times two, minimum eight. If foe is not equipped with a special, then X equals eight. Okay, we see that twice. Reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30%. Sure, we see that again. It means uh, even if unit attacks twice, yeah, like brave effects. And neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Wait, isn't this just the same as the male young Robin? Hush Spectrum inflicts all stats minus 5 on unit during combat, if that's a debuff. And if units attack and trigger unit special, inflicts special cooldown count plus 1 on unit before units first attack during combat. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not okay. I don't like that. So you can now do Hush Spectrum, which is something that's going to happen more in the future. You can debuff Scal and stats at the same time. So once you get hit by this effect, you're much less effective and goodbye to your instant specials. Well, I hate that. That is game breaking for some heroes. Some heroes rely entirely on special spamming and now you can't even do that. Infantry not follow up four, you guys know what that does. Perfect on a hero like this, they don't have not follow up otherwise. Attack speed link four, this is what I wanted to read. If a movement is a skill like reposition, shove, pivot, etc. is used by unit or target unit, grants attack speed plus six and cannot one to unit and target ally or unit and targeting ally for one turn, okay? Inflicts speed minus four, defense res minus two on foe. Emblem like hard counter. He is a pip squeak if he doesn't prop great ether. Does it work like that, chat? So, I didn't want to bring this up because it's derailed the entire conversation, but 
Emblem Ike. I saw people saying the way to counter Emblem Ike is just use Hardy Bearing so you don't hit him twice and therefore you deny Great Ether. And then the Emblem Ike players with at least one brain cell immediately said, we'll just use Times Pulse 4. And then the response from the people who said use Hardy Bearing was like the surprise Pikachu face and then realized, oh shoot, Hardy Bearing is not a counter. They just have to replace Cano Control and it doesn't matter. In this case, if you scowl, Lagoo's friend and Scowl triggers at the same time, right? In which case, it'll just be cooldown minus one instead of cooldown minus two. So, if they use Times Pulse four and you hit them twice, wouldn't it still trigger? So, I'm going back to that. If you Times Pulse four your Ike, it still doesn't work because you still hit them twice. So, you'll have to use Hardy Bearing and have that rally. So, Hush Spectrum, because remember, it's at, okay, Great Ether's at three cooldown. Time Souls 4 will drop it to two. Then as soon as you attack, uh, It'll, it'll be ready, but then your spe the spectrum will drop it, uh, increase it by one. So it'll now be at one cooldown, and then you hit him, and then you hit you hit him, and then you hit him again, and he hits you with great ether. So you still get countered if they use times false. I'm just pointing out, like I, I don't think this is a clear solution at all. You still have to run hardy bearing, so you're going to have to double tech into like as a counter, and this is. It's much easier for them to use time spells nowadays, I would say. Anyways, that's what I think. Yeah, it's not a hard counter. So, once again, mods, any of the new mods, feel free to uh, mute Sugma for uh, another bad suggestion. Thank you, guys. All right. Inflict speed minus four and defense res minus two on foe and unit deals plus X damage during combat. X equals highest total attack plus speed. Bonuses among unit and allies with Kanto one active, excluding AOE specials. Fair enough, that's really good. I'm not really sure if you should give up your B slot for this, but it does help your team a lot. Easy cancel access and buffing of stats and then debuffing of enemy stats is pretty nice. And also has an inherent ability now, which is something it did not have before of dealing X damage during combat. So that's huge actually. It, it does increase your damage output. Now, most heroes nowadays don't really particularly need more damage. They need more survivability first and foremost, but yeah, this does help. Fe Fell Warm Scale. At Star Comet, units HP is 25% or above. Grants all stats plus 8 to unit. Wow. You try to bonuses from skills like 4 or 5 rally, etc. Nice. And unit deals damage equals 50% of units attack during combat. Also really nice. And also in special triggers, neutralizes foes reduce damage by X% percent effects from foes' non-special skills. And at Star Comet, units HP is 25% or above. Restore 7 HP to unit after combat. Okay, all I just read is this is a broken hero. I don't really know what he's missing because I don't, or sorry, she's missing because I don't think she's missing anything. If you put it all together, I'm pretty sure PM1 will put together an infographic where you're going to see all the effects, but I don't see anything missing. This is, does just about everything. The Hush Spectrum thing especially is particularly stupendously good. Like it's so annoying to deal with. But yeah, I'll put it together real quick and summarize why this character is super good. Number one, and this is going to be the biggest one, Hush Spectrum is game changing. All stats minus five, cooldown plus one on your opponent, aka Scal, is stupendously good. It's slaying, damage reduction, extra stats, partial tempo. Then you add in her B slot, which will give you Kanto, extra damage. Attack speed plus six is buffing. Infantry null fall up, which helps your allies. Oh my gosh, this is so Robin, of course. Supports your allies and supports yourself, which gives you null fall up to yourself and your allies and teleportation. And you add fell warm scale into that, which gives you more stats. And then you neutralize reduced damage by X percentage skills, which is really good. And it scales more attack into more damage and gives you healing. Then you add that to flare, which is damage or damage and healing. So as a whole, this is a stupendously good hero. She's not really missing anything. For a range unit, this is basically all you can ask for. And this helps a lot of prime teams because you can easily buff Kanto and easily buff uh, Nalfalp and teleportation. 
So, Prime Enabler as well. This character is going to be broken. That was easy. Can I mention they still had her carry dragon skin forward despite not being a dragon? Yep. In fact, her entire kit is literally just another Grimo out, but as if she was a tome. Well, I think the both Robins had that intention in a way. But yeah, they weren't particularly uh, exciting about that. They would just put it all together. Hush Spectrum is inflicting self-scowl. Meaning your special is taken away right before you attack and have a chance to proc it. Charging it with times pulse 4 doesn't make a difference. Here's how it goes. With TP4, Ike starts with 2 cooldown. Without hardy bearing, foe how do always I skip attack this? first this even forever. if Ike initiates. Before Ike's foe attack, Logu's friend charges ether. Okay. Um, we had this discussion once upon a time. I was told they trigger both at the same time. If it is in fact right before a special, then you're, you'd be correct. But you're never correct in anything, so I'll wait and see. Also, as always, you put a message that'll take two minutes to go through. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. So we're speeding through these tonight, chat. I'll, I'll quickly put up like your feelings on the banner. Uh, normally I put like a hype. I would put the hype thing, but like, I'll just put the hype thing at the end this time because the rating for the banner is not going to matter because in a moment we're going to find out about them anyways. How hype are you for this Fey banner? This. And then uh, we'll talk it over with the guys. The male Robin might want Lagoo's friend. Uh, does he? Magic Gambit is really friggin' good. I would rather take Magic Gambit because it costs you nothing. And Gambit is really stupendously good. Remember, Lagoo's friend only fully triggers when you have your special, like, trigger. Could he use it? Yeah. But Gambit is... It's already here. Lissa will want Lagoo's friend. Chatmaster Luigi, I'm looking forward to seeing your plus 10 deadly Lissa. Uh, Chris Hansen, my feelings on this banner. I mean... Chat, can I can I just bring this forward to you guys? I'm, I'm, I'm all for this kid's banner. That's great. Cool. Why can't we get an old man banner? Like, I want to see like the oldest heroes in the entire game, how they would look like. H have you guys ever seen like old Hector, for example? And <laughs> old, okay, I don't actually want to see old Ellie Wood. Old Ellie Wood, uh, attack zero, speed zero, defense and res minus 100, one HP. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that. Um, but like, so there's some heroes in their old form that would be pretty badass to see, you know? Also, I think this is the very first time where the backpack unit in a duo isn't just the backpack. They just really wanted Krom to carry forward to change fate. Yes. Well, except Groom Roy. But that was because it was literally just Illywood Lal. Exactly. This, this, it's kind of goofy how they were like, they're playing by their rules, but they're also sidestepping it a bit. Bond to rise Hector in the three houses male teacher in a banner, please. Well, that they would have no faith in a banner like that. Yeah, I want a retirement banner. If we're gonna have a young heroes banner, why don't why can't we get a retirement banner? That'd be that'd be elite. All right, the voting is done. How hype are you guys for this fate trailer? The answer is 42% of you guys think it's five stars, and then 33% of you guys think it's three stars, and then 17% of you guys think it's one stars. Wow, this is all over the place. What, what is this? <laughs> Okay, well, chat, normally I would give more thoughts about this, but because of the data mines tonight, we're going to go over the data mine instead, and we'll talk it over the guys, and we'll see more. But yeah, those are a quick look at all the skills. Every hero is really deadly broken, as they are every single year. But yeah, we'll talk it over the guys. What we need is a villain redeem, redeem banner. Uh, do we now? 
Oh shoot, before we begin, um, chat, our Discord server works again. We finally went back to level three. So if you guys enjoy spending time with me and this community, consider joining our Discord, discord.gg slash night night. And it's not Nick Nicked. Please stop calling me Nicked. Anyways, there, there are the links are. As a guy who named himself after this game, I'm extremely hyped for this banner, not gonna lie. Yep, it looks like a bunch of broken heroes. I was just... I was surprised it went double Robin. I was so certain we see, like, young Lucina, but we already have young Lucina in the game. I guess, with their spun version. Um... But yeah, it would've been nice. I, the diversity heroes... It's basically just all shepherds, no? It's just all shepherds the banner with Robin. We could have an old Emerin. She spawns as a corpse and buffs all her allies permanent. <laughs> Who hurt you today, Felly? <laughs> You've been saying some really edgy things. Young Lucina was the resilient one. That shows awful. It was. I'm disappointed they went Avatar heavy, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I was kind of hoping for some more exciting characters, but should have realized, yeah, this. Uh, there, there could have been. It would have been interesting. Annoying yet impressive. What do you mean annoying? Well, all right. We didn't see for yourself. I will. You have no good good faith from me, Sugma. The new key. Thank you for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Tanuki? I want to see what it says. Tanuki always brings brings about that he's like the biggest farm collector. I want to see if the. I, I want to see if our, our background check brings it up. Derilio, thank you so much for follow. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. All right, one sec. Let me read the shout out first. Emma isn't among the shepherds. Okay, fine. Be that way. Yes, technically true because she wasn't there to start. She wasn't part of the merry band. Chocolate Kuma, thank you for the follow. Everyone's Shepherd associated, but you know, that's the entire Awakening game, basically. Oh. Okay, nobody did it, so I'm gonna do it. All right, it's okay. The mods are new. They don't know how to do this. Exclamation mark S-O at Tanuki. That'll give us um the background check. Join us Tanuki, a Filipino teacher from Chicago and avid collector on their epic 1987 day journey through farm fates, conquest, and beyond. From 168 hours spring break streams to the first time Genshin Impact quest, Tanuki is all about riding dedication. Whether it's grinding a fates castle or re reacting to new Fey young heroes, which he just did, there's always something happening. Don't miss out on the fun. Drop by their stream for a chance to win cool prizes. Okay, that's pretty cool. You have new, new mods? Yeah, we have two new mods. We need more new mods for Discord, though. The current ones don't really... I mean, I'm not trying to shit on them, but I don't recall them doing anything for a long time now. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but yeah, we got some new uh, mods for Twitch. Uh, anyways, let's talk it over the guys. And once the admin's ready, we'll talk it over there as well. Do also clap. Hello. 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 Hello, Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> mouse. I don't know why I said like that. Mouse. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I'm just being extremely interesting, as he usually is. Hmm. Uh. I hope you're interesting today, DX the Fey apologist. Well, it is in my name, so. No, the but you're. Part. It, I'm saying you're usually. Okay, sure. <laughs> What's the general consensus on the banner? I gotta go to the bathroom soon. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> thanks for rating us before you had to go. Very spicy. Uh, general consensus, I think this banner is, is hitting on all marks. Yep. Uh, it's pretty good. It's definitely got meta impact. Yep. So the reason why I trailed off is because it does irk me that... Um, let me just point this out to you guys, all right? Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, well, I guess now three weeks ago, but two to three weeks ago, they just released a Toon Lucina. Right? Yep. God Lance. Mm -hmm. Destroyer of God Swords. That's her role. 
then yep. you know t- then recently in other words two weeks after lucina was released they were released engage ike and he smashes lucina it's not even close yep he is That's very bad. stupid yeah. yeah so the anti-god sword sword killer hero invalidated ike released and then about two weeks later we're not even two weeks later by the way but about two weeks later they basically release somebody who's gonna counter ike with this hush spectrum bull crap yeah oh, not having i yeah, didn't Scal even is think totally about a, that the one thing that counters ike more than anything else is scowl the moment yeah. scowl is easy to hit and to be fair it's through rosary columns you still have to kind of try the moment Scal is brought onto the table, Ike is kind of doing zeros. Yeah, but like that's the part that gets to me. Like, what the heck? It's been like ten days since Ike released. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, isn't this too quick? Like, you're literally yeah, releasing a character that feels like this is their niche. This is what they're supposed to do. This is what they're good at, and then immediately taking it away. Uh, it's always I, happened I mean, in a sense, but it seems to be, especially like recently, the last month or two, it's been very quick. Just okay, rapid fire. Let's release. The solution to the problem we created okay so let me quickly say to you guys <laughs> welcome to five heroes the only gotcha game that tells you you are a fool for pulling because every single time you fool you pull you don't even have to wait very long before you feel like a fool imagine <laughs> all the people who justify pulling lucina like oh i have a counter towards all the god swords now except ike immediately except ike you already felt like a fool and then people who pulled ike they felt really good because yeah, Scal's, well, you can put on a lot of dragons, but Scal's pretty rare. But you know, the, 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 part... the quote-unquote easiest right now is Veil. Vale. It's uh, Veil, vale, but that's not easy to do. Because you have to no. move within two spaces. You have to stay within two vase spaces, and also Veil vale is not the best summoner duels unit, specifically. Yeah. Right. In in Anima Defense, you can expect a facer, but most other places, she's not going to be all that omnipresent. Right. Mm-hmm. But this, how are you going to avoid this? Just hide your Ike the entire game. Then what is he gonna do? Yeah, and this is a SD unit too, so I come with that. <laughs> so I, I remember when Ike engaged Ike first came out. I I saw someone drop by a stream and said he was on an 18 game winning streak in Summer Duels. And I was like, what? And he said well, that's because he was using uh, Engage Ike. And then I realized, oh, that sounds plausible to me. And then I yep, asked him, yep. what happens when it's Engage Ike versus Engage Ike? And he says, you both just end turn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is exactly what happens. Yeah, it's basically a tie game, I would assume. You play chicken. I mean, that's the funny. That's what I end up having to do sometimes. Uh, I, I did a little bit of summoner duels with like Krom against Ike. I would sometimes just not prime the Krom so that he wouldn't counterattack, and then they both just do no, nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stall the Ike, and he loses because I just walk around him. Okay, so let's it's get this out of the way. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. But chat, this is too far, isn't it? It's pretty on. blatant and very, way too fast, way too fast. For those who were there a couple years ago, you know how I felt when Ninja Hannah got power crept by Ninja Shamir, but that took one year. Yeah, yeah, exactly one year. I still felt cheated. We're now at two weeks at just invalidating <laughs> characters. Hmm. Well, to I mean, me, I wouldn't would... say it's invalidates him. But okay, is, you know what I challenge. mean. You are hard countering really so quickly. Hard. Yeah, it is. You, you think summer duels? You're not going to see uh, emblem Ikes, and now dual Robins. Robin is um, is guaranteed going to be hot, like top usage for whales. Oh, yeah. um, mm-hmm. yep. Ike. I mean, I've always so I've always Ike's been a hater for super tanks, but Ike being the best super tank and also immediately having a, a check, a really good one. Oof. You know what's annoying for me is I'm not even done pulling on Ike Bear, and then this comes. Yeah. Out. <laughs> I'm well, not either. You have an idea of what you expect. But also, I didn't plan on using Ike to Oonga Boonga everything, so yeah. I wasn't really worried about it. Yeah, but I like um, wasn't either. But still, I don't know of a single game that does this. This is, is faster than anything and everything. So I don't even know. But yeah. Like it seems when, pretty fast. Like. Before I said, hey, uh, undoubtedly, this is already faster than all the top gotchas. This is faster than even the crappy gotchas at this point. Like, the gotchas are just there for money. Mm. This is as bad as them, if not worse now. Two weeks is a speed run at this point. Yep. Anyways. 
I just think it's hilarious. This is your cue to not get distracted by Ike Banner and commit to finishing hey, if you throw the spectrum, Spectrum, I'd you're fine. <laughs> 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 yeah, just give him the non-dual Robin and he's all set. Or, Damn hypothetically, if you're that funny guy, <laughs> then you run this Robin instead. Hush oh spectrum. yeah, you could just run this Robin with Ike and it counteracts it. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, technically speaking, he can be fine. Use your own worst enemy against yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mm -hmm. the Anyways, is it's it's this entire thing's crazy. I don't understand who's planning things out anymore, but this is the, what what is this planning? Yeah. It's getting silly. All right. Anyways, uh, as for Lagoo's friend, uh, things just got really interesting. So we'll start with the first hero. Also, oh, I usually ask it what you're really gonna good. expect, but like I. Everybody yeah, expected this? Pretty oh, much expected this. It was the pretty basic clearly. Yeah. Now that I was expecting it before the silhouettes, I was expecting Valentia because I'm going to keep oh, yeah. expecting it until that happens. But before the silhouettes, it was you don't have to guest, wait. but after, we kind of knew it was coming. Yeah. yeah. Two more years for SOB kids. Two more years. <laughs> uh, you might be waiting. It might be one year, it might be three. You never know. Wait, Jason Zog said, Ike is bad versus Zogius. What are you talking about? Probably uh, ninja Zelgius? Was yeah, wasn't he killing a Ninja Zelgius in the trail? Oh wait, no, he, no, he wasn't. That, I'm thinking. Of, I don't um, know Shiro. how Ninja Zelgius is supposed but... to win. I yeah. mean, on the one hand, Lightless Luna will stall. reduce. Lightless Luna will reduce Great Ether by a decent bit, but Ike is healing so much, and obviously Zelgius doesn't actually DR Pierce squat, so he's relying yeah. on raw attack. You need uh, merges on that Zelgius. I'm not even sure how that engagement is going to happen. By the way. Yeah, right, that's either. a little because Zelgius doesn't really go near save. You would I mean, have to yeah. run near save. You would have to run near save, Ike. and then the yeah. Ike would have to attack into him for some reason. It would probably otherwise, be how does... a stalemate for the first? Uh, Ike is made to be able to play a play a I don't know if or, okay. I'm just pointing that out because if that's action a counter, I I've never heard of it and I can't even imagine it. It'd more so be if you want to dis if you ran a near save Zelgius hypothetically, it would be with the intent of discouraging Ike from being able to do his thing. But yeah, uh, I think it can discourage him. Yeah. All Which right, you guys wrote amazing. it's five devil faces. Eighty percent of you guys voted that. Fair enough. Real quick, year three of Thor's war weapons, lol. Right. Okay. Anyways, um, let's start with the first hero. This is where it's actually important. Here's Robin. By the way, let me know when the stats come out. They're already out. Wait, are they out? No. Uh, I don't see any I haven't seen them yet. I think so. I'll, I'll check yeah, sorry. Game. Skills are out. Uh, stats probably come out soon after, though. Um, I'll let you know. Okay. Mm. Anyways, uh, Fell War Tome, it's a really good weapon. I mean, PM1's going to probably make a comp compilation of all the key factors here, but. Really quickly. Uh, yeah. I mean, I already kind of boiled it down. Oh, okay, go ahead then. Oh, it's true, yeah. So, essentially, it's it's Flared Sparrow on top, with as far as the damage and post-combat Divine Vein, on top of 16, uh, 16 all stats minus two times post special cooldown count. So, mm -hmm. decaying. In this meta, it's actually not the best scale, but it's still okay. Yes. 14 max. Um, 30% first strikes damage reduction, so if you get doubled, no DR. It's not great, but it's still something. Offensive tempo, and then also if you have a three or higher cooldown special, it's DR piercing on special. So, not too bad. Um, the big thing, of course, being it's Flare and Sparrow. Um, and of course, when you combine that with Tip the Scales, the expectation is you just warp in instant proc and DR piercing Ignis, hypothetically, and or follow up proc it and then throw down a vine flame. Wait, did you miss the uh, reduced DR. damage by X percentage skill part? Uh, yeah, DR, pier DR piercing on special as long as you have a three or higher cooldown special, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty big because um, it's basically everything you can ask for in a mage nowadays. Yep. Infantry I mean, mage. Yep. Kind of just what Brave Robin does, except um, no true damage on hit, some damage reduction. It doesn't reduction. require something like Ignis or anything, of course. Um, yeah. But. yeah. But, but you still pretty much want to, yeah. Adapt yeah. damage. Yeah, that's what I pointed out. Flare and Sparrow mm -hmm. is the key part there. So the funny thing is, uh, I I think they just they weren't very imaginative here because essentially, yeah, it's just 
it's made Brave Robin, Robin yeah. made into a mage. However, the part that got me was they reduced Magic Gambit from 50% to 40% in terms of uh, reducing damage, and then um, maximum of 15 to maximum of 12 in terms of a unit deals plus X damage. And it also, also has it a condition. only has a condition now. Yeah. Initiates or foes ranges too. So, if you're yeah. running like close bonus doubler, uh, a melee unit initiating into you will just completely nullify. Yeah, you can't gambit. just be a literal mage gambit user. It's toned back. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised it did with... that. I yeah, do, but also it, it does make sense that a mage should not be able to just be a close counter super tank at all times. Wait, hold on. That doesn't make deal. sense because you can use gambit with disencounter. <laughs> Yeah, but disencounter yeah, is more traditional. Right. I guess they they the sort of nerfed it for mages in every respect. Well, yeah, but that's doesn't right. have the same restriction, right? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. No, damn it. No, but... that's that's why I'm saying it doesn't make sense. That's a little silly. <laughs> they release it later, and they nerf it, and its direct competitor came out just before it. Yeah. I, I should also say, well, it is, it is it is a bit of a nerf. Um, it, I mean, objectively, it's a nerf. I will say that there is a little bit of spice um, to having bulk on a mage that normally mages aren't supposed to even have it. So, I, yeah, mean, I mean, it's still yeah. a good skill. It's just you have to be obviously a little more careful than just slapping, you know, gambit the regular gambit onto some melee unit because they'll always get it no matter what. Whereas this, argue, you have to be able to. You want to know what more funny? Cases. We They're literally just worse. got Arlen, whose whole identity Sorry. is a close oh, cousin. Oh, that's I, that's a good pointer, Arlen. Yeah, well, that was, yeah, and, yeah. Arlen is. Oh yeah, yeah, Arlen will like it. Yeah, one of the only Arlen won't. Well, like no, it. he yeah, will Arlen. not like it. Wait, why? Arlen Arlen's has no really... res. He doesn't no. want Magic Gambit. You use mm. Magic Gambit if you're a good initiator or you're a mage tank specifically. Which again, I guess yeah, he would only really use it well. Against like yeah, physical units he's initiating into. Which, yeah, it's yeah, at that point, weird. Yeah. Um, I mean, on the on the other hand, though, of course, you get DR to stack with his not so great thirty percent first hit DR. So you can it's use... true. And if he's <laughs> fighting a bow okay. or a dagger, he likes mm -hmm. it. But it's a little have, little niche anyway. Have you noticed their little tiny attempt at balancing? If you're a oh. mage, you can only have thirty percent damage reduction. Have you noticed that, chat? This is how That's fate. Bad. IS thinks they're balancing things <laughs> out. It's ridiculous. 30% first hits versus... I mean, to be fair, 30% is kind of ass. <laughs> I know it is, but I'm like, what? But it's what? funny, it's like, the 30 versus 40% is like, okay. Like, this is, this is know, where they put their right? foot down on 10% difference. This is, this yeah. is it. They don't put their foot down on any of those ridiculous power creep they're doing. Oh, hey, release a hero, in two weeks release a counter, and less than one week release another counter towards that hero. They don't put their foot down on that. They put a foot down on 10% difference. Yeah, just, they've got like, their what priorities is this thinking? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh man. It's it would be main funny news. if it weren't a little sad. Anyways. Alright, chat. Uh so what do you think of this hero? Not bad. Not good. I would uh, say basically like a more applicable brave Robin for the most yeah, part. Yeah, this is the Robin you range. can use. So this combat, is this 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 is what what I want to point out. If they released this six months ago, I've been alright with it. In this quickly moving landscape and power creep, essentially mm. they just redid Brave Robin many that months is... later. Because he's arguably I mean, just a better. Even if he Brave came Robin. out six months ago, I would have the same position of if you have Brave Robin, meh. Yeah. If no, you don't, I, I, fine. I know, but it's better that way because in that time, there are much more deadly heroes than Brave Robin being released. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although yeah. his support is still the most valuable. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I think this fits a lot more teams better. For example, I would rather run this than yeah. my Brave Robin, but... Yeah. yeah. It, you use this because you have a unit that can actually impact something while also being one of the best supports, period, for stats. Yeah, yeah right. so the thing about warping is that having two range on warping gives you just insane range. Yeah. Like you, you can actually hit, have pressure. what is it, seven tiles away or something, or actually... Eight tiles away, something like that. Yeah, like you warp five huge. spaces away. So, no, seven. But yeah. Okay, seven, yeah. Um, no, the added, the actual um, pressure combined with the R piercing makes him a lot spicier overall. Um, certainly a unit you can actually use. But much like with Brave Robin, the first priority is you want Rally Spectrum. 
This is not a unit you're going to expect to be able to carry everything, because at the end of the day, he has a very straightforward combat. He just goes in, does a little flare and spare damage, Ignis nukes, throws down tiles. That's it. It's yeah. not super, like, flashy. Uh, well, that's but, why I brought it up. Yeah. This is the fairest hero I've seen in forever. Yeah. Realistically. It's perfectly fair, I would say. Yeah, which is weird. Yeah. This game I mean, doesn't even know how to spell fair. <laughs> Yeah, they spell it F I R. <laughs> oh no, they did with Diamant. <laughs> and and it was fair it was very fair. Yeah, it was so fair that it got. Oops. And then he yeah, got like off. a bug. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Within if, if, the if you think you said something, you didn't. Just so you know. Within, I I still hear every. Despite the fact that I get cut off, I always still hear what you're saying. Um, I was saying. Diamond's fair fight did not serve him well, because he was only well, fair for about a month. Better now than it did. Then he was bad. Well, I guess yeah. But that anyways, a lot better. Uh, All right. Well, anyways, this is really fair. Uh, weird is what I'll say, and then we'll move on next hero. Who? The self exalt. Oh, so I mentioned Robin was fair because just brave Robin made into a mage. Emerin is really fair as well. Really spicy, but very yeah, like, interesting, but not not ridiculous. Not breaking the game. Yeah. Because it's gonna did, be annoying, but yeah. Hmm? Right. Yes. I did a quick comparison against Lucius, and it looks like she's just she's just Lucius with more defense. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. The attack of, res healer spread can only yeah. Go so far. The attack and res are the same. Slightly more HP on her. Slightly more defense on her. But that's essentially it. And when it comes to Exalt's War Staff versus Lucius's staff. They both have all doubles, attack res plus six. They both buff their allies. The only difference is Emran's better for the current meta because of the teleportation and movements things. And she scales 20% of her resonant damage. And she buffs all stats plus four instead of defense res plus six and null fault. Or sorry, uh wary. But that's still pretty good. And also restore sending treaty to those allies. And yeah, the yeah, dry support. Right. Okay, but I'm saying that's not a lot. Because you're comparing a free hero from a year ago. To a hero that's five star locked, so I think that's yes really ish. fair when you look at it like that. Yeah, fairly yeah. reasonable. The warping is kind of ridiculous, to be fair. That's the thing that really makes you it, just yeah. exist, and you're anybody can warp to you, and within two spaces, the potential of that is kind of absurd. But it's the only thing that's kind of absurd about her. Everything else is pretty normal, at least as far as what makes her unique. Yeah, Interesting. Yes. I'm I'm interested in seeing how this fits in, like, say, a Gale Force team or something. Yeah, I mean, you literally just heal somebody or don't just rally them effectively because the magic shield is a rally. Um, yeah. Smite her in and done. Yeah, everybody can just warp in on her and it doesn't matter if you have Wings of Mercy, Gale Force, and you, you don't have to use it anymore. Yeah. Um, just hope there's no warp bubble. I would yeah. hope you know that there's no warp bubble and you're fine. <laughs> Yeah, I would normally say I, I if if had they released this like three months ago, I would have been or four months ago, I've been outraged. But because Winter Edelgard already exists, I don't even care anymore. This doesn't change mm -hmm. anything. My butt's Soaring still gonna get beat the same yeah. way. Soaring guidance, smite strats with Edelgard, Soaring Echo. I mean, those things already exist, so it's like So what who cares anymore? <laughs> yep, yeah. Exactly. Sure Most people, yeah. if they need mobility, they've got mobility. Um But there's still some interesting nuance to this that you don't get out of um, mm -hmm. any fun... other Gale Force option, which is cool. It is genuinely cool. A fun alternative. Oh, by the way, the peeps voted four stars for young male Robin. I think that's fair. That's yeah, fair. that's fair. I expect to see him in, uh, genuinely pretty often, honestly, in like meta. But in duels, not... he's going to be pretty useful. Yeah. No, he's and just not gonna warp the meta. Hmm? Ether Raid's defense is gonna be really useful. Oh, Ether Raid's defense. Well, that too. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But I was just thinking yeah. about specifically duels because of his greater range than Brave Robin, who yeah. okay. himself right, range is great. I, I need to know: Are you guys genuinely, genuinely having fun in summer duels anymore? There's all these new heroes. That I, played, <laughs> I'm do I did like. I can't even play it and enjoy it anymore. There's no strategy. These guys just kick my ass because they have new, better heroes. And I yeah. did like 50 games of Summoner Duels this weekend. So yes, actually. 
Okay, you. Well, if, you're, if you're doing you have it a problem, the, the a regular masochist. mode, like that's that's kind of. I mean, I was also still fighting a lot of Leons and Knights and all that, I, and it was actually kind of fun to outplay some of them. Not gonna lie. But. Well, it's fun to outplay, yeah. but when you can't outplay, it always feels terrible. Um, every once in a while, I have a little fun in SDS, um, but usually it's not that fun. The reason why I, if I don't have fun in those modes, it's because, uh, because this is just how it always ends up being for me. I end up having two hours to do it. So, oops. Okay. Uh, I, if I gave myself more time, I'd probably have fun with it. And maybe that's just because I'm crazy. Okay, well, yeah. people are already shitting it in chat. People were having fun in Summer Duels. SD is trash. Was SD ever fun? It was fun at one point. At the start was the, at, the yeah. most fun Summer Duels was, was right at the start. Before the power, yeah, cre that was power creep fun. and meta set in. So. Well, argue, well, even that first meta few game weeks, I remember... I remember yeah, uh, people getting angry. Like the first month, everyone was was simultaneously like, "Oh boy," but also like outrage. The the fun part was when that. everyone was experimenting. Everyone was running their own unique teams. That's true. Yeah. Everyone yeah, was and you, the same stuff. you guys remember the most ridiculous <laughs> bullshit of all time? Hmm. Who was it? What was was the what was the battle they had? Reinhardt versus who? Oh, Reinhardt versus Veronica, right? Some ridiculous bullshit, oh. and the winning oh, play the video. was some absolute nonsense guild force strat i'm like what the f this was never <laughs> happened they clearly scripted this entire yeah. thing it was so bad yeah. oh yeah right the um uh, yeah Veronica uh, versus alphonse versus veronica right yeah, yeah, the whole thing and yeah not reinhardt was yeah yeah that that <laughs> That I, I was laughing so much. I was like, this would never oh, happen. Man. No, t you but, would have to have like two brain cells to let this happen. Yeah. <laughs> but I loved how enthusiastic Reinhardt was about just narrating the whole thing. He looked, he seemed so happy to just be. He did. I gotta be watch there. that video again. Yeah, I gotta go back to that one. I actually recorded my reaction. I never released it because I was so salty about it. I was like, this is so <laughs> stupid. I remember I, I saw your reaction though. It was very I think funny. I, I think it's I'm safe to release it nowadays because everyone's expectations on it is very sour at this point, yeah, so they'd be fine yeah. with it. But if I had Nobody released it back, then people would be upset at me. Like, how dare you th feel this way about it? <laughs> the reality is like that was the most stupid nonsense that you never will see in actual fight, especially nowadays where it's just meta heroes everywhere. Yeah. Good luck pulling that shit off. <laughs> Like I said, if you are the crazy person who does book through prior metagame, there's like five people who do it these days, then you'll probably uh, see stuff like that still. Good mm -hmm. luck finding a match. <laughs> also, Sigma won't shut up about this, but um, yes, the Japanese live stream was way better. Did you know you could fight Veronica? Like she, viewers yeah, yeah, they could, could challenge viewers. Veronica. It was kind of sick. It was awesome. Yeah, really cool. yeah it was but a live stream for a couple we're hours. We're in the West, it, yeah. where they don't what? care about us at all. <laughs> That's, hey, they that's at least gave us a nice VA video. I still liked them. They were like, okay. to some this, games they treat Mr. Christopher English Smith, better. We will have you but, yeah. do this fun thing for us. Yes, but IS, IS barely cares for this game. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> These days, it feels less. I, I actually, um, I actually checked this out yesterday and it blew my mind. Here, here, let's do it. Let's do it real quick. I still remember when they did those, um, they did it, I think, a couple of times. What was it called again? The the thing where Phoenix did the did the yes the cast of conversations. The yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, the interviews. I, the voice I actors. remember those. Yeah. They haven't done them forever. That was like peak three houses when all the VAs were basically one big group of friends. That's sick. right. It was a bit after that, but even still, it was in that era. Yeah. Okay. Can I get this point over so we can move on? Yep. Yes. Okay. I was going over. Um, we know how things are for Effie Heroes EN, but did you know in Japan it's not much better? 100,000 views, 20 comments, 1.7k hearts. That's terrible. Those are terrible ratios. Again, the teaser, 135k views, 25 comments, 1.3k. They're, they're, Japan has a very high... Um, I thought there was more people in Japan that played the game. Right. They they have a higher attention rate and they have a higher support rate. Like, I've pointed this out before. Um, which, by the way, if you haven't dropped a like, please do. Because when I watch Japanese VTuber streamers, it's like the first 10 minute of their stream. They have like 100 viewers and like 500 likes on the video already. And you're like, what? That's because <laughs> people drop on by, leave a like, and then they come back later to watch the stream. Mm-hmm. But they just a immediately drop a like. Tradition. Yeah, that, that, out of support. That's something I would do. <laughs> right. And if you heard about how they do their tournaments, right? 
if you're a foreigner in in america if i if i a canadian went to say california and i attend a smash tournament uh they wouldn't cheer for me in fact they might even boo me that's how it works in japan yep. they'll cheer everybody on foreigners or not whether you're from the same region or a different region like it's a much different atmosphere and how they support people in general and everything they do right yep. um i heard about a crazy case in baseball where uh this guy lost his contact lens and both teams came out to help him find it both teams like even yeah. the umpires and 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 refs like they all helped find a guy's contact because they have their understanding of sportsmanship is way different and support and love and care for each other is way different that's why they train harder they fight harder they compete harder it's a, just a different environment entirely anyways yeah. i'm bringing all that up so you have the context of saying 25 comments in 1.3k uh likes for 135k views is terrible Here's especially the with how on twitter the view count is very very suspect at times sure even if you argue that how are you gonna argue the new fake comic that they released no, has... no, no i'm saying i'm saying i agree with you i think it might, oh. be, it might be under that in terms of the views because of how oh of okay sure yeah sure i yeah i guess if you're worried elon musk worries about bots and whatnot anyways yeah. four replies 1.3k uh likes 68k views for the new comic it's about the same yeah Oh yeah, the new comedy is fun. I do like here's it. Here's the here's the new um, Mjolnir strike. Uh, nice. No one cares. No comments. <laughs> yeah, nice, six, I mean, to be fair, that like, one has always kind of been new Coliseum. Yeah, artist. No comments. Fifty three k views. The April Fools thing. Thirteen comments. One point one k likes. One hundred six k views. They don't Why care. Why did they do April Fools on time? That's what I've wondered. I actually Listen, forgot about that. I, I had a talk about that. I was pissed off because you guys realize they don't actually make April Fool's event. They don't. Yeah, no. I. It, it's funny because I was watching a bunch of other people in other games and I saw that. Yes. And I've been wondering. I'm like, huh. Um, this one doesn't have it. And this one doesn't have it. Well, okay. That sucks. Oh, well. I, I heard when I brought this forward about Nikkei doing an entire April Fool's event, and I love that event. It was so much fun. Uh, they try their ass off on that, and it was easy to see. Yeah. First of all, they had an in-game event. An in-game event with story, with joke characters, with your entire screen changing. And then when you enter the battle, instead of having 3D models, you had the 2D chibi versions of the models. Like, they tried. And then on Twitter, they gave a fake interview for a game that they were releasing, which had a fake uh, movie of the game in action. Like, they tried. Yeah. That's a full-on event where they paid someone to do it. The devs worked on it. The entire... You can you can tell it was the full full thing. They treated it as anything else in the game. So it was full marks for full effort. But I'm heroes. Every single year, they just pay someone to do something. There's no in-game event. They don't even want to announce it on time. And they don't even do it on time anyways. They just pay someone to do a video, and that's it. Yep. Like this is not on this any remote level of anything anymore. You look at any of the top gacha games, they all do a better job. And this year is laughable. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a new April Fool's video at the end of April. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? Wait, we didn't even get it. No, this is this yeah, video is not out. <laughs> that's why I'm I'm legitimately oh. just like just so disappointed. You're just paying someone to do this. You're not actually doing an event. You can't even pay someone on time anymore. Like, what? What is this nonsense? I wonder why it's it's always specifically for like April Fool's stuff that they can't seem to ever get it on time. At least these days, it's just they had it weird. on time one time, March thirtieth, twenty twenty. That was yeah, the Pixel like video. That was the years, only one. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else was a day late, two days late. A week late, weeks late, and now about a month late. <laughs> I don't know. Lovely. Anyways, um, but I'm just illustrating the point that like the engagement is completely gone. Uh, out Christmas banner, one one comment, 334 likes. Uh, whatever the heck, forging bonds, one comment, and this is the one that really got to me. Don't you think people would care more about this, where you can actually oh. influence something happening in the game? Oh yeah. One comment yes. for ch ch choose your banner. 
No one cares anymore. I, I've cared less and less about these. Like, that's scarily bad. One comment, 369 likes, 67k views. People are not even caring to vote about for these things anymore. And the one comment was just this. Three. Three. That's it. That was the only comment. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, that's... that's Oh, the third banner. They, they wanted the Brave Heroes banner back. That was it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, is there any way to say it? That's just sad. Like, mm -hmm. depressing even. Like, what is this? Anyways, if it Apparently wasn't obvious. The, the English mm -hmm. one has uh, has a lot more comments on the uh, on the new Heroes and Forging Bonds one. That one yes. has 44 comments. Yes. But did you read those comments? Well, I mean, let's see. I mean, it, well, it's the typical fare for comments. Yes, oh, so yes. There, there, there you, you go. It. I don't even have to read it to tell you that. They're going to be complaining, begging. Very little things are or will be on topic, if any. Mm -hmm. Every time. Every time. Anyways, I, I just want to show you guys that because this is this is how it's gone. Um, the point of all showing you all this is. Hey, uh, Ice needs to try, because what they're doing clearly isn't what people nice. want. But I don't think they care, which is the problem. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, let's go back, um, move on to other heroes. But yeah, I thought it was really interesting, because the other day I noticed all that. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention to all that like you, but it's nice to get caught up on it. I see more engagement on the English side of Fate Twitter. Again, read the comments, very little bit is on, on topic. Uh, also, one of the reasons why I brought that up is because they didn't post the... Oh, shoot. Oh. They didn't post... So, um... Oh, I forgot to talk about it. They didn't post this on time yesterday. The silhouettes? We were there. At 11pm, and they didn't post it on time. Uh, the speculation was because of the tsunami... ...in Japan, and that's why it was delayed. Uh, tsunami hit Taiwan way harder than Japan, by the way, so... Maybe it's out of solidarity? But the weird thing is, they still posted it. They just posted it three hours later. So oh, some sol solidarity... I don't understand what, what that was. Oh. Sorry, four hours later. My bad, chat. Sometimes I don't know. their Twitter stuff is really odd that I've noticed. Like, they'll post something from the notifications, like, in exact you know, exactly three hours or exactly four hours or whatever, how mu however much later. Uh, I don't get why, but... Yeah, it's scheduled. I, d I don't understand it either. Like, do they really have an intern running this or something? Like, it's just so weird. weird. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that caught my eye, and that's the reason why I looked at all those things, because I was looking at both, um, both Faye, uh, Twitter pages to understand, what, like, um, why there was no so what's, but yeah. Right. How many people, how many real people actually post on Twitter? Uh, Twitter's popularity has been going down, to be fair, but... All the crazy people are still there, so um, the engagement should yeah. still be high. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, this hero doesn't really have a lot to talk about. The idea is use Oath to teleport, and then once she moves, teleport onto her, and then... Uh, magic shield for extra turn. By the way, she might get fought a ton of times for magic shield. Oh, one hundred percent. That is yeah. Lights restraint, insane. poetic justice, <laughs> O four, and magic shield. You can you take want a everything. Mild spoiler alert: of magic shield. What's that? It's a uh, four hundred SP. Mm? <laughs> Healers are viable. <laughs> now heroes healer healers are arena viable. The yep. You, this is insane uh, because the biggest issue we had with healers is action economy. You got to give up your turn. To heal, and all the new yeah. healers are such great damage dealers who usually don't get a counter attack. Yep. You have to give that up. Now you don't, mm -hmm. and now you have the scoring too. This is ridiculous. Yeah, healers. Lovely. This is the thing that healers needed to get on the board, and boy, will it allow them to get on the board. Yeah, the whole time list is running around in your arena now. That'd be pretty funny. Cornelia and Lucius can both legitimately kind of score now. Like if you want. That's to true. Cornelia and Arena could be really mm -hmm. useful. So, mm -hmm. and of course, again, starting turn two, they have a once per two turns self refresh. With yep. 04, it's also not really a big issue about the gravity. And it's yep. a penalty buff. Yeah, a penalty immunity buff. Yeah, yep. that's, uh. <laughs> 
this is insane for all healers, not just for Emerin. Right, so we're about to see some really badass healers, like Tina or something. Yeah, Tina, Tina can show up more in Arena. Tina, sorry, yeah. The police can legitimately scary. score. Um, That's true, a duo, duo unit, yeah. A um, duo at least in Arena, oof. That's big, because in a lot of engagements nowadays in Arena, you can draw it out, but you, you can't win the fight like that unless you yeah, heal. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Especially, heal. like, if you're fighting, like, the last unit and it's uh, a Brave Corn or something, and you really need your bonus unit to kill, you can just start healing them up. Yep. For example, against uh, healing. Hmm? dual Bilef, I'll eventually lose. Yeah, that. True. But we can at least draw it out a bit, you know. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. also, technically speaking, if you can figure out how to position this, you can buff the penalty immunity and send the unit off to tank Sanaki without having to worry about her true damage whatsoever. <laughs> oh shoot! Also, yeah. Um, in terms of retreating, that's huge. Yeah, because yeah, you can also just heal and warp away, or standard walk away depending on your situation so you don't even have to commit it mm -hmm. um starting from turn two right so as if that's not already enough and you can take um like magic shield pre fodders off of i believe magic shield itself so i think you'll need two skills for that oh that's fine um, i think you still have enough room to take yeah so you take the magic shield one two light restraint poetic justice and oath four that's you yeah you're still skills. fine you still <laughs> you take, everything. take everything yep yeah you just need wrathful pre fodder. It's I've, I've yesterday. Um, someone showed me a Jill, and I was super satisfied to see all five skills taken, and they were all three hundred SP high value skills. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. so beautiful when you can do that. Which also you have to consider because we have one. You can use Hortensia for duplicating some of this yep. stuff if you need to. Okay, well that's much more expensive. You're just talking like a whale now, Legion. This is what. <laughs> this is what I would have done it if I didn't start a whale, but then he never one. whales himself. It's very ironic. I would have yeah. been able to do it, but I fought her to Hortensia. Yeah, I would have been able to do it if I opened my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> I literally didn't have to. I, I just had no restraint, and I gave Hortensia to Emerun because I didn't think we'd get this. <laughs> okay. But there is a lot of Hortensia in Arena. That's why I brought it up, because I do... They're not Arena, Summoner Duels, so I know a lot of people have her. Mm. Um, just something to keep in mind. Also, uh, to answer... Uh, Ruby Sakurai, uh, that you're coping, man. People were speculating that the reason we aren't getting April Fool's stuff until the end of the month because the video has a character that hasn't been introduced in Phase Store yet. Do you want to know why that's coping? Say you are correct, and that is because they have a character in it that wasn't there until the end of the month. It's April Fool's. To not tune on April 1st makes zero sense. Yeah. Imagine I showed up and started pranking people on April 28th. <laughs> And I'd be like, April Fools! Everyone look at me like I'm a moron. Yeah. Because you would be. Because I would be, exactly. Even if it was true, it's a joke video. So we're gonna get some like, oh, let's say it's all father. And he's just like, dude, the asker. And he does a stupid dance. And you're like, wow, this is so spoilery. It's just ruined my experience. The all father. <laughs> wow. Wouldn't be in this book, but yeah. <laughs> I, I, the point was like, who cares? It's a joke or video. We all like know that. The dad of, of, in this case, I guess, uh, rest over and yada yada. But even still, it's like Ogre. okay. Uh, it, yeah. Well, no, rest over and Ethan because isn't he both her? Okay, yeah, whatever. Nice it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> who no, I, I just, who I just it just actually is? Legion. What is the I, need I, to correct this? What the hell? No, no. <laughs> no, you weren't correcting anything, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> oh my god. You were correcting me. I said Neath Ogre. Um, anyways. The point was, it doesn't matter who the characters are because it's a joke video, so who cares? Yes, it doesn't matter. It's, like even if show. it was correct, like it's misguided. And even if it wasn't, yeah. it's still misguided. Like, the, the logic there doesn't match up in any case, is what I'm trying to say. That was the point. So does there a need to correct anything there? Who cares? We're speculating who, whatever random care. Fill in whatever you want. All right, come on. Yeah, I all I thought was, I thought Legion was correcting me, and that's why I was trying to respond. Oh, God, Jesus. Okay. I mean, they put Tamara in last year's April Fool's before she was in. They did? Well, we know Tamara exists. Yeah, they do. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Tamara, Tamara's base. That's okay, well then. Then then stop coping, you stupid <laughs> Fae fans. Just look at it for what it... I'm... Look. Oh, my God. Where did it go? I'm not oh. trying to shit on <laughs> Farm Heroes, but, like... Stop making excuses for this game, please. Just be yeah. realistic people. Come on. Look at it how it is, not how you want to see it. I swear this game has... 
I play Genshin Impact. You guys hear all the time about their shitty fans, but I, I see less copium from those guys in here. That's saying mm -hmm. something. Ugh. Oh god. Anyways, let's let's move on. Um, final two heroes. Yep. Yep. The littlest princess. I actually thought she might be armored for a moment because we had Valentine Lissa and she's armored. We have Christmas Lissa and she's armored. Yeah, that's what. That's one of one of you said. I forgot who said it. Well, Lissa thing. moment. <laughs> I forgot which yeah, one you said. Well, anyway, anyway. I, I did mention Valentine Lissa in arena. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, but uh, this is about to get really interesting because she's going to be, what, 190? Uh, yeah. Uh, Might even 195. 195, yeah, rather. Trainee. I, I was like, trainee? Young units are usually not trainee. Okay, oh, right. <laughs> you have to have already been predisposed to being a trainee unit. Anyways, yep. uh, if I wasn't already trying to make a plus 10 Alir, this would have been tempting because this is a, this is a very high class hero. I should now. also say that if you have Farkas, mm -hmm. then that's another unit that competes. Okay, well, <laughs> I was going to bring that up, but all right, cool. Yes, yeah. now <laughs> there are alternatives, is what I was about to say, but okay. <laughs> Oops. Um, yep. Yeah. What alternatives? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, but she's really good because she's slaying. Scaling of stats based on foe's attack, which is really good for the future because they'll get more attacks and she'll max out easier. She yep. neutralizes effects that grant special quality charge plus X and minus X, aka tempo. She has deep wounds resistance, so she's always going to be healing really well and shouldn't be stopped. And then 80% follow up attack reduction, which is really nice. They didn't show her stats, but easy assumption she's going to be slow. And then, yeah. if your HP is over 70%, Deals damage equals X percent of unit's defense when unit attacks triggers unit specials. She wants to spe uh, spam specials. And then the big thing, her healing's crazy. Yeah, if she is below 70%, she's just healing up to half her HP realistically. Yeah. So it is nice that it's adaptive. There was, wasn't there another unit who, or actually, no, it's not even a unit. It's just, it works basically like flare. I think, doesn't flare also if you're- Yeah, flare is the yes, same idea. It's essentially flare. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This, this actually- One yeah. or the other, yeah. This actually isn't that fresh of an idea. They just combined a bunch of stuff in the game and they made it. And also, yeah, but to have it in a weapon is pretty interesting. Right. I guess it could also be technical. It is more like, um, you know, Claude, Brave Claude's idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. Literally, DR yeah. having and healing half your HP up to. Um, yep. More realistically, you're going to be healing anywhere from 30% to uh, 40%. But yeah. Right. And uh, last year's Young Rebecca was kind of just like this, where they was an amalgamation of ideas, but she was really good. And so surprisingly bulky it. for a class, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I expect this to be a really good hero going forward. Um, the kit's perfectly fine. Defense, rest finish, and uh, times pulse. Obviously, once she comes out, you'll have a very different kit. To be yep. fair, defense, res finish is really good if you want pre fodder for foddering uh, Emblem Ike. If you're going to do. Yeah, that's uh, a funny part. The use friend and finish four. Because I know a lot of people are. Um, mm -hmm. Literally, it gave you the pre fodder almost immediately. So that's nice. And of course, Times Pulse is nice, even okay, though we're now, getting it in Divine Codes. Now yeah. that we know more about Lagoo's friend, has has your views on who which heroes should use it changed? Yeah. Mm. Oh, really? I'd okay. say a little bit. Well, let's put it this way. When I when we first discussed it, I wasn't there for the day of mine, so I wasn't oh, right. that. Yeah. Um, nobody was I had it. like almost I almost just straight up agreed that there was nobody. But after seeing a lot of experiment, I've been seeing a lot of people experiment with it, and I've been kind of doing some numbers myself, and it, it's actually a pretty diverse skill. It's just you have to be a unit who does not already use a lot of percent DR. Yeah, you right. have to build around if it. If any. Bit. Well, one of the best users is definitely Do Asker, which we already were pretty. Yeah, anybody that around. already had. I mean, same thing with Midori, even, which that's a funny one. Um, yeah, that's true. Oh, Midori that's right. actually does use it very well. It's true. Um, because then she doesn't even have to worry about her cooldown penalty. Um, yeah, if, for those kinds of units. units who don't rely on their percent DR mm -hmm. can find some way to I use mean, it. It's just okay. my personal favorite. I was gonna uh -huh. say, I was just gonna say, one of my personal favorites, one of the few I can say for percent DR losing legendary Krom, who cares about his DR? Just throw this on him now, he's annoying. Yeah, that's um, true. Um, so. I think that there is a more diverse variety of units that can use it than I thought before. I'll say that. The only things that changed from my initial thoughts was that defensive special heroes like yep. um, Fjorm and 
Corin are good users of it now. This or, is what yeah, I realized. Yeah. Yeah. Legendary Corin, I've heard, is actually really good. Yeah, However, you can loop it in combat. The one that really got to me was the talk about putting Miracle on uh, <laughs> Dual Asker, and yeah, it's because P1 this. did it. Well, I was getting really annoyed because it made no sense to me, but people said PM1 did it, and it was just like, well, the rationale is PM1 did it, and therefore it's good, is essentially how it was explained to me. And so, then I looked really? at PM1's explanation, it's and he doesn't explain it. He just explains like how it could work, but he doesn't yeah. explain why it's good. So all I saw was this. It makes no sense to me mentally because, one, on Dual Asker to run Miracle, this guy already has easily 70 plus defense 60 plus res easily probably yeah. he probably has wary on him because of his own uh buffing right In first the battle wary uh, yeah shields, shields, yep. shields once per phase. he has true damage reduction based on his defense In what Pretty scenario fair. do you actually get hit into miracle like it will never trigger valentine's so, leon mostly it, yeah um, it's yeah, one matchup it's gonna be extreme chip damage you want to know what happens in that matchup he doesn't yeah. kill leon leon has 70 plus res and he's not doing a special that does damage he doesn't hit because he doesn't have no C disrupt. So it's not even, that doesn't even matter. Oh, then what the That's fuck true. is the you point? Would have to so <laughs> when I saw that, I was just like, I spent literally 20 minutes on that trying to understand why people were recommending oh. this. And I realized it's just because a content creator recommended it. Nobody actually knows why they're doing it. It's just because someone's. Granted, it's, no, PM, yeah. PM1 is a smart guy and mm -hmm. he doesn't make these mistakes mm -hmm. often, but I he never explained it. And every explanation I've gotten so far is just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense to me. It is definitely I. I don't know nukes too well as far as their damage dealings. The only thing I can say is, if you really need a bulky frontliner or assigned decoy savior Gave like you that does not Rinka. have to re <laughs> be your damage um, carry. Yeah, Legion, weren't but you? Rinka's we not were, bad with it, I, to be fair. Rinka's actually pretty good. Yeah, no, she is. Um, well. Legion, weren't, weren't we theory crafting a little yesterday and you said, basically the one instance you could see this being kind of a, a solid strategy is in summoner duels, just parking him in front and making sure making that, sure that have... no matter what, the opponent can't win yeah. in one round. That's the yeah. only thing I can see it for. Yeah, okay, but you realize the problem? Avenues, yeah. He's not scary without a special. No, he's not. So well, what yeah, the hell's not, the point? He you literally are using you take it away everything to you know? try and counter what again? I again, PM1 never mentioned what it's supposed to counter. Well, it's not I even, don't, I don't I, think it I even counters I anything. I, I don't think it think counters it anything, him, it just survives. Right? What's the hell's yeah, the point of that? Survives. It just makes him unkillable. Is... It is literally just supposed to make him the absolute most unkillable it, it, unit possible. There is I, nothing in the yeah. game, I think, that can kill him in one round. Not even, yeah, but why? What's the value in that? Not so much, but yeah, uh, what's the value? Realistically, basically, yeah, value would just you took away him. all his positive matchups and you just made him harder to kill and that's it like you basically force anything into a neutral matchup or if he's already taking them like if it's a second or third combat hypothetically then it could possibly I mean, help out um realistically i think that's why it's really summoner duels focus because in ether raids yes. in you ether really hell want to use that hell no um my personal thing is sometimes Wait, what do you mean best... you thought this channel quit a long time ago what the heck what? Uh, <laughs> when did i quit <laughs> what well i mean that's a weird you didn't quit you didn't quit i rebranded sure but like i i was ta i talked literally two years about rebranding and when yeah, i finally well, did it people were like why did you yeah, rebrand <laughs> what the hell it's so funny you talked about it for so long only for people to yeah, yeah like it. remember how i used to start every fade trailer reaction yeah, of like i'm gonna be like changing my name soon one. and i did it for like for two so years <laughs> and then when i finally did it people were like why'd you do it <laughs> <laughs> what the hell <laughs> thanks to like a murder mystery uh, or something <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> Um, but, uh, anyway. but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So, first of all, I see Ian can saying that there are some things that can kill that asker. I believe it. I don't. No, I believe that's ter yeah. I'm terrified yeah. of the idea, but I believe it. Um, I personally, part of my thought process is sometimes your best offense is defense. If you can just mm. kill before they get the follow up, or if you can initiate and kill something before with pressure from Magnus. Hypothetically, it's a little harder to initiate for pressure, but I, that can be useful, huh? I have seen people run Ignis too. That's the main. Tip. I think it's, it's the, miracle. That's, that's I think the it most useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you probably don't run. You you can't run bonfire. 
You just run Ignis. Um, it's between Ignis or Miracle. I don't think there's really any other option worth yeah, trying. No. Um, realistically, you only run Miracle if you have no need for more damage pressure and you are using him for very specific support, frontline, or savior stalling. That's it. Okay. That's it. Look, yep. you did a better job of explaining this than what PM1 did because he never said any of those things. Well, when yeah. he's really copying those... that build without understanding what it's for. Yeah. I think most when he's going over that. those builds in succession, he usually gives kind of a pretty small explanation. I know so that can sometimes lead people. Which, to... if they're more traditional builds that just uh, you're yeah, also introducing the concept, the units with the skill. But this is not Fine. traditional at all. Miracle is never traditional. It's yeah. a good, it's a good tech skill. Like I mean, back when Duo Duma was for like two. Months oh, thanks, meta. mommy. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> For the two months that Duo Duma was meta, Miracle was the way to go on him, genuinely. So it has value. It's just, it's super niche, and you realistically have to be able to pivot off the momentum that a Miracle proc, if it even happens, gets you. And That's what I'm saying. Are tough. It's how rare are those cases? Mm hmm. Like, it makes no sense. And he doesn't have Bulwark or something. Nope. Like, oh, hey, you, the you absorb the Duo Leon hit, and he just runs by you. Yep. <laughs> Next turn. Pretty you know. much. Also, if you absorb a dual Leon hit, I mean, that that particular magic, you may live it, um, but <laughs> Leon's still going to end somebody else's turn, so still Yeah, sucks. what was the point of that? Like, yeah. that's that's why that I, I did all just, the logical thinking, yeah. and it was just... That matchup just sucks, to be fair, but yeah. um, no matter which but that's But that's why I brought it up, because uh, DX tried explaining it, but I was like, what the hell? This still makes no sense. Like, I know oh. what, it, in theory, it could possibly do, in practicality, how often is it going to matter? Yeah, no, it was. Well, at first, I was. I thought you weren't understanding it, but then a few a few minutes later, you gave more more information. That I was like, oh, okay. I think you he jumped in halfway so. through. Is what happened because well, yeah, I, yeah. I I read it for, for starters. Sugma said I couldn't. I wasn't reading it correctly. I was missing the or part. He said that I had read it three times. There was no or part. I was talking about this part two of the thing, but he thought it was meant the entire damn skill. No, right. no, I was this, talking about something the, different. I, I was actually, getting really right. annoyed because the entire time people were just not listening to what I was trying to say, and they kept telling me I was getting it wrong. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Anyways, uh -huh. whatever. What, the, uh, what happened to him? He died. <laughs> <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> uh, we don't ask questions here. He'll he'll resurrect from the dead at some point. Um. <laughs> Now, yeah, so... Okay, uh, sorry, I just wanted to conclude yeah. it, because but what you pointed out. I assume Miracle right. and Asker is just for tanking. Yes. No. Strict. Well, Hold on, I mean, no. Strictly. Because uh -oh. Uh -oh. even yeah. without it, he's already tanking. It's only for matchup where he could potentially die. So it's for saving him from, like, what, an AoE? Potentially yeah. a well, massive burn damage not an chip? AoE, because his AoE DR is... You know, drop in, potentially dropping the one. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, he also has that extra... Okay. Wait, that just makes it even worse. It's literally just one situation mm -hmm. then. It's yeah. either pre-combat damage or an insane amount of either A, attack versus, like, actual damage or true damage scaling. Like, yeah. if you're dealing, like, 20 plus true damage on hit, it's going right. to eventually add up. Right, right, I get that. But, like, that makes so little sense. It's such a specific matchup, and he didn't even name it, and I can't even name it. Like, who's this for? Yeah. I, I still don't really know. Because, again, we, we talked about Dual Leon. If it's Dual Leon, it doesn't really do anything, because... Yeah. Duel Leon's still alive, he's still gonna end your turn, so what was the point of that? All Break. you can really use it for is so that Leon can't just get a kill while he's doing it. I guess there right. may be the argument of, like, for example, hey, you're alive. Um, oh, literally. Twice. If... You can say that twice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess in the hypothetical scenario, like, Using a, like, not exactly the most optimal case, but if you got heavily debuffed and you're fighting Sanaki, you're taking, like, 20, 30 plus sure, crew damage, okay. and also her attack, and also a cultist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, true DR, the thing that distinguishes true DR from percent, and mm -hmm. I like I like the way that Faye is shifting towards true DR, because... No, I don't like that, but go ahead. <laughs> I, I like it, in, I like it, in, <laughs> so this is the respect I do like it from. It's harder to counter, okay. but yep. it does not adapt to how badly you're taking damage. A right. nuke will still eventually nuke you, as opposed to percent DR, where you could take 100 damage or 50, and the percent DR will be able to count for that, adjust for it accordingly. Right. You Once you're past your true DR limit, you're done. It's, uh, in Asker's case, a large limit, 
But once you're past that, eventually he's going to die and there's nothing he can do about okay. it. Okay, I get that. I get it. But yep. it's not worth it. You sacrifice all his positive matchups. Mm -hmm. He was once scary. He's now not scary. Yep. And I think we could get to that point. We're not there right now. Perhaps. The part. But the other thing is, the point of Miracle is to use it. I can't even imagine a lot of situations where he gets put into that situation, where he needs to use it. So if you never right. use a Miracle, you might say, oh, it's a nice to have. You just gave a Bonfire or Ignis for it. What was the yeah, point then? Ignis, can, yeah. Can't you just run e Ike or engage Ike support on Asker's special anyway? Yes, yeah, so you would be able to get percentage damage reduction. Okay, so, then that, that defeats the purpose even more. <laughs> yeah, you would engage with a... Personally, I am way more an Ignis supporter on Asker, just to be clear. I think that Miracle, I would have it in my back pocket if I needed it, but I would not be planning to use it. Right, I think... I think Ignis is just better. I think yeah, Miracle mostly. makes more sense on flimsy heroes without true damage reduction, for starters, who would actually get hit into it a lot more often. Like, yep. Celica, for example, with Miracle makes sense because she would actually use it. Or, or like, units like Ana, who are just, obviously, who is literally made for it. Right. Or some saviors who don't have the best bulk, but do make good use out of being a savior if right. they're alive. For example, the most famous Miracle hero is Self, Brave Self. He can't mm -hmm. use this Lagoose friends, obviously, but like the reason why he's famously for that, because he has shitty ass res. So he finds himself, it actually matters. It triggers. If a skill never triggers, what was the point of it? Mm -hmm. Anyways. Yep. But yeah, but it's definitely a trade off that is not worth making at the moment. At the moment. Yes. Um, also, the funny thing is you don't get DR piercing unless you proc the miracle. So if you get there, neat, you do. That's it. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so that, that, that's my general position on Miracle, Asker, and by extension, any of those Miracle-esque true DR super tanks. Hold, hold up, Yinkin. The trade is pretty good trade. You kill their Leon after he hits your Asker one up. Okay. What situation is that? Because if it's a player... Depends on the amount of Why would of he do that? Probably. Yeah, it depends on the number of actions left. If it's in Summer Duels, for example, he can attack you. If he attacks you, he's not going to give up his Leon to do no damage. Or sorry, to, to to not kill, like he's I mean, doing it. So the can... avenue is valuable. Sure, sure, but I, I'm saying like if he does survive, it's going to be in a position where he doesn't die, and if he doesn't die, he's going to take away your turns. That yep. was the idea. So that's yeah. that's not a good example. So uh -huh. what I've seen a lot of Leon, um, if he does, especially with this map, this map is nice and diagonal. It's very hard for him to line up his duo skill. Realistically, if Leon can't turn one initiate into you through stuff like smites or pathfinder chaining or any of that, he's probably not actually the biggest threat to end turn you because next turn, if he does, you still have like three actions left, hypothetically. And if Asuka lives, you have four actions left, for example. So in those cases, screwing over the Leon even harder because you actually have the tempo to kill him with camera control in particular. It's good. It is genuinely good. But, especially if you're not using a signed decoy, it's not something I can see being very versatile. Okay, and thank you. Definitely, it's something that, while good, it, I can't recommend it unless you're literally like an SDS team that is made specifically to hate Tech Leon. That's the kind of thing I can see it in. But that's it. Again, had he mentioned all these things, I'd be more down for it. Mm -hmm. But again, my problem was people are copying this build without understanding what it's even for. That's yep. why I even posed these questions in the first place, because nobody gave me a sufficient answer. They just speculated it's for Dual Leon, and that was the only thing I got, which made no sense to me anyways, because, again, you're not killing him afterwards. Uh, no, I feel like so it is point? useful for Leon, but it's not like it's not going to get you anywhere like too special. Anyways. All right, uh, we'll move on from there. But I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. I was just going to say i think say a it. lot of people who play sd nowadays are probably copying a lot of what they see without knowing what it does yep let's yep. say the, yeah uh, it just happens i guess okay but the reason why this all bothered me was please don't do this to yourselves chat don't be like this is an authority figure i know he's smart i copy what he do i don't try to understand no don't do that yourself please don't you're going to bump yeah, into yeah. a lot of people in your life who you think is way smarter than you are, and you are not going to question them, and you're going to find yourself in deep shit. Don't mm. do that to yourself. I know it's a video game, but it, <laughs> it's 
it goes through That's, your entire life. If you let your guard yeah, down here, yeah. you let your guard down there, and you let your guard down there, and before you know it, this is what you are. And but this happens all the time. But that does not make them infallible by any means. Even the smartest person makes mistakes. And if you, I mean, if full you disclosure, just can, then, I mean, full disclosure. Yeah. Even in the course of this discussion, the stuff we're saying now. It, 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 we're trying our best, of course, to be like nuanced and like cover as many points as possible. You can still come to your own conclusion based on that to say, like, for example, I still want to use Asker Miracle. Um, yeah, and go for it. You might be want. able to succeed with it. But as it, it just it, when it comes to opinion takes, take the opinion to heart, kind of work around with it, see what you like, and then adjust. Make a right. like logical, nuanced decision based on the opinions you hear rather than trying to blindly follow them. Because while blindly following an opinion from an authority figure is generally going to get you somewhere, you could do so much better. <laughs> right. Uh, All right, we'll move on. But yeah, please do not be a sheeple. <laughs> That's the word yeah. for it. You just find well just, whatever the heck. If you're curious about a build, you might as well, if it's cheap enough, you can test it yourself and see if it doesn't right. work, then you can move to something else. Thankfully, Miracle is a very cheap skill. So if you're like, wow, this miracle build kind of sucks, you're going to switch to oh well. special. Switch to Ignis. And, and you know what? Like or Aether. I think a lot of it came from Gambit, too. A lot of people just slap Miracle on Gambit because it's a yeah, nice cooldown, cool down, and, yeah. it's, and it's cheap. I, I mean, to be fair, slap. though, if you're using Gambit, you have two options. <laughs> so, uh. yep. Um, I was just saying, I, I think that's why people started using Miracle a lot more. It came into the back, back in the public conscience. I will say, I guess to kind of pivot back into the unit of point discussion, A, you can finally fodder Ike without just one skill. So, great. Yep. B, technically speaking, Lissa can use um, Lagoo's friend. It's goofy, but she can actually kind of use it. Yeah, she does have her 80% follow-up DR, which is a little awkward, but, but she, she still gets getting true. that true DR. Yeah. yeah. True DR paired with decent follow-up DR, and her Ignis now DR pierces and does, like, I think I counted it up, 140% of her defense. I think it was 110. Um, um, more. With all the scaling involved, so... Yeah, well, 140 because her weapon. Mm. So... That is also something to keep in mind. If you have a spare Ike and you really want to build Lissa, then... Go nuts. It'd be a really fun build. Okay, we're gonna talk about that later when we see your stats, because it's hard to make up your mind right now for most people mm -hmm. without seeing. Oh yeah, it. I just something on something that connects Lissa into the, the point of discussion. Anyways. Okay, cool. Uh, here the final hero before we go over the stats. Vessels of Fate. This is probably the most important hero, mostly yeah, because the rally. So oh boy. Objectively speaking, the moment a self-refreshing positional assist is brought into the meta, they're meta. Period. Yep. And yeah. this unit is meta for that and so much more. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to quickly sum up Draconic Pax because it's a lot. Uh, it's slaying. Use this skill to use uh, to trigger Hush Spectrum f within three rows or three columns, which is a massive cross. And pulse down yourself a one. And pulse yourself down by one, which is what we found in dual Chrom, but I guess they're going to... Legion, could you use your, uh, your summary thing again? Uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah, so obviously cooldown minus one to unit. If a rally or positional assist is used by unit or by or a target's unit, so um, this also doesn't cap on turn four, and of course it's um, hush spectrum, which is just ridiculous range. Um, on top of that, whether you use a rally or a positional or get targeted by either of them, you self refresh. If you use it, then you refresh immediately. If you're ended turn and you get hit by one of them, then you also get refreshed. So it's like getting danced. Um, no isolation, note. Uh, on top of that, it's foes, uh, the same scaling as, um, male robin, except in reverse, it's penalties on foe. Um, same 30% first strikes damage reduction, same offensive tempo, and that's all, um, for the weapon. So, it's pretty much just the same as male robin, but instead of flared sparrow, DR piercing, you get hush spectrum, pulse, and self refresh on assist. Which is a pretty uh, damn good trade-off. <laughs> yeah. At least. And of course, Hush Spectrum. It's basically inverse rally spectrum as a debuff. Minus five to all on foe. Um, scowl on foe. And then also if the foe has slaying, a la Bramimond, then you get um, rally spectrum cooldown acceleration. 
when attacking into that foe. Which, yes, hypothetically means that you could stack this with Rally Spectrum and get two cooldown acceleration and 10 doll stats on Scow. Lovely. So, yeah, that's uh, Draconic Pacts. Uh, disgustingly good weapon, considering it doesn't actually use the assist to self-refresh. It's on the mm -hmm. weapon. <laughs> right. You can use any assist. Whether it's swap, smite, reposition, rally, up, attack, plus, harsh command, you can use any assist and you'll refresh. Where's my event buffs? Uh, on top of that, fell worm scale, um, spectrum mate. Uh, this kind of is more in line with legendary male, uh, female Robin. Um, spectrum eight, dull to all fo foes bonuses, fifteen percent units attack two damage, dr piercing on special proc, and seven post combat healing. Very concise skill. Um, almost looks tame until the dr piercing part, but it's a pretty versatile um, a slot. And of course. Attack Speed Link is basically made for all the Croms and Lucinas of the world. It's Attack Speed Link, but it also gives Kanto to unit and target ally. And on top of that, Speed minus 4, Death Rest minus 2 to account for mages or magical units. And um, true damage for the highest total attack speed on yourself or anybody else on the team that has Kanto 1 buff. Which hypothetically is oddly specific, but yeah, that's it's actually makes the weird. skill worthwhile using because you actually get a lot of damage then. Yeah, it's 12 on hit true damage with speed minus four, death res minus two, and you also just buff Kanto on top of that when you use an assist. Like, that's a lot for mm -hmm. one B slot. And when you use Krom or Lucina, you're not even wasting an action for it. Yeah. So, I, what's there to lose? I think with Shove. It's or a smite, sorry. It's a lot more worthwhile for a lot of battles. Yep. Otherwise, it's it's kind of wasteful, but yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, if you smite somebody and then now that you can just get the Kanto buff. Okay. Um, for your targeted ally, which is nice. Um, Another part about this is yeah. it's a true rob in terms of all support. The not follow up and Kanto buff that really helps with prime. That's already two. Yep. No, actually, uh, three with a teleportation. Well, that one is to yourself only. Um, oh, sorry, my bad then. But. On the other hand, with the duo skill, which I guess, looking at that, uh, two more. Rally Spectrum and Dual Strike. So there you go. There's your Prime. Not that you should ever use a Prime unit with no buff statuses on their own, but that's four well, buff statuses. Well, if you buff two, you should be yeah. good, because most characters are just missing one. Yeah, realistically. Like, if you use just Mavir, for example, that's already two. Right. Or Hortensia. So um, just throw this unit on top. You have to use your positional assist, but that means nothing. And that means yeah, nothing four. to this character, right? It's also pretty good to delay um, for summer duels, but most people aren't going to care about that. Anyways, that's a really good combination. Be, yeah, mm -hmm. it's an insane combination. I should also say this banner is almost made to synergize with itself because technically speaking, you could assist, um, use Emrin on turn two or above onto an end turned um, duo Robin and refresh both of them at the same time. Yeah, that, mm. that, that is, is technically silly. an option. <laughs> <laughs> that is just silly. So, if nothing else, the action economy and bonuses going around between these two, or specifically Robin, absolutely insane. Yes. Um, absolutely insane. And you can use her, like, Lucina too, you could just do swap to make it like a future vision. And this is the first time where you could technically do pivot. Or smite and still be able to refresh so that op opens up some opportunities not even seen on any Chrome or lucina previously as if that's not already enough so and of course no isolation so you can do it twice very flexible unit very flexible unit mm -hmm. all right this dumb hero aside everyone should probably <laughs> grab her when you should get the chance but the thing is oh god <laughs> I don't want to support this. To clarify oh. her being effectively another Grimo alt, mm -hmm. I just meant that she's basically built like a dragon as a mage, like right. Robin in particular implements some dragon perks. Sorry if this is late BTW. Yeah, with scale in particular. It is pretty late, but yeah. Dragon it, scale. Right, it is. Okay. Anyways, this is an easy recommend. Uh, now, I wanted to get to this topic before we move on. This year's banner or last year's banner? What, what do you think is more impactful? Obviously, it's because last year was a leap. I yeah. I'm okay, if Hector, I'm being completely Rebecca, honest, uh, this one 
most um, likely is going to be the more impactful one in large part because of Robin. But also, yeah. that banner, if I'm being completely honest, not Moths. amazing. Like, even. Yeah. Who was the most was memorable good for character? A while, Mark. But, or Hector, yeah. technically, because he yeah. was the new arrow. I wouldn't savior. even argue Rebecca, because I think I saw more Rebecca. I was one of the few people who got Mark. Yeah. Hmm, I saw Mark a fair amount in Summoner Duels for a little while. Yeah, I remember was, that for a while. Stall was still useful. But... No, I was pissed because they essentially made a much more offensive Mark with Lysithia. Yeah, they, they did. Uh, wait, Lysithia? Like the tea time one? The tea time one, yeah. Right? She debuffs, but she fights way better. Yeah, she yeah. yeah. He debuffs a bit better, really nice, true, but she's but way stronger. Mark's I mean, most people thing. used Mark for the utility, but the fact of the matter is that he could nuke, and that didn't last super long. Oh, no. I think Mark is the only unit on that banner that's still like legit. <laughs> uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. He, he kind of to a degree. Way. I I still use him if I ever go back to my dark team, but like I stopped using him. I, I I'm at full cab line now because you can't tank anything anymore. Yeah, so you, it's exactly. hard to use him. But I mean, compare that to young Elliewood, who at this point is arguably still worse legendary Elliewood outside of combat, and his combat mm -hmm. isn't really important. Young yeah. Hector fell off like a like nothing else in this meta, and young Rebecca is just neat. She's still cool. I'm still cool. It, it, that banner kind of. <laughs> However, put yourself in the shoes of young Legion, a Legion from a year ago. Sure. Did you think these characters would be would be invalidated so quickly? To be They're honest, not invalidated, but like replaced. Elliewood, yes. Um, okay, Elliewood, fine. El Elliewood made no sense. It was just like Ludring Elliewood alternative. Everyone already had Without Canto. What, what was the point? Yeah. Um, but I did think that young Hector was going to be a much longer term savior than he was. I admit, and. I, I thought definitely Mark was going to be longer term than he was really. I Mark thought Hector, was very I thought Hector was going to be a little longer lasting, but I I knew that the save meta was going to eventually. Oh, save your meta, you could argue, but even as a savior, there were so many better ones that came out after him. The only thing is that he had stat scaling before stat scaling was common. But yeah, the true. moment it became common, he lost his unique niche and he fell off completely. And then people just fired him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's a fourth tier manual. He's not even a fifth. Granted, that's because he's not rearmed, but you know. Um, okay. I think he's still not yeah. terrible. But you, you, still, you guys yeah. understand why I went over all that, right? Yep. yep. I had the same feelings this year of how good these heroes are. However, Asterix, I felt better last year for the most part. Um, Robin is kind of like Elliewood, where it's it's like a reformed version of a character that already this exists. One definitely. Yeah. Right? Uh, Emmerin is not overly power crept because, or is not a giant leap over Lucius. It is a leap, but that's a free play hero versus a five star staff hero. So the it should be a leap. Kind of insane. Warping is the one big thing. Yeah. There's so yeah, much warping nowadays. But everything that else, you can kind of get by it. Is pretty comparable, I would say. The healing assist in the concept being introduced is insane, but it's going to happen again. Right. It, it feels like the fodder banner again, like a little bit. Yeah. I will say the tax be finish on Rebecca. Wait, did she also have time spells? Uh, no follow. -up. Last year oh, okay. introduced the armored so specials that like beacon, sabotage four and sabotage uh -huh. status in terms of fodder. This year we have healer rallies, link yes. four, yep. magic gambit, uh, and I hush think this spectrum. Is definitely, uh, hush spectrum could I think show up this on year might shake things now, more if so, hush spectrum uh, gets or, more use cases it would beyond make sense. Ike. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so just to conclude this real quick, um, so you can say your whatever. The, the point I was the Rebecca Rebecca versus Lissa. I think I will give a slight slight edge to Lissa, and then final hero, yeah. Robin. Remember when he released, there was no sabotage. Yep. And that's why he was so badass. Mm -hmm. Just like when Robin released, right now. I mean, he's not out yet, oh, but Mark, Hus yeah. Spectrum is Hus what makes Spectrum him so. Part. Yep. But I'm willing to bet it's just gonna be like Mark, where it's gonna be duplicated on a bunch of other heroes in the future. Well, oh, kind of. I don't of, think so because the, it's much it's much less generic than the Robin sabotage like status. Even if you want to make those arguments, I, think I don't think they're willing to have those kind of restrictions. I don't know. But seeing as they gave um, a Cisco to healers, that gives an extra action that everyone now. Well, no. I'm, the the reason I'm saying it is because it's a spectrum skill, and they like to they like to gatekeep spectrum skills on Robin oh. alts. 
Yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll probably certain, find good wording for it. If they certain it statuses like Grand Strategy and Rally Spectrum, I don't expect to see outside of the Robins, but I do are expect you, to see more of them. Are you guys actually going to yeah, believe in the wording of these things? Like, oh, Triangle Strategy, for example, or whatever the Triangle Attack oh, triangle thing on Catherine. Spectrum might show think, up on Pulse. Well, hasn't that only really ever been on Pulse? could have a stake No, but yeah. they, they, they to took that the idea and put it on other heroes, like, spectrum. for example, uh, Harmonic right. Cordelia. That's right, they changed it to dual strike for them. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not like, oh, hey, that's infallible. They can just do something like that. No, they yeah. can they can sidestep it. They can definitely sidestep it with yeah, more scale could. support in other ways. I don't doubt that at all. I, the big thing is, no matter what, the sheer value of positional assist self-refresh, on top of the fact that it actually provides some genuinely serious support, that's going to keep Robin more relevant than most. That's true. I think we still see Valentine's and Legendary Crom, despite and them being so old. <laughs> if we rewind a year and you guys look at that trailer and that uh, reaction and what we talked about, uh, mm -hmm. we were more, we we're extremely certain on Mark. Yeah. I didn't even last a year, guys. Come on. Let's be frank here. Yeah. No. No. Sorry, and he was but the I mean, best we were... case scenario of that entire banner. We were starting on Valentine's Crom, and well, I still see him, so... But... Mm -hmm. I will definitely... Uh, that's a bit different. He, he, he was an I... AHR hero, so he was on a banner where you can plus 10 him easy. I think Valentine's Crom? Wait. Wait. Dual Crom, right? Crom? Yeah. Was he accessible? Yeah. Really accessible? Oh, he wasn't on an AHR. I feel like... What banner he was, was he on, on then? Because I might have been on a special 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 but... Dude, even I have a bunch of him. I never specifically I have went for him. I have one. I have zero and I do pull HR, HR, so I don't know what banner was best for him. Uh, Off the top of my head. I know sure? he was on double special hero banners, but I don't remember which other banners. I will say I definitely missed out on the Valentine's Crom. Tr I, the Crom trains I pulled in four. general, but... I pull four of him, by the way. I have I zero I Valentine's, even go for him. one Legendary, and one Brave, so I definitely didn't hit that. <laughs> wow. As well. Wait, actually, no, no, you're, you're right. He lost in the first round of HR, but he was on That's the right. top uh, eight. Okay. Yeah, he was top um, eight. I can't. Then I don't. Then I know because a lot of people have him. I I don't think they all pulled him at the time. I don't remember that. I don't know. I, I don't remember what because he is just that common. I don't. Yeah, know he is what that banner. common, but from what banner? Because yeah, it banner? wasn't at, at release. I didn't remember him being everywhere at release. Like I yeah, people, some people did it. Sure, obviously. It's a very popular banner considering it's a standard special heroes. But I don't remember what banner threw him into the stratosphere like that. Hmm. Uh, it could have just been the Hero Fest. You might have had a good color share. I don't the remember. The Awakening Valentine's They're banner did Fest. very well. Uh, it did. I'm not... Relative to other seasonal banners, it did. I I'm not um, sure what really well looks like anymore in Farm Heroes. Okay. Well, then again, people... that was a while ago. I mean... No, okay. Even been. even a while ago, it didn't make sense. Uh, we'll, we'll check out a new banner results in a bit, by the way. Um, just to put things in perspective. But, um... Yeah. N n regardless, while I do expect more scout-like support, even if it, it even if it is hush spectrum, I expect no, or not, I expect to see more scout support in the future. That's as reliable, if not more. It's inevitable. But for everything else the unit brings, and for the fact that the unit is as flexible for themselves as they are, I think no matter what, this unit's gonna probably end up aging better than Mark just purely off that yeah. fundamental even though yeah. i did ag i will agree that i thought mark was going to be kind of insane because just how ridiculous that debuff support was yeah for how wide I'm glad of the you didn't was forget that because he was combat. it wasn't just the sabotage it wasn't just his b slot which was also a super the dual chill. Skill. oh you, you know what it was um, his dual skill and he also came with cannon control like he, was, he seemed like a perfect hero he was yeah. made for summoner dual like crom was on the thousand heroes uh celebration um well, that was this uh, year yeah, no, that was last year. Or sorry, year. well, like, late last year, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, that like, makes well, more sense, because I was like, how the hell do you have so many crumbs? I never went for him. You're Not sure because I didn't, I went for Summer Edelgard. Edelgard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. I completely forgot And he was that. also, he's been on... Um, and I did skip see. that banner. Oops. He was technically available as, you know, the free special hero every year. He was also on, yeah, double special heroes banner. Um, he was on, he's got, his banner had, has gotten a revival. It got it early last year. Um... So he and, had all the uh, standard revivals on chances. top of yeah. one bonus. That's why I was... Yeah. yeah. That makes more sense to me. Okay. Yeah. It's Thanks actually... The out. Fire Emblem Heroes Wiki is actually 
really good. Like the um, yeah, shadows. The yeah, they, they're one, really yeah. good at chronological information. It's really okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Shouts yeah. to Game Press. They, I can't even access <laughs> they, Game Press unless I yeah. go through Google anymore. If I put in the link, it doesn't let me. Okay, I was just being a dick. Anyways, <laughs> Godlike okay. reflexes, Laszlo to the top. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. He said that. Chat, don't put this on me. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go over the, the banner, the new banner results, and then we're gonna go over the stats, and then um, yeah. But that sums it up as oh, yeah. the skills overview of everything. Uh, I brought up that last section because last year I was so certain about Young Mark, and I felt like I got fucked. So. Uh, uh -huh. I, I mean, if I, power creep worse this year than last year, I there it goes. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you should pull on any banners, chat. I yeah. think you should just save your orbs until EOS. Then they'll have a super banner, and you'll feel like you're the smartest person ever for saving up like ten thousand orbs. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I remember comparing Mark to Thor, like when Mark came out. Which ironically, Thor aged better than Mark. I know. Still that's here. crazy. <laughs> Still see her a lot, actually. It's Anyways, kind of irritating the, from my the, perspective. Anyways, the point I, I I have is is it feels like whenever you pull nowadays, you feel like a fool really oh, quickly. So. There's exactly. very niche cases where a unit ages miraculously well, but not often. I, I think we brought brought up the last girl that actually aged well for multiple years, just dual crumb. But prior to that, legendary crumb also is, but yeah. Ledger, yeah, okay, fine. But Ledger and Krom, if you're going to go through the entire gauntlet, yeah, Brave Ike, uh, do, uh, Brave Hector examples. Yeah, well, yeah, well, those two, I say Legend of Krom because he's still used, those two died straight up. Oh, okay, me. sure. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll go over this first. Oh, uh, crap, this is not going to be the right screen. Oh, uh, man. Dragari uh, never yeah, did the <laughs> Crying face. <laughs> I didn't think of the meme potential. Oh, that's right. terrible, but I will. Oh, man. Oh, hey, refines. Ah! Oh, no. Okay, well, this didn't show up pretty well, but uh, anyways, every staff user, when they see magic shield plus is inheritable, <laughs> sacrifice oh, yep. Emerin. Well, that was easy. Yes. Wow. Uh, you know I will. Man, now I will have to fodder colorless to infantry to Emerin, uh, Aramia. The fact uh -oh. that the Chromes are the ones that stood the test of time you want to actually use Emerin isn't Legion, a good sign in of itself, Lal. Never bet against, uh, Chrome. Gorgia never did that with EOS. They had a super banner at the end, I remember because I pulled on it. They but they didn't have some super uh, rate banner or something like that. It feels like a weird thing to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the heck is this? Why is this? Uh oh. Uh. Shoot, chat. I was trying to. Why does it not show up properly? Oh, whatever. Anyways, I'm still figuring out. Let's see this real quick. All right, chat. Um. Sensor Tower has released our new banner ranking. And you'll never guess what it is. Oh boy. <laughs> never guess. For those who are wondering or did not remember, this is the ranking of the year thus far. Our best banner was the winter banner, which was a mid A tier banner. Then our second best was the other banner right after it with engaged Marth, which was a low B banner. And then here are the rest of the banners. Man, Ike isn't that as good. Look, I'm uh, not even I can carry. <laughs> if someone says Farm Heroes is doing great or doing fine or even doing OK, uh -uh. please ask them why they think that, because nothing, literally nothing says that at this point. I, All right. The reason why I brought this up. Yeah, go ahead. I think the crazier thing is in G, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. The recent banners. Some big names, a lot of hype behind it. Apparently, nobody pulled. Apparently, because allegedly. Let's start with HR. I think it's hilarious that Green Dream is in G tier. It's in G tier <laughs> for Green tier. Yes, let's go. Wow, my Amazing. gosh! They should really make that green in the future. Anyway, it's hilarious. Uh, HR, despite the fact. 
if we rewind back to 2020 when we had Green Dream for the first time, that was indisputably a big, giant money maker for IS. Yeah. Everyone pulled on it. Everyone loved it. Mm -hmm. This year, I heard so many people say like, well, this Green Dream is scam. First of all, that's not how scam works. A scam isn't a transaction where you give something for something in return. Anyways, um, I've heard all sorts of stupid things being said about the Green Dream. Uh, fine, people didn't want to pull for it. But you couldn't tell me Green Dream was going to be G tier. First of all, I would have just thought you were memeing to begin with. But second of all, there's no way. Yet, the reality is this. It's G tier. Unbelievable. It sucked. What a legendary and unlikely chance of something happening. It happened and it sucked. Unbelievable. We've gotten to the point where even the HR banners are not guaranteed to do well. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Moreover, the most recent banner that's concluded. Well, no, it's concluded. Or is it still here for like two more days? Whatever. It, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's still I here for like a day and... Okay, who cares yeah, exactly? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need to correct that? I said like two days, and you're like a day and four hours. Okay, whatever, man. Cool. Yeah, well, what does this need to I, correct? I, no, who cares? Correctly. I thought you were asking. <laughs> who? It was. It was a rhetorical question. Oh, Just okay, the point okay. was like it's almost done. That was the point I was yeah. saying. If it yes. if it wasn't almost done, it was almost done. Okay, thank you yeah. for taking it literally. Anyways, that banner. Let's uh, let's agree. Uh, when it came out, pretty hype. We, mm -hmm. we did we pulled yeah, it we all agreed it was a really good banner it was pretty hype you guys don't give a shit about it yeah h, h. ranking as low as it gets you know funny enough um we talked about how like male leer power crypt female leer and everyone was like wow this character is ridiculously good is amazing fodder as well like mm -hmm. worthwhile pull scores the best and should be the best hero in arena did worse than ahr and nobody cared. Nobody cared. I did hear a lot of people be like, oh, Leo's mid, oh, legendary female, Leo's better. So okay, those who are crazy. Reaction. Yeah, like, they are. I mean, I've said this before. I feel like the, the remaining players for Final Heroes are all crazy. Like, <laughs> there's no sane person left. The average Fae fan is just a nut job at this point. I'm not trying to be mean, but I... No, I, I feel like there's some truth behind there in some I, way. Right, I mean, how often do you bump into someone speaking to a Fae fan, and they just felt like a normal person? <laughs> it feels you know, real. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're kind of right, you know. Yeah, they they always have him. such crazy opinions, and uh, they do such crazy things. Like, I feel like every same player is gone. Anyways, um, we're not done. The memes don't end there, because the E tier has... The emblem hero and oh. the Easter heroes. Mm. Is this E for emblem, E for Easter? Yeah, is this a trend or something? What is this nonsense? So yes, if you think this game's doing great or something, I don't know what to tell you because the actual data tells you otherwise. Yeah. How much, out of curiosity, how much monetarily separates each tier? It's by sensor tower rank. But is there like a is there like a, a definition of like E tier outranks F tier by like this and this much, or is it just like no? You see it. You just it, it shows you the I number. See. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. You, can you see it? It's I know it might be a bit small, but they're right. Yeah, it's there. a little small, but no, I, I think I can. I, I've seen this. They kind take of thing both before, so. U.S. and Japanese sensor tower tiers, and that's how it works. Yeah, we're at the tiering. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. So the bigger the number, the lower it is. Right. And uh, once upon a time, Farm Heroes would not find itself in F tier, then it found itself in G tier, then it found itself in H tier. You Just so you guys know, they can't even go lower than this, because then they're not even tracked anymore, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think if they go under, what? You can't get line. past H tier, because it's kidding. they stopped tracking at a certain point, so... Yeah. I think that's the case. Anyways. So this year, thus far, the best banner was not of this year. <laughs> I'm sorry, the winter banner was last year's December, all right? That doesn't count as this year, but they count it anyways. The actual best banner of this year was Engage Marth, and you guys are already over it, because Engage uh, Ike is...
terrible, doing terribly. He's so what does this tell terrible you? Terrible crimes against all our players. Right. Okay. He's okay. Okay. Anyways, the other thing to take out of this is um, is power creep doesn't work. When will they wake up? This is when not working. Turn. All you've done at this point, five, the, the bare logic, and I hear people talk about why power creeps are necessary in gotcha games. Yes, to sell heroes, to sell characters, absolutely. To generate revenue. But that doesn't mean like more power creep equals more money. No, it has to be done in a tasteful way. And this is not a tasteful way. Exactly. Or it doesn't even have to be tasteful as long as it's not so overwhelming for people to completely give up on it. Yeah. You know, um, that's what because, that's yeah. what they were doing at some point. It they was were. I, everyone complained about power creep, but they didn't like feel as about I'm it. Oppressed as by it, yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, Ice has gotten to the point where they've power crept so much they don't even they don't even know it's too much anymore. It seems like they think the more power creep equals the more sales, the more money. No, we're not there. We're we're they've gone so far that people are just scared to pull like yeah. as a player i don't want to pull on anything anymore yeah. ever and we're playing a game where everything revolves around pulling you want us you want to compete in arena you got to pull especially a legend hero you want to compete in summer duels you got to pull the new meta heroes you want to compete mm -hmm. in ether raids you got to get copies of the mythic heroes at minimum and then still win the battle sometime you want to do um ponza loki Get merges so you have more HP, so you can do better there too. Like everything in this game, you want to build your hero, you got to pull to get the skill. But if you can't even, if your people aren't even pulling anymore, then you can't even play the game properly anymore. And I think that's the conclusion at this point. Are people even playing anymore? Because if, if banners continue to do poorly, how are you even playing the game? Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm no businessman, but if I if I see this chart, I'm. I'm just coming into the game. I'm like, well, this, I'm probably not going to spend any money, you know, just well, perspective. I'm not going to do that. That would be anymore. hypothetically, but you do spend money. I don't. I, I stopped. Oh, you don't? I you did stop. Okay. I, I'm I hoping. stopped. Right. I'm hoping you don't because, chat, you want to know, I, I've heard a certain developer talk about this, and he said, do you want to know the easiest way to get your player base to spend money on your game? Mm. And this wasn't even complicated. He said, "Show that you care." Yeah, that's, that's the easy, easy way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Show that you care because if you show that the money is going towards making the game better, people will spend money. Bay does not do that, not even remotely. Mm -mm. They don't understand even like bare basic game concepts. We're talking about indie developer understanding this. This is a giant corporation, and somehow they don't understand this. How's that possible? Uh, it's just sad Nintendo at this point. things. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, all that came to my mind because for April Fools, instead of doing something for April Fools, they announced it's four weeks late. So uh, I don't think they showed they cared, and I don't think they showed they cared for a while now. Anyways, we'll move on from this, but yeah, that's how bad and dreary things look like. This is why when you guys hear me talk about EOS, some people are like, what the hell is this guy on? No, I'm serious. At this rate, how do you think it will last for two years, even? Mm -hmm. If the average banner going forward is going to be G and H tier, how? Why would they continue with the game? It wouldn't make any sense. And and no, spending more money doesn't save the game. It just extends its life, but it doesn't make the game better. Because, yeah. again, it, it comes down to devs caring and developing the game. You got to invest in something... Right. That has love. <laughs> also, people said most people I only use saved that. orbs. I would like to point out, in years prior, we also saved up for like a hero rises and other banners, and those banners did more yeah. better because people still spent money. So please don't cope. That's not the answer. The answer isn't we just saved more. No, it's not the answer, guys. Come on. All right. Anyways, I that's that. Pretty funny, but no. The problem is that instead of fixing some core problems in their game modes, they create more game modes with different bonuses. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had a massive rant while playing through Arena. I was suffering. Like, I was wasting so many blades. I, I think 80% oh, yeah. of the time of Arena is just 
finding a match. Our arena is just miserable. <laughs> it's miserable. Staying in Tier 21 is the thing that is such a killer. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. Whatever you say. No, but I, I hate those the, arguments. I, I, I'm you want to know why I hate your uh, argument? Arena I played this game for is, seven years. Arena if is I can't not compete, fun regardless. Yeah. Sure. I know, but I'm trying to say... I've played this game for seven years. Shouldn't I have an easy time competing by now? Like, if yeah, you competed, if you spent seven years at anything in your life, you should be able to compete fairly decently. No? Like, if I played mm -hmm. Smash for seven years, can I compete at tournaments, local tournaments at least? Yeah, no, I, I was here when you were mentioning that stuff yeah. yesterday, so I, I heard that, yeah. Well, it wasn't yesterday, but yeah, the point or, was... Well, not yesterday, but yeah. It doesn't make sense, because it doesn't reward you for being a long-time player. It punishes you, in fact. Because you feel worse about everything you do. Yeah, because you know all the units and you know how everything is going. And yeah, and you know you, you can't do anything about it. it. Yeah. So yeah, Arena is just miserable because one, finding the matches, they've kept this for so many years now. They don't want to fix it. I don't know why, but that's not fun. But they, they don't care that's not fun. They want you to pull for a Legend of Heroes so you don't deal with it. And two, even if you get the match, you fight all these meta heroes. Like, have you guys seen some of the teams? It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Alir, Robin, uh, dual, dual Asker, and then, and then dual Leon, and you're like, I do no damage, I can't kill anything, and everything is gonna kill me in one shot. So what the mm -hmm. hell am I supposed to do? Yeah. Or, or you fight something like I fought. I fought the new Ike. I fought dual Leon. I fought dual Sather, and there was a legendary Robin there. Yeah. Or you just fight Winter in the garden and kink it out of her range, and then she just kills two of your units, and your oh, oh your my god! Just, just Shout surrender. out to Bird Jesus. He just says, "Maybe you're just bad." Mm. Ah, <laughs> Thanks, wow. Bird Jesus. The perfect way to trigger someone. <laughs> you you piece of shit. This guy dropped by the stream last time, and he said, "I tried out your new defense team, but I won't even make a video of this time of it this time because I just auto battled it with who is who again? Oh, who yeah. cares anymore?" Some so was it rude. Emblem Ike, or was it? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it was Emblem Ike. He's just, I just oh, used yeah. Emblem Ike. That's why I didn't want to show it off. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. Thanks. Uh, it used to be Dusel, but now it's just yeah. Emblem Ike. Yeah. Why don't you do a Dusel? Huh? 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 Do a Dusel like you used to. Yeah. Hey, see if you can do maybe that. Maybe poster five. He'll do that. That <laughs> yeah, 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 is like yeah. super book five. So. What happened to your pride, Bird Jesus? <laughs> what, you know, you used to be cool. Pride, Used to be cool, but now, now you're just like everyone else using Emblem Mike. I just yeah. corrupted him. It's corrupted his avian soul. Yes. Wait, you can bless him. Oh yeah, you can bless him. I'm stupid. If Faye yeah. was not have FEIP, it would be EOS already. Yes. Uh, do you guys yeah. realize there are better oh, strategy games yeah. than Farm Heroes? Yeah. But yeah. none of you guys give a crap because it's not Fire Heroes. Yeah, it's the Fire Emblem. I mean, literally, I would not be playing if it was not Fire Emblem. So. That's what Dude, I, I, I always that's needed true. support yeah. units. Ike pulled off the true solo capper. Dude, you're oh, not even an Ike fan. Shut up. I don't believe you. Actually, he is an Ike fan. Whoops. But I don't believe you. That's not the same thing. Have some pride. You used to be a cool guy. I want I wanna I wanna know that Bird Jesus was the coolest ball guy I've ever known. Now he's the second coolest ball guy I've ever known. Oh. Interesting. Who's the first? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dr. Eggman. <laughs> yep, that's the Hell one. yeah. All right, peepos, we're going to finally do this. So uh, before we begin, we're doing a refined summary today, but the actual refines will be done tomorrow. Why? I don't want to stream this game till 6 a.m. All right, come on. And you guys don't want to <laughs> yeah. stay up till then. So yeah. what refines will be tomorrow. We'll talk about the summary of it today, though, but the showcase is tomorrow. So yeah, Yay. we're gonna do that. Um, as for, is there anything else I'm missing? Um, we have sacred seals. Yeah, but that's about it. Okay, we don't have any matter. like big new character reveals. New or anything like that. tactics room got leveled up. Two new songs in the um, concert hall, obviously. Uh, squad Ace this time is HP attack speed yeah. again, so we've looped back yep, around. We've cycled back. Um, great seal. Uh, otherwise, it's CCs for fans of. And Whatever. I think there were several CCs in counter. video games and anime. So. Um, 
And of course, compiles, you have Young Tana, who is SD Near Trace, Tag Speed Rain, and Steady Impact. Young Soren, who's Mirror Impact, Times Pulse, you have Okay, okay, that's fine. Down. I made a video about that. They can <laughs> yeah. just watch the damn yeah. video from we me or anyone else. <laughs> Bobby, you're in Grails for anybody who needs them. All right. All right, let's begin. All right, peepos, here are your new Awakening heroes. Look at these kids, and then go to jail. Mm-mm. <laughs> Uh, it's so easy to see something like sus here, jeez. This is like four years old and her eyes look soulless. Bigger than Cheetah, though. I, right. I don't like her spray. Or not Cheetah, spray. Um, Honestly, uh, uh, Frederick uh, is the only art I definitively like here. I don't hate all the other art, but he's like the only one I definitely like. Yeah, you know Robinson, what? Like. Now I think about it, this year's art's kind of weird to me. Yeah, it's a little odd. They always manage to make Emmerin look weird. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah. She, looks like, she looks like an alien. <laughs> She does. She did in her base art, too. Better than her base art. The He's best art might be Frederick. Him. He looks pissed off. I like Frederick that one, Frederick. Frederick is drawn by the same artist. Ada Sachiko is... Oh, that's why it's Wada All we need to know. Yeah. Wada Sachiko. <laughs> Except it's modern Wada now, who does, obviously, amazing art. Her base fey art was good, but it's more detailed now. Wait, was, was Krom always just an angry kid? Like, <laughs> you're a kid. Smile for Pete's sakes. <laughs> no. <laughs> he has to be tough. Learn from Young Ike's book. Oh my god. Okay, my favorite two pieces of art real quick is uh, Frederick and Robin. Male Robin. Yeah, that's right. He actually looks like a proper kid. Everybody gotta else kind of looks off. I don't like any of them, I gotta be honest. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> what, you don't like Frederick's art? I don't like none of them. Alright. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> what a hater here. You have committed to last minute. I will have to uh, execute you after the you last Oh my one. god. <laughs> Alright. Um Nugo said something that I will not say on stream. Alright, we're gonna oh, we're gonna start. No. Wait, why does he have a taco with echo? <laughs> what? I was wondering the same Wait, thing. Uh, I just didn't question it. Uh I didn't see that. Good That's question. You shouldn't. Don't do that. That's okay. not a suggestion. Just, That's not a suggestion. Censor. Robin does not come with Attack Oath Echo. I, this also, is the weirdest error. Perfs be A slots so or no. Ah, that's <laughs> true, because, right, perf skills can't be used with um Echo. Also, how do you make this mistake? Freddy. Did nobody look this over even one time? <laughs> they had to do it on purpose, right? It's no only been the first is minute, else so I, I don't know what happened. All right, weird. Yeah, this is Maybe very, they took it uh, off, but they forgot it was already on in it. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so quick overview uh, peak on stats 4 HP, 40 HP, 40 HP, 40 HP. Oh my god, 40 HP, 41 HP. All right, that's the, the average classic. 40 oh, HP. Yes. Nice, yes. they're not even very exciting in, in stats <laughs> anymore, are they? 45 attack, 46 attack, 47 attack, 47 attack, and 46. Oh my, there's no variance. <laughs> Everyone is well, high high attack, or is it? All right, finally speed, 46 speed, 45 speed, 25 speed, 17 speed. Okay, Lissa. God damn. It's the that reason she, she can't run because she's four years old, right? I so was, maybe that's why. I was yeah. thinking about that. And then Frederick. So outside Lissa, there's like two stats of two values here. All right, yep. defense, 30 defense, 36 defense, 23 defense, 47 defense, and 47 defense. Wow, Frederick. Frederick got that legit. Ready. Shouts to Frederick, by the way. He didn't have an alt since first year of the game, so it's been six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his that first is, alt yep. was Summer Frederick, and that's it. And they that's were both insane. drawn by the same artist, and were within six months of the game's launch. Yes. Sure. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Suikane Kimiko was the first. Also, he has no resplendent. So this is the first time Frederick's gotten any attention since. It's then. okay. Ice hates Frederick. Yep. We all know that. Yep. 22 so res, 16 res, 47 res, 42 res, and 23 res. All right. In their goal of min-maxing, uh, they made heroes very similar in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Like, they just follow an archetype nowadays for everybody, so. Although, Frederick is not all that min-maxed. Frederick definitely went with more of the well, area. No, he's, I mean, like the, he's like the free-to-play min-max, which is not the perfect min-max. Well, Mavir was our recent free-to-play min-max. Yeah, but Mavir is an exception. That's why he's the best free-to-play hero. We just put eight. Uh, I, eight I guess. Yeah. Just best? take eight stats from his speed and put that in his res. You know. He's or vice a versa. great knight, so they had the excuse of his res should be terrible. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's that's, that's right. They're trying to be thematic. 
By the way, uh, I, I I do not recommend anyone look up pictures of Frederick or Mavier and anyone like that. Frederick, I, I've like made many sacrifices Mavier, for yeah. a thumbnail. Um, is like an especially. You know, is literally yeah, he's not popular people. with certain people. That's for sure. Axe emblem, like yeah. All right, <laughs> so uh, let me uh, let's go over Frederick first. This is where I'm most excited about because. Um, young heroes historically have always had a perf weapon, which is I don't even need to repeat because you can see it. This is interesting. All right, we're gonna begin with Frederick, and before we go over his stats in detail, here is his perf: heavy war axe. A lot of these names have uh, a lot of these weapons have some really lame names, to be honest. Usually, just war as the adjective for the young yeah. I know. Usually, I think it always is. Mm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's always like this, but it, it is fair because that's what it is. But all right. Anyways, defense plus three. That's our turn. If unit is within two spaces of an ally, it grants attack defense plus six, bonus doubler, and foe can make a full follow-up attack to unit for one turn. Oh, I thought he was going to like challenge Mavir for a second, but no, it's just for himself. Well, kind of. At start of, <laughs> at start of turn, grants attack defense plus six, bonus doubler, and foe cannot make a follow-up attack to any support partner within two spaces of a unit, or if unit is not on team with unit support partner, to ally up the highest defense within two spaces of a unit for one turn. All right, so oh. kind of like Mavier. And if unit shoots combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants all sets plus five to unit, and unit gets guaranteed follow-up attack and deals damage equals 20% of unit's defense. Okay, no, he's competing against Mavier. Yeah, he definitely is. I'm not sure. He's more offensive, of course, but um, and then yeah, uh, also thirty percent damage reduction on all hits. Oh so, yeah. god, again! Oh. This is again where they're putting up down their foot. Like this is free to play, so we'll balance it by taking away ten percent damage reduction. <laughs> oh, well, to be fair, this is not all hits. But... They they like to do oh, when sure. it's on all hits. They like to do thirty percent. If they're all right, it's to be forty, but yeah. Well, for those who forgot, here's Malvier. We'll do a proper comparison but in terms of weapons it was hexblade and null panic versus use them together bonus doubler and focus wary yep actually well actually no bonus actually that's a good idea swing. Oh. i will say if you use the two together ironically if you use yeah. wow support mavir that's four buff statuses oh my god that actually would be a pretty good combo together mavir x frederick also, you get yeah. no panic and bonus doubler, so you boot bootlegged Hellywood at that point. Mm. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, but they both have all doubles. Mavir has more survivability because it's forty percent and eighty uh, percent. If they're breaking, if they're doubling him. Yep, way more bulk. But Frederick has true damage to back to back up his um, stat line. Um, oh, I wish dude, Frederick guys. had armor effectiveness. Okay, but. That would yeah. Be oh yeah, that would have been awesome because that's what he's supposed self. to have. Mm -hmm. That is his yep. thematic approach. But even yeah. still, this one has uh, the full breaker effect for himself, which is nice. Yeah, wary so. and auto follow up, pretty mm -hmm. sick. And All right. basically just guaranteed bonus doubler to at least himself, if not one other ally. Yeah. The this reason is this is amazing really high. is because he's going to hit really hard. And wow, I. I thought Malvier was the best free-to-play hero to make in the game currently, but it might be Frederick, or it might be both, <laughs> to be honest. It might but be both. They're uh, both some of the best units you can make without having to merge to plus 10, I'll say that. Yeah, so That's here's a supportive. here's a rationale for those who don't understand. I do not recommend making like Murdoch or Vigard anymore because they don't work in high levels arena. If you think for a moment they're going to stop any of the new current generation heroes, they don't. Yeah. Murdoch kind of does for me, but that's because I run weaving. Um, yeah, you run well, weaving. you're going to you're have to run weaving. Yeah. Because yeah. he dies and against... even then, he's not going to kill anything. So. He doesn't kill anything. He dies mm -hmm. against Robin, for example, which is super weird, because I expect him to at least win that fight. No, he he dies. You think he'll survive dual sonic then, or dual I Leon? No. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He, he does. He's he's against the, the modern mage cat. So. How, how about a blue mage, like Seether? Dual Seether. Aha. Uh -huh. Low defense. No. No, nope, he dies. He dies. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I guess for me, he lives. Just, but just because of armor beacon, so. Oh, wow. You better armor beacon your ass, then, because that's the only way to do this shit. <laughs> armor beacon, yeah. Ike, weaving fighter. Those are your options. If you right. don't do any of those things, Murdoch can't tank squat. I know. I the, the reason why I brought up Murdoch was because he scores really well, 
but it won't matter because he doesn't do anything. He just sits in the back and you drag his ass around just because he scores well. That yep. doesn't work and it's just a nightmare to run. Murdoch so, uh, and Frederick are much more really useful. Try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Murdoch, you mean Mavier. Oh, sorry, Mavier. Yeah, they're right. so much more useful. I will say that they're also the worst scoring options among the four melees, but if you want a unit that actually provides the utility to back and mobility to back a decent score, then yeah, these are really No, you good want options. these things because otherwise it's unplayable. Like you you want Bone Silver, you want Hexblade, you want whatever wary you, you want all this stuff it's gonna make actually make things doable uh -huh. oh yeah no i can definitely agree with that i mean i use validar that's a lot of support yes, on top of validar exactly and say nuke oh my god he comes you with need... tactics clash yeah he comes with the ad yep. clash um so also he's good fodder sadly um this is your best way to pre-fodder it oh close guard um, three okay I, I was super excited for him when i thought here's all the got so i guess stuff, the funny yeah. thing is you could literally just throw mice in on him and that's just two skills, and you have everything from Mycin. That is true. Yes, Mycin that's... will be good fodder. Don't yeah. fodder Mycin. Um, we'll put a guilt for you, too. Yeah, it is effortless. So, at the very least, Frederick already comes with his own pre-fodder, um, which mm -hmm. is nice, because you're probably giving him Clash. Also, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, well, actually, no, because if you take Summer Ephraim and throw him on Mafia, you don't need Clash pre-fodder, so that doesn't even matter. In fact, you can do the, the same inverse, build. Yeah, you could actually throw the same build on both of them. <laughs> yeah, right. I actually gave in some air from the Mavir. It's what I did for my yeah. Mavir was um, the Gustav. Gustav. Yeah, and that was easy. It's you can help. get everything from Gustav yeah. as well. Yeah, that's nice too. Some people are speculating he'll be the compiled for May, by the way. Um, yeah, it, it's a very clean build just to throw Gustav and anybody. And it, this goes the same for Mavir. Obviously not for Frederick, but... If you can get alarm attack defense, or actually, you would probably want. I guess that's the thing that sucks is uh, he buffs attack and defense on like Mobier, who doesn't do anything. So. Oh yeah. You have to uh, alarm speed res. Eh. Don't don't we have a defense res? We have alarm def res on Lucina, but I guess oh, you're gonna be redundant. <laughs> yeah, that's the only part oh, that sucks. Yeah. But nevertheless. Free to play bonus uh bonus doubler support, basically legendary Eliwood. Or um passive by the way, not active like Mirabellus. That is really useful. Like for just a demote. Yes. So fantastic. support anybody. Tempest Rouse unit. Okay. So let's go over him really quickly. This is highly recommended. Uh, yes, he has 185 BST, but I don't think you should try for tier 21. Uh, with any free to play heroes, it just doesn't work. You're just yeah. Dang. yeah, unless you have bonus legendary, not happening. Right. Even then, it depends. Yeah, that was the only way I was able to stay in this week was by using my plus two legendary mm -hmm. Mur. And I had to give her some this? extra skills. Yeah, anyways. How do you even uh, know you're in? It's not, the week's not over. Oh, because I'm, I'm like well and beyond. Uh, okay, whatever you say. I got all seven, seven. Whatever you say, Mr. Tiny PP. Okay. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> So, uh, real quick, 41 HP, 46 attack, 28 speed, 47 defense, and 23 res. Boons and mains, please. So, starting things off with young Frederick, he is a 185 BST flat out. Um, Axe Cavalier. Uh, third perf Axe Cav, by the way. Um, that came as one. Wolfberg on Wallhard, Lex previously. Defense, Super Boon. So, <laughs> nice defense. And then HP, <laughs> attack, and speed, Super Banes. <laughs> Now, real quick, do you prefer Frederick's stat spread or Mavir's stat spread? Is that a question? I prefer, well, yeah, I prefer Mavir's, obviously. I prefer Mavir, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the speed can help for dealing with units like Mavir, who are so well min-maxed that their speed can't break where he's like Frederick's. But he does so, have bonus doubler already, so it's pretty easy to get that speed anyways. Yeah. For Frederick to break those yeah, worries. That is true. You can hit like 34 speed, 40 speed, just with bonus doubler off the bat. You can throw in like a speed defense catch or attack speed catch that's already 45 mm. for no investment. That's not bad. Yep. Yeah. The world oh. breaking is just... Also, um, Mycin. We'll put a Mycin real quick because, uh, it, guys, it might actually be worthwhile if you get one Mycin just to fought him off for yep. attack defense clash mm -hmm. four and joint close guard. Because when you look at the stats, what are you giving up here? 
HP, oh, one HP advantage for Frederick, same attack, 16 speed versus 28 speed, 12 point advantage for Frederick, 45 defense versus 47 defense, 2 point advantage for Frederick, and then 37 res versus 23 res, 14 point advantage for Mycid. So you're just giving up a handful of res. I mean, I guess the way to look at it is more so, Mar Mavier can do most, if not, like, damn near all of Mycid's utility, and Frederick wants all that fodder. So if you have Mavier, just use him, and use my sin for Frederick, realistically. Wow, easy. Yeah, easy. Don't get me wrong. Gold support is nice. Um, my sin's stat scaling is insane, but you can get away with just using my sin. I mean, I'm Bobby or Frederick, and throwing this fodder on him, and it takes no effort, none, none at all. <laughs> and then you so, just slap eighty near trace, and you're good. This was brought up as well. Yeah. Um, earlier, you brought up. Ephraim, same idea. Should you give up Ephraim? Well, he has Clash 4 and Alarm Attack defense, so if you can't afford it, that'd be, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the stats, same HP, 1 point advantage on attack for Ephraim, it's 12, uh, 12 point advantage speed for Frederick, 44 defense for 47 defense, 3 point advantage for Frederick, and then 31 res versus 23 res, 8 point advantage for Ephraim. If you don't want to use Ephraim anymore, I think that's a pretty good one to give up as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can definitely. The pathing is effortless. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why that doesn't work. Yeah, it, it is definitely worth at least considering. I mean, personally, I still like using Summer Ephraim because he's a four movement Gale Forcer potentially that also makes that Gale Forcer super easy. Okay, you're like the only one who uses him. Then. I have not <laughs> seen this guy. But I also sure. admit he is not very meta at the moment. Uh, so that definitely makes it interesting to uh, consider. Um, Considering that you don't need any pre fodder, whether you give them to uh, Frederick or uh, Mavier, you need mm. nothing. Yes. So it's very cheap. Um, yeah. And it makes both of them perfect, especially for prime builds. But, you know, we're not priming necessarily. I think that's an easy recommend. Uh, who's an actual recent hero who's comparable then? Uh, Rearmed Alfred is about as comparable as it gets just about a year I guess ago. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh my Strange god, it's been a year? Uh, yep. A year and two a, and three months, months yeah. Or two it's and been, and been a, a year months, since yeah. Engage became a failure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I can't help myself. Wow, so I'm sorry. Here, I'm, I'm so tired of this community. The two most delusional sides are the Engage fans and the Fae fans. I can't tell who's more delusional this far. Anyways. <sighs> Not trying to crap on you guys, but please just be realistic. I, I keep hearing things like Engage wasn't a failure. Then I have to point out the only Byron game that Engage outsold was Shadows of Lentia in the past 12 years since Awakening. The only other games they outsold was all fake Fire Emblem games like Token Mirage Sessions or Fire Emblem Three Hopes and Gosh. Fire Emblem Warriors. Like th they don't count. Come on, don't count those. If you count those, then yeah, I guess it outsold uh, four games. But it lost against Awakening Fates and Three Houses. That's not a that's not a good measure of success. If that's what it means. Anyways, okay. So here's Alfred. 40 HP versus 41 HP. One point advantage for Frederick. 45 attack versus 46 attack. One point advantage for Frederick. 25 speed versus 28 speed. Three point advantage for Frederick. 43 defense versus 47 defense. Four point advantage for Frederick. And 27 res versus 23 res. Four point advantage for Alfred. That's depressing, actually. Alfred is getting five speed. What is it? 50, uh, 10 attack and 20 defense at the cost of minus 5 res, oh. I believe. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, tech, and guard. Uh, Fred, Alfred's going to be the better physical unit. Duh. But from a pure base stat wise perspective, and considering the bonus doubler, it's something worth mentioning. Uh, Frederick's stat line is more than competitive. And when they both have guaranteed follow ups, granted, one's an arcane. Um. The combat isn't even actually going to be that too that far off between the two. So, if nothing else, you could functionally say that Frederick is like a free-to-play Alfred, if not arguably better in some respects. I, I would support. argue that's Frederick's insanely better. good. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's better. But to even be in that ballpark is, is insane yeah. because it's one year difference, and this character's free. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. free and let's not pretend trust. Alfred has some great kit outside of his arcane chain. But again, that's. Low perf weapon versus perf neat. weapon. Yeah, but the, the, it's neat. It's not exactly like elite fodder or like fought end game um, 
skills Not at the anymore. Moment, anyways, yeah. yeah. Maybe, I've given but, him yeah. some of from uh, as uh, duping fodder, so he could pass on like clash and alarm to a unit like Frederick. Yeah, he can mm -hmm. dupe stuff, but I mean, but yeah, also considering he is, is yeah. literally just, I have all the defense in the world and not much to do with it. Um, yeah, yeah Frederick more than beats. Frederick completely, and, yeah. Frankly, yes. Uh, yeah. All right. Dropatides is the better unit. Yeah. Okay, I think it sums it up. Uh, Frederick, chat, I think that's a five out of five character. That's. Uh, that's well, actually that's a typical young hero free to play. They're always amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. young heroes have always had a notoriety for it. Frederick I mean, is yeah, just Lucius absolutely nice keeping it up. Year. And yeah, now we've got this. I mean, considering this is also the same standard we put where things like Young Innis have previously stood, and he basically redefined what we could do as a free to play. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. I think that Frederick more than keeps up that mantle. All right, next Very question: Will you plus send him? No, I will not. No, but I might use them on a budget. What the hell? No, I'm you going just to use them on a so same all those praises. What's keeping you from doing this? Because I already plus ten GHBs on the regular, and I don't have the grails or wherewithal to want to plus ten him. Okay, well that's uh, <laughs> yeah. Your excuse I literally is just plus ten to Arian today. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I don't know your problem because I have ten point three k of these. I don't even know what to spend it on anymore. Look, I, I just use my grails on Claude, Winter Claude. I don't Let's, regret it. I must <laughs> end. Okay. And my past, reason is that. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, my reason is that there are so many good Grail units nowadays that deciding which one to plus in, especially with all the good Grail refines that keep coming up, mm -hmm. um, it's becoming very difficult for me to pick and choose which, especially if. Like, okay, so who'd like, you. Who'd, who'd you do I, then? Oh, who'd I. What I do recently? Um, what do you do? Who do you do? I yeah. was thinking about doing. I was thinking about doing. Not what here, thinking but... about doing. Who did you do? Oh, who did I? <laughs> Why do? is it you? I, I ask a question and he always <laughs> changed the question. I mean, no, no, I was sorry. I misunderstood what you were saying. Well, Valador was one of my recent ones. Uh, I yes. did Fargus recently as well. Fair. Um, and I did Sizo a little bit before that. Okay, um, why'd you do that one? That's a question I, mark. Well, because well because Sizo is one of my favorite Fates characters and also. He works okay in Arena, not amazingly. He does his job. Uh, uh, um, from what I hear, it's depression, but okay. <laughs> well, it, it, mine is fully kitted out. Um, but, yeah, well, so th those are just some of the ones. And okay, I'm thinking, I have a fully kick, kitted out Lumera, and it's depression, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is... Although my Lumera is... I kitted her out a long time ago, and I, I, I use her... She's okay, but she's starting to really not do great. No, she can't. Uh, she without, can't kill amazing, any of the new without, heroes. Support, I am squat. actually pretty happy with Fargus, though. He's made my arena life a lot this year. Damage is nuts. Uh, okay. Perfect. So it's basically um, yeah. Valdar and Fargus. All right, cool. Yeah, but I'm also, uh, the upcoming refines like Patrine, I may make a plus 10 Patrine. I might do um, that too. And I'm, uh, I'm tempted to make a plus 10 Nemesis as well. Yay! So. Um, <laughs> I will what, say what personally. What is priorities? Okay, go ahead. I personally, I plus 10 Garnif last week. I plus 10 Arian this week. I'm plus 10ing Gangrel soon. Uh, I plus 10 Murdoch a few months ago. Validar, Vigard. Um, okay, you have problems. What the hell? That's way <laughs> <laughs> too many. Richard loves villains. He just I love my villains. <laughs> and I use most of them, uh, actually all of those right now, pretty regularly. So I, I, I like my GHBs. I will just say that. So because of that, Frederick is probably just going to be a very fun to use, low budget. Okay, that makes me so sad. All right, fine. How about you? Em? I will use him, but I, I understand. I like. I have only. Answers. I've only built Claude recently, and that is simply because he's a favorite. That's it. So, could, could okay, go, well, <laughs> I'm going to make Frederick because unlike these guys, I have brain cells and grails. <laughs> I actually I use Juno as my oh, bonus doubler right grails, now. So do I don't that. need to prioritize Frederick. I genuinely don't know yeah, what that's the thing. I, before the... I like Frederick, I just don't know how I would use him in my in an every What uh, the hell are you he's a cap. He's <laughs> He's an all had... doubling cab. How's this complicated? Was... No, I don't think it's bad by any means. I'm just saying I Not bad, complicated. What you said you didn't know how to use him. Oh no no, I'm saying I don't know how I would use him in a in like the settings that I for example in my like an arena and in ether raids, like how I would 
slot him into my teams, basically. Uh, I, I know how I would use him. I just don't. In Reno, you use him to jack up the hell out of your bonus unit. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> that is true. What's complicated Arena, about that? that. He's no, it's not clear for Arena. If I have the opportunity at some point down the road, I would consider it because I would like more stat support in Arena. But we pointed this yeah. out. He's basically like. Uh, ledgering Elliewood, except he's not ledgering Elliewood. There's no cancel, but he essentially does a lot of the similar yeah, things. Budget yeah. yeah, budget ledgering Yeah, budget ledgering Elliewood. A character like that fits unit. in any team. That's I, why I'm so confused by these talks. That's why I'm like, you should make him well, because even if, he, even if he's, it's actually okay. Funny if I, I hope you can have seven of them for a mm -hmm. install, for example, or something. Jeez, well, or use him well, off season or whatever. There are other teams that can that can use for Arena Assault. Okay, example. the point is we don't have a lot of these heroes available. Um, mm -hmm. Best easy supporters are like, uh, who's the guy with the axe? Who's a mercenary and he's kind of smelling. I'm using him literally right now. Argus? for my uh, Garrick. Of Argus. Oh, Garrick. Garrick. Yeah. Yeah, Garrick. Um, who's in terms of yeah. making assault, a hero right? a lot stronger. And then it's Ellie Wood and it's young Ellie Wood. There are other heroes, but those are the primary ones. Yeah, I mean, obviously you could talk like Robin and all that. But as far as like some of the older ones go, those are the big ones that I yeah. that I could personally think of. Um, and you got units like Ashnard for debuffing support as well. Yeah, Ashnard for debuff, okay. massive debuff. But <laughs> we don't need to derail it. I was talking about like buffing a character, but all right, sure. Yeah, I, but yeah, from a buff wise yeah. well, perspective, I, just, I, mean, I was just saying specifically if you're talking support. I mean, a lot of GHBs recently yeah. have been providing buff statuses, like Pern First Penalty Immunity and whatnot, but right, Otis Doubler is one of the... Granted, it's literally so powerful that it had to be countered directly through Ploy. Yes, right, exactly. But it is one of the best buffs, period. Especially right. when you're a bonus doubler unit. So, it's that valuable. Yeah, and as Casey pointed out, he got three Mycins. If you guys have a Mycin, what are you oh, waiting yeah. for? This just yeah. makes perfect sense. Honestly, if I get... Will... Spare Mycin, I'm, I'll probably just throw it on him for fun. Even if I, I don't will, plus 10 him, I'll just use it. I will not fart on my Mycin. I will keep my <laughs> SOD <SMB> characters. <laughs> oh, I'll, keep, I, fan, right? I'll keep my first Mycin because I like Mycin. But okay. no, second one's dead. Uh, so you, you, keep, you keep your first units anyway, Legion, so that's not saying Yeah, anything. yeah, yeah. Anyways. Shouts to the SOV fans. Who actually They're thought this would be and starving? Dying yeah, who actually, actually thought these would be young but... SOV characters? Prior like in the years, it was it's a like terrible the guess, but in terms of it's obvious, but in terms of what makes the most money, uh, Awakening in Three Houses sort of. Yeah, sense, you want to know? It'll be Awakening this year and in Three Houses next year. It was I was one about of to these say, two. That, that's what I've got, I've been saying to everybody. I'm like, and then, no, Three Houses there's and no, eggs. Yeah, and, and then in year three. Rapping. There's no yeah. SOV because the game hits EOS and that's it. Oh. So uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, the SOV fans. Outcome. Yeah. Oh, so sad. Or that they is... release a new Ooh. farm game and they'll go with that instead because it sells so better than yeah. SOV. Ooh. Young genealogy. Ooh. Oh my god. Anyways, um, moving on. The littlest princess, Lissa, 40 HP, 47 attack, 17 speed, 47 defense, and 42 res. Wow, that's some bit maxing. Some of the yeah, best right. min maxing ever for a demote. As I someone said, isn't that basically Emblem Ike? It is. is yeah, that's pretty much Emblem Ike's spread. <laughs> yeah, this is an infantry, believe it or not. Um, so Lissa it's at 193 BST, not that Ike. Uh, 35 attack on Fallen? Woof. Um, yeah. yeah, 193 BST on young Lissa. She has attack and res super boons, so plus res is the way to go. Oh my god, it's um, amazing. HP speed defense super banes. So, you win some, you lose some. There is no way to, in between with these IVs. Oh god, I just realized because of her res, she probably should get Laku's friend. <laughs> yeah. It just fits yeah. perfectly. Yeah, I, again, you do lose DR on your follow up, but I think we all know at this point true damage reduction combined with percent damage reduction is terrifying. Even yeah. if you're yeah. losing 40% of 80, and it's she has still tempo. probably better. Yeah, and she has full tempo. Like I, well, I totally. And you're getting some DR on your first hit too, which is really important. Why are they so considerable? I mean, we all know why I is scary. It's because of Great Ether. But as far as yeah, I mean, stat wise yeah. and what they can do, it's kind of terrifying. Actually, look mm -hmm. at those stats. Oh my god. Yeah. So who wants to tell Ike that he's being matched by a little girl who's not even like five years old? <laughs> Probably think it's kind of funny. All right. Anyways, uh, so this is going to be a weird um, comparison because I really don't have anyone in mind. It's just uh, the same characters that we compared Ike to is all I have, but the, I didn't like any of those comparisons to begin with. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, especially from an infantry perspective, because we'll a lot. we'll just do like Lumera or, or something, and you're, you're like, what the hell's the point of this? You this is not comparable her to an armor from last year, like a green armor. Oh sure, yeah. Who? Uh, young Hector. Do, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say do Hector. Oh my god! Literally exactly. I got a young Hector. Going yeah. Up. That's great. Wow. <laughs> Good job, M. This is why you're talking instead of DX the Fey apologist. Thank you. What's he actually stole. He stole my yeah. idea. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thanks. thanks for thanks for trying to pull the Uno reverse on me, Mister Creative. Man. I was thinking it. I just I just put that. You just well, at least you can have it. Yeah. You can have it. Guys, this is insane. Look at this. 47 HP versus 40 HP, 7 point match for wow. Young Hector. 45 attacks for 47 attack, 2 point match for Alyssa. 16 speed versus 17 speed, 1 point match for Alyssa. 47 speed, uh, 47 defense, 47 defense match. 41 res, 42 res, 1 point match for Alyssa. Alyssa is better in everything but HP. That is hilarious. I mean, only better by such a degree where dragon flowers mostly catch them up. <laughs> That's but... always what you bring up. Oh my god, we get it. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, One point no. margin, then it's really just going to be that Hector uh, is an armor that has an HP. Dragon Man, I hate really talking cool. about things like this because it's like, oh, you shouldn't inherit this, except if it's your favorite. For example, like everyone mm -hmm. should already know these things. Like, how dare you say this? This character's my favorite. And I would do anything for them. Yeah, okay. Why are you even listening to me then? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to care about a one res difference if I, if I am investing in both and it's all uh, just going to be the same, which actually it won't be because they're scaling. Yes, but one is an infantry actually, demo. Yeah. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. Ignoring the fact that she basically has the same stats and everything, the fact that all she loses is HP and she's a demote is ridiculous. That is quite insane. All right, we got one more hero. I don't want to compare all the same heroes as, as Ike. It wouldn't be a point to it. Here's Fargus. He is many times older than Lissa. <laughs> yep. Probably like it, 20 times older than her. Oh, though. when y'all kept saying Fargus, I was trying to think of who y'all were. Talking what you didn't remember? You don't you remember Fargus? Fargus, dude? What nope. the hell are you doing? <laughs> Did you oh. quit this game? <laughs> he's uh, you see him pretty he's, often in arena. He's, <laughs> he's like the most popular free-to-play um, Grail hero right now. Everyone's pretty talking much. about making him. Oh, he is a really oh, good arena option. He's that's crazy. He's disgustingly <laughs> hard to build, but really good. Yes, but I, with a little bit of Legion's advice, I made a funny build for him. I'll have to show that off eventually. Hmm. Okay, why'd you make this about yourself? Anyways, Fargus, 43 HP versus 40 HP, 3 point match for Fargus, 47 attack, 47 attack, match, 31 speed, 17 speed, uh, 14 point match for Fargus, 4 defense, 47 defense, 7 point match for Lissa, and then 32 res, 42 res, 10 point match for Lissa. Okay, that min maxing and stat allocation is insane. Yeah. Fargus has pretty good res for what he is, but Lissa is legitimately min max to the moon. Insane natural bolt. Oh, they both have tempo. Yeah, they both have full tempo on slaying. It's kind of hilarious. What the heck? Yeah, that actually is probably what makes them the most funnily comparable. Is they're functionally doing similar things. Wow. Fargus' support. Yeah. Uh, Fargus also has the auto follow up. She doesn't, but yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you know the auto follow up really changes things. Yeah, between the auto follow up. The fact that he is actually a pretty good potent user and the mobility support he does have and the fact that you don't have to pull for him um he does bring some very interesting competition to the table despite how ridiculously good lissa's stats are yeah yeah the thing is in arena he's just such an asset because he can enable everyone even your most Armors. slow <laughs> annoying armor units yeah to oh, move around crap. easily now that i think about it i think i'm I actually would still prefer to make a Fargus for Alyssa. I think I kind of still do too, funnily enough. Part of it I is mean, that I... It's too like, expensive oh, for Alyssa. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, yeah. you, you have to use orbs. You have to use so many. I mean, <laughs> speaking from experience, you can't always guarantee demo luck. Whereas Grails, inevitably, you'll get there. And just to be clear, while Alyssa's build, optimal build is pretty much just throw an Ike on her in some C slot. And Fargus's is a bunch of different units. At least you're going to the, towards that goal at all times. Uh, Lissa, <laughs> if you don't pull her here, you gotta wait to double special, and that's really all you get. Well, I don't even know who's gonna have the ores for it, because you gotta get the spare Ike. You're pulling yeah. two Ikes, by the way, Chad. If you only you pull one Ike Ikes. and do it, what are you doing? Yeah, you just gave just up your, your engage, so you has minimum two. Then you have to pull ten Lissas, like how the I hell? Mean, or 11 I mean, I will say, Fargus' optimal build, in my opinion, requires Fram... Emblem Marth 
and Winter Dimitri, so he's it's not exactly cheap. a lot easier to use because he has the all the wall in himself, so it's yeah. not game-breaking to miss something. Yep. You don't have you to have a have, decent build. Yeah, you can have a decent build or even a good build that just uses different skills than the yep. you know, typical good build. So, yep, so... Especially considering he's also a GHB, so even compared to a Tempest Trials unit, his, his Grail cost is a bit lower. Basically, Shadowmaster Luigi got it. World's Deadliest Taller, he says, Emblem Ike plus Defense Res Pledge and Guard Echo from Shida would likely be the ultimate build. That's what I was thinking as well. Then, so I was like, this is crazy expensive. And it, that it, it's pledge two is units, not even out yet. But yeah. Uh, yeah, also, you can't bother that yet. Well, actually, no, you could. Good. That's yes, two skills true. Pledge, Guard Echo, but. Oh, shoot. We don't yeah, have right. depth. Yeah, there's still no death res 03, so you wouldn't be able to take distant bonus doubler, which still sucks. It's yeah, not the end of the world I guess it sucks. You could dupe it from Cedar if you have many Cedars, but do you have many Cedars? You also <laughs> have death res 03 because oh, I, oh. nobody does. Yeah, nope. so that's super awkward right now. Yeah, that I hate that. By the way, that that is okay. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to see Shamas Luigi do it because he's a fat wheel. All right. But yeah, he, and he loves so, Lissa too. Lissa is very good, much more defensive than Fargus, like legitimately mm -hmm. kind of terrifying amounts of bulk. Um, I wish she was. I yeah. wish she was savior at this point. Armor. Yeah, she was armor. Yeah, she well, probably. I mean, she's got a sign boy, boy but <laughs> as an actual armor would have been nice. Um, she has good potential, but honestly, Fargus still has potential that's distinct to himself, while still having full tempo. <laughs> And being much cheaper, I'd still make him. I'd still make him in a heartbeat. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll move on. I think that was the best comparable. Yep. Emerin. Yeah. Emerin. <laughs> you agreed we're moving on. What? No, I was just going to say, no, I, uh... <laughs> for his art. Um... <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, Selfless okay. Exalt Emerin. 4 HP, 47 attack, 25 speed. 23 defense, 47 res. I think it's obvious who we compare first to. But yeah, boons and mains, please. Yeah, while you're pulling them up, uh, Emerin Young is 182 BST. Uh, breaking the 180 barrier. Um, attack and speed super boons. That doesn't really matter this time. HP res super banes. Obviously, the attack the is nice, but yeah. Not that one. It's and not my fault. Yeah. It's it, the the emphasis are the light and calming light. How am I supposed to know the difference? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> one's not great. <laughs> All right. the one that sounds simpler and more basic is like the old one. What calming light versus the light? I can't. I still can't tell the difference. What? <laughs> the light is like the. Basic I just remember Young Lucius's epithet because, bro, a demote healer at launch. The light. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but, well, yeah. this is the big one. 30 HP versus 40 HP, two-point advantage for Emerin. 45 attack, 47 attack, two-point advantage for Emerin. 31 speed versus 25 speed, six-point advantage for Lucius. 17 defense versus 23 defense, six-point advantage for Emerin. And then 47 res, 47 res. So essentially, it's just trading some speed for defense, which is not a big deal. Yep. Mm -hmm. The defense is kind of funny, good. not going to lie. The Emerin almost can live a physical hit, but it's not really going to matter most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually prefer Lucius's stat spread a little bit. Uh, yeah. Because there's not a <laughs> lot you can really do. Okay. <laughs> there's not a whole lot you can really do with the speed that you gain between the two of them. It's nice. Oh. It is nice. There are some ways you break, but I find that to be almost negligible. I, I, I agree, because it's a healer than a tank. Yeah, it, it's more so because it's a healer. Who cares? Yeah, your healer's probably gonna die to whatever that is. <laughs> yep. Mm. Well, yeah, right. to whatever physical. <clears throat> My list. So. so I don't I have no idea how we're gonna compare this. There's nobody mm. else on my mind. Um, no. off the top of my head, do, do about, not say um, Cornelia. It's pointless. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's the obligatory one. But let's see. Um, or if we're all just doing free to play characters, it's not even fair. Or fun. yeah. Yeah, that is true. Um, Wait, wasn't there a high? I think Emerin's hotter than Cornelia. That just <laughs> came out recently. I would say Emerin, but that's just murder. What? Who's who's the most recent healer that came out alongside the other one on the Thirsty Banner? Oh uh, shoot, S Safi. Oh, yeah. Safi, Safi would probably Safi. be Safi. 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 Oh, Safi. Safi. Could not remember her name. Oh shoot. You don't remember a lot of names. So. Oh yeah, by the way, Cornelia has a more comparable <laughs> name. S A F Y. Four letters. S A F Y. 
Safi. You're oh, yeah, Safi. You know what? You... This uh -huh. is actually closer-ish. No, 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 no. Hmm? This makes it obvious how large Emran's forehead is. <laughs> yeah, I uh -huh. think Emran's face also has a really big forehead. I think Emran's actual art has a big forehead. That's just Emran's thing. No, I think she's actually an alien. I, I think she could fit another one of her face on top of her <laughs> face. <laughs> Yes. But that would be even more cursed. I hate somehow. I hate you because now I'm actually thinking about that. I think someone yeah, should right. make that. I think someone should make that. that Please, day. someone yeah. make that. All right. Uh, <clears throat> font of piety, Safi versus selfless exalt Emerin. 30 HP versus 40 HP. Two more advantage for Emerin. 47 attacks, 47 attack match. 31 speed versus 25 speed. Six point advantage for Safi. 21 defense versus 23 defense. Two point advantage for Emerin. And then 46 res, 47 res. One point advantage for Emerin. They're so close. It's just yeah. like this. Emran's just bulkier, realistically. Slower, but bulkier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safi lost one res somewhere. I now, obviously, it. support is completely different, but that's just healers. Mm -hmm. No, healer. healers almost never do the same thing as each other. Um, <laughs> and, of course, every healer now is going to be looking to kill Emran, so... I'll say yeah, Safi would that. like yeah. Emran, for sure. Uh-huh. If uh, I was uh, Lucius main, I would absolutely get one Emmerin, and I would just rather use Lucius. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> or I, if I had a Lucius, it would be such an easy decision. Uh, I can't say yeah, I would have really restraint for Aramia. Really. Okay, um, well, you could be even crazier about it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. Cornelia and Lucius, though, both, I think, are actually legitimately cool options for it. Um, especially Cornelia, because you get to use your offense that... Cornelia is made for, um, properly. Mm -hmm, that's true. Um, but, oh yeah, right, listen. <laughs> this is oh. the last one, because there's no one else comparable. Uh, 42 HP, 40 HP, 2 point match for Alyssa, 35 attack, 47 attack, 12 point match for Emerin, 25 speed, 25 speed match. That's actually hilarious. Wow. I mean, they are sisters, but 37 defense, 23 defense, 40 point match for Alyssa, and then 40 res, 47 res, 7 point match for Emerin. Yeah, I mean, this has got balanced bulk, which is nice, but Emmerin definitely shows how min maxing has gone in the past couple of years for At the very least, Lissa can, can score now with her 400 SP assist. If you're yep. really Although I believe Emmerin scores the same. Let's say, not what, higher. Not, what is What's the BST for, for um, Alyssa and Emmerin then? Lissa's BST, I believe, is 178. Uh, 179. Oh, so. Wow. Yeah, That's actually really one BST grim. even less. That is a Oh, yikes. wow. So there's no point of doing that at all. Yeah, I mean, to be fair... Uh, unless your name is Shadow Master Luigi. Good luck plus 10 Emerin, but... Well... I mean, you could just plus 10 Cornelia and or Lucius and get the same. So, oh my god, sure. yeah. Jesus. Actually, more because they have perfs. So wait. So, even there, better. Wait, Color Stool Infantry is useless. Yeah. Yeah, she can't even run it. Armor, listen. Yeah. Well, duh. But... <laughs> But for yeah. staff infantry. Yeah. yeah. Basically, any relevant healer, you won't be looking at Cultless Duel on. I will because Emrin is. I mean, Aramia is not. But. Unless yeah. you play Pons of Loki. Actually, any, <laughs> dual any dual infantry now is useless unless the unit is a dancer. Yep. Which really. is why Marabellus likes Blue Duel. But, um. Yeah. So. No. Li Unfortunately, while Valentine's List is funny because it's a healer savior, that's the only thing she has going for her. Mm -hmm. yep. um, Nothing else. It's not super useful. It's All not right. pretty fresh savior at that, but yeah. Uh, chat, please tell mommy slash VT to go to bed. She uh, only slept three hours last night. She wants to stay up to watch the stream, but uh, Oof. bad idea. Yeah. And she streamed for eight hours today too. So please wow. give her check her out, give her a follow, and tell her to go to bed. Thank you. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, please. All right, we're gonna follow two heroes then. It is hard though. So I will say, base Emerin only has nine more speed than this one, for depression's sake. <laughs> She's supposed to be fast. <laughs> Oops. Yep. Oh yeah. Just like base Aramia, Aramia, right? Base Emerin is terrible, huh? Just like huh? Aramia, right? Aramia at least has two more than that, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, the Robins. All right, the Fated Vessel Robin, 4 HP, 46 attack, 45 speed, 36 defense, and 16 res. 
So, Male Robin Young is 183 BST, uh, Red Mage Infantry, with Speed Super Boon, hooray, and then HP Attack and Rest Super Banes. So, mm -hmm. yeah? I just realized it's kind of like Arlen. <laughs> it's, a... it's definitely more Arlen-like. Um, yeah. Much more, like it's kind of funny because while legendary male robin is more balanced bulk, the other male robins, brave in particular, are uh, or at least brave in particular, is more physically skewed. Um, well, yeah, also, by the way, these robin is made in exact Oh, oh shoot, sure. it's hmm. mm -hmm. kind of weird looking at them next yeah. to each other. <laughs> I, I don't like it. <laughs> Like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, cool. quick stat comparison. Same HP, one attack advantage for Robin, Young Robin. 15 more speed for Young Robin, 5 more defense for Young Robin, and then 15 less res than um, Legendary Robin. That said, though, yeah, this is not a good comparison. The Legendary Robin is like the most not what you see at all unit ever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I attack and then everything else is just completely out. Pretty average. sure he still has more stats than Young Robin in almost everything. Probably. Except speed. Yes. So, and even then speed comes kind of close-ish. So, uh, but nevertheless, um, Legendary Male Robin is still physically bulky on similar par. So that's yeah. something. Yeah, and then we take into account the kit, uh, Seal Attack 4, which helps part of the plan, which definitely helps, and then mass Grand Strategy spamming, which is stupid, so, I yes. recommend giving yeah. him Lagoose Friend now, if you can afford yeah, it. Yeah, Lagoose Friend is actually a good skill on him. Oh, he has no God. actual damage reduction, and he scales defense like crazy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I don't yeah. even want to call it Lagoose Friend. The, yeah, the, call it what you called it? From the Japanese name? It's immovable. As I said, immovable. Immovable. Immovable makes way more sense. Yeah, you look at that icon. That's not what a friend looks like. That looks like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's I, a I friend it also makes any hair no or sense face. when you use it on a Lugoose. Yeah, it makes no sense. Sure. You could give it to Sheenon if you like, want. Its icon looks so threatening. You like, can give it to Marum. The Lugoose that is not a Lugoose friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The hilarious things uh, on Reddit, someone gave it to Sheenon, and they're like, yeah, I solved yeah. racism. Yep. <laughs> we did it, boys. Ironically, Sheenon poster fine might actually use it kind of well. Because okay. it's meant to he be like a yeah, yeah, but chat, look, th that does not look like a friendly icon at all. What the hell nope. is that? No. Bro is staring very, like, my soul. If, if I told you it was immovable, it would make perfect sense. But if I told you this is Lagoo's friend, it I looks like... like it, worse than Lagoos. That looks like a master, like an owner, you know, of Lagoos yeah. instead. Like, what the oh, hell? No. It's weird as uh, it takes the Oliver. context of Ike, so it's like it's a translation adding context to the character as there. opposed to losing <laughs> it, which is very backwards. Yeah, it's strange. If it's Lagoos' friend, friend, where is the friend in the picture? Yeah. Well, Ike fights with his friend. We should give the skill to Oliver and Shinon, and then. Perfect. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, Problem wow, that sold. is like... Wow. Alright, we're going to do Arlen, but I think that's the last one. There's no one else with low res and this kind of stats red. Yeah, All right, I, I mean, yeah. I, I had one, but... It's oh, okay, doesn't sure. Have, Two, it doesn't it's... have uh, what? low res, so... How are there so many? I don't remember this. There was one, There is one I think that comes to mind that I think is more important, and that's the other Okay, Robin, sure. But we'll get there. Um, 41 oh, HP, yeah. 40 HP, 1 point match for Arlen, 42 attack, 46 attack, 4 point match for Robin. 45 speed, 45 speed match, 38 defense, 36 defense, 2 point advantage for Arlen, 17 res for 16 res, 1 point advantage for Arlen. That's crazy how Robin has even less res. That's yeah, kind of nuts, actually. He is... Arlen is bulkier in general, but it's still weird. Oh. Yeah. Alright, what's Robin the weird hero that you had in mind? Personally, I was just going to say the other Robin. Because <laughs> he actually Brave does Robin have a super defense Brave Robin. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brave okay. Robin. I thought you're basically going to be looking at the two. Which one are you using? I thought you were going to talk about it. <laughs> no. Uh, talk about two. <laughs> I was about to say. I'll say yeah. All right. Well, this yeah. is easy. Same HP, same attack, same speed. Oh. One point more defense for Robin, young Robin, and then 11 point more res for uh, Brave Robin. Wow. He just has the same stat. <laughs> it's just Brave Robin with that with the res. <laughs> they literally just... It's literally copied homework where they change wow. something slightly so they don't get in trouble. <laughs> 
They yep. like doing that for alts of a unit. Right down to the reason. utility. This one is just especially hilarious, because he even has Gambit, but just not... But also is... Magic Gambit. Magic Gambit, which, by the way, yeah, all all uh, mages can use Magic Gambit, so there's some funny uh, all? options. Oh. Yep, yeah. even armors, technically. Oh. What? Red Love points out, in the span of 365 days, did we get Luxury and Groom and Brave and Young Robin? Did we yes. really get four Robins and... Let your wow. name out, Robin is technically within the past year. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Sure. That's a lot of Robins. Robin Mel fans Robin. eating well. I mean, to be fair, male Robin was basically in the dirt while female Robin was getting alts for a while, and the good ones at that. But, yeah, male Robin is feasting. Mm. Um, yeah. Making female Robin look like she's kind of destitute, even though there's... But then she'll get there. her brave ball. Yeah. Alright, and did you have one in mind? No, I was going to say Kavasir, but she doesn't have a high defense low risk. No. <laughs> that would be a very strange... Olveg actually has the closest spread in that regard, but... That's no. true. Yeah. I was just thinking of offensive ones, but... All right, our final hero of the night, Vessels of Fate Robin, 40 HP, 45 attack, 46 speed, 30 defense, 22 res, boons and banes, and there's no attack oath echo, guys. I, I, okay, I've never <laughs> the seen... The more balanced yeah. of the two Robins, I, I don't understand. I've never um, seen Mr. Gengar make a mistake like this. Never. I wonder if it's a why, even, why would you even... Um, so, the other Robin, um, who is basically identical outside the bulk, 183 BST once again with the same speed super boon and attack speed. I'm sorry, attack HP defense super banes. Literally identical in that regard. All right, that's perfect. It's Robin. This is, be, <laughs> this is gonna be a shit comparison. It's the same thing. <laughs> it is, sure, this Robin has six. Okay, real, real quick. Robin comparisons: 40 tree, 40 tree match, 45 attack, 46 attack, one point advantage for male Robin. 46 speed versus 45 speed, 1 point advantage for dual Robin, 30 defense versus 36 defense, 6 point advantage for uh, young male Robin, and then 22 res versus 16 res, 6 point advantage for um, dual Robin. It's so close on all the important things. I'm trying to think. Where would we even... Because obviously we don't want to do any of the Robin... Yeah, I'll put in Kvaser because there's nothing else on my mind right now. Aether would probably be more on my mind than Kvaser. Probably, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess. Kavasir is a little backwards. Yeah, it's a little yeah. backwards. The, re the defense and res, is, it's not going to matter. Like, that 10 points is not going to save them it's for not anything. Do that. It's not going to do much. Alright, sorry. Uh, Heather? Yeah. H-E-I, and then the rest would probably be right. Tor. Oh, you're right. Heather is. Alright, here's Innocent Goddess Heather. 30 HP versus 40 HP. 20 man for Robin. 45 attacks, 45 attack, match, 45 speed, 46 speed, 1 point match for Robin, 29 defense, 30 defense, 1 point match for Robin, and 20 res was 22 res, 2 point match for Robin. Yay! I think that's it. Jesus. That's the best comparison we're gonna get. Yeah, I'll give you one comparison. funny one. Okay. Prison King Krom. So that Krom can get some time. <laughs> He's in this game. Prison King Krom? Definitely is. Pell Exalt? Yes. Pell Exalt. Yeah. Okay. I think it is. Sure. Wait, why? <laughs> They're basically doing no the same thing, but I think it's kind of uh, this is a, this is the, it is the average legion why? suggestion. Oh my gosh! Is it virtually least, identical? And least also... irrelevant legion suggestion. Yes, when I think of um, fallen Krom, I think of dual young Krom. I see it. I see the future. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Oh my I believe god. That this is technically the most recent prom prior to this, and yet I'd actually argue he's aging worse than all of them. <laughs> he is the worst aging Is crom. he aging worse than base crom? Well, okay. shut it. Okay, not not the ones that don't have about, it's not How about how about uh, this, uh prototype percentage? Yeah. Why do we need oh, yeah. that? Okay, anyways, we're gonna sum this up now. Uh, I didn't pull you guys for everything, but I think everyone's dead, so I gave up on pulling you guys on it. Alright, chat, here are your heroes, give me your thoughts. Will you pull, will you not pull? Um, I'm not pulling. I need to burn all my orbs for Hero Rises. And before okay. someone says, Oh, hey, this banner goes past the Hero Rises. Well, I don't suspect I'll plus in a Leer, so I'll have to save for the next rerun banner, which is in May, for a Leer. Yep. And there you go. It's a good banner so I can't. for because there's two emblems on it. So. There's two emblems on it and oh, a new hero. No. 
whoever a new may legendary be. hero, which is yeah. not exactly the most desirable, but sure. <laughs> of the three types that you could possibly be going for. So for me, I'm probably not going to pull because I'm trying to pull for Ike right now. I really am going to finish yeah. sparking Ike on don't have Friday. Ike? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, so, have bike now. one so copy of Engage Hero is a really smart idea all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. emblems I, are just really useful to have. And at, multiple options to get my Krom is B-slot, so I want that. I'm at like 20 summons. I'm just going to try and Oh yeah, you should just finish it then. Yeah. yeah, I'm 20 in right now myself, and at reset mm. I'll be 25, so... What a fact. The reality yeah. is... Even at one copy, I think Ike beats most people's ether rates defense teams at minimum. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Although somehow, uh, plus 10 Ike did not be mine, although that was because they left their back line open. And oh, my time. God. Why do you think about smart. yourself? <laughs> well, I, I was, it was directly related to an emblem Ike who literally yesterday. I know, but Ike without through. knowing your team, it's not relevant to people. Uh, like, okay, what? Well, I, that's the if problem. You like, then I have to show your team, then <laughs> then people understand what, what okay, it means. I use I have a dual ingrained team, and Ugh. the person forgot about uh, uh, forgot about one of the uh, only moving through the trees. Straight up objective counters to like on a budget. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the irony was budget, that ingrained you know. didn't even uh, actually get to him. It was just Validar sniped someone, and then he surrendered. Well, that's just okay. Bad so then you didn't beat Ike. Ike. What you the hell? Not, you just beat the person. You beat yes, the person. It's, it's this is true, the worst was, example. Uh, the example was uh, you, you said you beat a plus 10 Ike, and then we're all interested. And then you, you, you don't mention your team, and we're like, okay, well, then we're interested now. What's the team? And what happened? And you're like, oh, we, I actually didn't even kill him. Uh, yeah, this I know. This is the worst payoff of all time. Is what is this? Not, you are a shitty storyteller. <laughs> that's not a story, though. It's literally just. It, it's funny that the, the plus oh 10 gosh. Ike team wasn't even. The, the only the thing I can say is that even okay. whales can be stupid. Yeah, you know, I can, I, I, that's the moral of that story. I, I, have I you attend to that? Have you guys ever seen a, a super badass Ether Raids team and the guy just surrenders for some reason and you're like, we haven't even fought yet? Mm hmm. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, that happens, time, yeah. it happens a lot. They can, people could just lose Ether Raids for reasons that are entirely, like, not normal or just, like, stupid oops. <laughs> It happens. I've had plenty yeah, of those. The pizza right. got here. I gotta go get the pizza. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, really <laughs> don't get your yeah, pizza. Pretty much almost exactly like that before. <laughs> All right, chat. Um, are we missing anything? Um, from this, no. Refine. Okay. Uh, then this yeah. is the refine some reason left. Yep. I guess. Um, technically, Lissa's four-star skill is finish, so even easier to fodder it. Mm. All right. Finishes are finally starting to get accessible. Yes. Right. I guess they were that uh, intent. I guess they planned it out promoting. for Ike. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God damn. So I want to say it happened to me with my fishing map was up and I had no immunity. I was lucky that badass guy surrendered. <laughs> what? No. He okay. said fishing, so now he's going to donate 50 bits. To so it was nah, 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 nah. 20 fishing, hour. Fishing. Um, he hasn't 20, done that in a long time. Window, yeah. Yeah, but it's just, it would be so like him to do it again. Sugma got past one mental illness only to attain another three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He gets past one and then he just gets more to compensate. I don't have the balls to do fishing. <laughs> uh, raids defense teams. Is there a summary? Yeah, I didn't see it posted. Um, it was on the right. Oh, it's a Fae News? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a Fae News. Yeah. Technically, it was right under the, right in the Reddit when you uh, first opened it, too. But yeah. It's oh, uh, that's right. I haven't seen these yet, so I'm excited. Right, right out the gate, I think George is going to be extremely interesting because support. I think no, Julia PM1, actually, I, I why'd could. you put the next month's refines on the left? Now my giant head's going to cover everything. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, and Lysithia. Yeah, blood, you bastard. <laughs> he didn't optimize it for your stream. How dare he? I don't have Brian Milo. I'm actually kind of sad because. Poor hey. She's actually pretty good conceptually. Just need Watching nerdy boys do nerdy things. No, I'm not what? a nerdy boy. Don't group me up with these guys. I don't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a nerd. Uh, PM1, don't give me hope that Legendary Male Byleth is coming next, please. Oh, shoot. Is this for can real? We, can we do yeah. Female Byleth? It looks like it. 
No. <laughs> I think a lot more of us would stand to benefit from a male by the street. And right your now. horniness will not win over yeah. fake devs. I'm sorry. Even though female violence is worse. Oh. Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, while the support is more unique, and yet she's still worse. All right, chat, you ready? Mm. Let's do this thing. It's the summary time because we'll go over the showcase tomorrow. So right. wait for tomorrow. Where will we begin? Who cares? Let's start with the top left. I mean, let's Bright start top left. Fang. I love Nyla. Who doesn't she love... Got a... Who doesn't? True. Why'd you have to interrupt me? I'm sorry. I thought you... I didn't know you were, I didn't know you were still talking. <laughs> I was mid-sentence. I know, I know. I said, who doesn't I'm love... Sorry. And then you just... <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't know I was still talking. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Where, I see, on. Yeah, go on, go on. Where was I? Yeah. Uh, bride's Fang, who, does who doesn't that? love hot wolf goddess in in a bride's <clears throat> gown? I, I can't even speak anymore. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> Anyways, it's slaying. I, I bet you guys already read it. I didn't read anything. Um, nope, I didn't read anything. Oh, cool. All right, this, that's awesome. Notice how the other two didn't agree. All right. Anyways. The reason why I'm looking forward to this is because they made the base Nyla really badass. I think her refine yep, was one, yeah. one of my favorite of that year. Oh, that was a, that's, a what I, that's what I was going to say when I interrupted was that, yeah, Nyla has a good track record with that. Yeah, refine. she got Kanto, she got Slang, she didn't have, but she already had Slang. Um, she got the full tempo effect. Oh, it was the longest free to play, ref oh, not free to play, the longest refine at that time, I think. Yeah, that's uh, covered yeah. the entire screen. Largely because of the Kanto, yeah. Also, yeah, massive stats for a non stat scaling era. Yeah, like it was really nice, and, and this was a horse as first well. Tempo. In terms tempo of, refines. it was like if both conditions are met, and people were like, "Oh boy, are they going to start doing like if both conditions are met, you get extra effects?" And they just never did that. They do it sometimes, but they do it very rarely. Not often. Um, but well, they also, clearly cooked yeah. and worked for Nyla, which is not yep. something they do for everybody. No. Though refines have gotten better, but when Nyla released, it was a very odd exception. Okay. Also mm -hmm. remember that this was the first Tempo Beast. Um, besides, I think Ash might have already been out by then? Uh, no. Uh, one of the first Tempo Beasts. So, yeah, Pride Nyla was behind sure. that. So, now she gets to have Tempo already, which is sick. All so, right. let's see what she does to back it up. Alright, first it's slaying. At start of turn, grant special cooldown count minus one. Oh my god, it's oh, friggin' it's pulsing. times pulse. <laughs> yep. Every if turn. You, if you choose combat or foes HP- wait, there's no restrictions. Yeah, it's just a pulse up. Effect. Yeah, it's just you pulse can just up. delay all the way to Gale Force or Ether or something. Then, wow. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. If unit just combat or if foes HP seventy five percent or above at start combat, it looks attack speed, defense minus five on foe and reduces damage chocolate from foes first attack by forty percent. Winning. Yes, chocolate. Queen. I'm actually scared of saying stuff like that nowadays. I, you get canceled for everything nowadays. But yeah, I think she's really hot. Anyways. And also, if special triggers before or during combat grant special cooldown count minus two after. Oh my god, it's looping too? What the fuck? Oh yeah, because yeah. Uh, it always loop, get... but I think it was only minus one, right? Uh yeah, she got special spiral mi minus one cooldown, and it worked on any special, if I remember correctly. Uh, no. Um, it, unit triggers special before or during combat. Um, no, so. Because... Yeah. Um, so now it's full special spiral, spiral two instead yeah. of. It's so much. It's so good. This entire yeah. thing is crazy. That's three cooldown for free with slaying, so four cooldown for easily. Yep, you're just cool. constantly looping. Like, put it this way, if you have a two cooldown special, no matter what, it's going to be up every combat. Mm -hmm. Minus cows. Yeah. It's our turn if units adjacent to only beasts or dry. Oh, this is standard effects. Transforms, attack plus two. Attack deals seven damage on special triggers and tempo. All right. Additionally, Kanto, remainder plus one. There it That's is. That's basically expected because they did the exact same thing for Nyla oh, here. Nyla. That's Perfect. because Nyla could have been in Cav, and she should have been in, in, in many ways. Because in yeah. if you play yeah. Path of Radiance, she moves so far. Radiant Dawn, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely made sense for her to be a Cav, but no, she's just a very but spicy yeah, for whatever tree. reason. At least, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, they're trying to adjust for it. While transformed, at start of turn, if unit transforms conditions are met, Grant's unit cannot be slowed by terrain to unit for one turn. Unit can move one extra speed. Yeah, they're oh, writing no, she's everything. Just she's just the cab now. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's that's the part that makes her spicy compared to base. Yeah, yeah and she runs through just... forests. That's kind of like yeah. Ephraim, actually. Um, yeah, like duo Ephraim, basically. Mm hmm. 
That's kind of sick. But Hot woman, you have my attention. Yeah, have you guys... Her design, I'm surprised I don't take advantage of her more often. Her design is one of the best in the entire game. Yeah, like, I mean, that's why she has two like alt, three, but yeah, three alt, or, great design. Yeah, yeah and all of Fire Emblem, it's one of the most memorable ones ever. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Radiant Dawn cooked. Let them cook. And they didn't have to go, like... It's respectful, by the way. They didn't have to make her loot or anything. She's just fierce and hot without okay. anything... Like, going over any borders. Like, they did a great yeah. job on him. Yeah. Anyways. At Star Combat, if units HP is 25% or above, attack speed defense minus 4 on foe during combat, restore 7 HP to unit after combat, and also when you hit special triggers, and you try to foes reduce damage by X percent skills. Okay, she's perfect. I don't... Oh, wow. Yeah, she, she pretty she much has everything. everything she wants. This is a terrifying refine, actually. So, slaying pulse up, first strikes 40% damage reduction. She has special spiral, so she's constantly looping specials that also DR peers. She has three movement, she has Kanto, she can't be stopped by terrain penalty. And, wow. And also glare, by the way, so we know how this works. She goes in, hits something, now everybody's hit with gravity, and she Kanto's out. Yeah, and they didn't skimp out on stats, she got nine to all stats, essentially, so... Right. Yep, also what offensive full tempo, by the I mean, way, so her specials are super easy to proc. This is so yeah. dumb. Like, this is... And then you throw I, in, like... I think Beast agility or um, no, no follow up one. Beast sense. Speed wild, you could easily run as well. Yeah, there's a nile dev. There's a nile dev. That's that's all yeah. I want to say. There's well, a nile really dev. Yeah. I guess. There's somebody Follies there who really loves her. And two good refines. And then wow. your uh, your music when your stream is messed up. Oh, it is. I don't know what happened. It's like no quality. I I don't know what triggers that. Um, it was an issue I had before. And then it came back oh. recently, and I don't know what causes it. That's weird. It's just the music, right? Nothing else? Yeah, it's just music. Dex, can, can you say something? Uh, I'm talking, I'm saying things. Okay, well, you still sound happening. horrible. <laughs> what the heck? What? Is, is my voice now not coming through well? Is it? Wasn't he pixelated audio? for a bit? Whatever. Oh, no. I uh, maybe that's my internet. All right, I, I turned on audio again. Let me know if it's fine again. I mean, it's off on our end. I, it's something through OBS. I don't know what causes it. It's weird. Yeah, I think it's good now. All right, cool. All right. Didn't want to interrupt, but... Yeah. No, you should interrupt for that, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I don't even need to read the rest of these. That's my favorite refine. That's, that's a, so yeah, hard. That, it's Amazing. such a refine. That is a genuinely valuable. Especially. That's a perfect refine. I can't yeah, think of anything else. Transforms a unit. Yeah. Yeah, and with the skills that are available, you can literally make her into a genuinely amazing unit. Mm -hmm. Like with a very complete kit. This is, yeah, that's a very good standard. Like a really good standard. Yeah. Good wow. luck beating that, though. Okay. Yep. Uh, Dark Scripture. This is the one I was looking for the most because I have. A lot of people have a lot of Julia's and they don't know what to do with her because attack with solo four is kind of useless. So and panic smoke is on Lloyd now, so mm -hmm. or uh, Linus, so it's kind of uh. yeah. There's no real point to it. So dark scripture attack res, uh grants attack plus three at start player phase or enemy phase. If any foes in three rows or three columns center on unit have res less than units. For oh, I called that. Obviously, they would use her massive res. Oh. Whoa. Okay. You know what? Yep. What res plus five. Things? Inflicts attack res minus seven. Sabotage and deep wounds. What the fuck? She's just fatal smoke ploy. Okay. Yes. That's not fair. Insane. You just well, can't heal. Just fatal smoke. You, you have to work your ass off to get fatal smoke in this game, and now it's just there. Wow. Yeah, this is the way to apply it from range, which is. Uh, okay. Impressive. Um, That's insane. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's not all. Yeah, yeah. and a penalty that neutralizes yeah, non special. Not. If foe oh, would reduce units HP to zero, oh, units survive yeah. one HP. What? It's Why? Four ploy and sabotage. Also, that's I, three penalty statuses. I just went through so much bullshit oh. to get gaining gap and put yeah. fail smoke four on like Kranya, and now it's just, right. it's just, use, just use Julia. Well, it, 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 Gaining gap also inflicts flash, so there's that. No, 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 no. Giving Kranya Fatal Smoke 4, which now oh, you can just use Julia. Yeah, you kind of missed and... that yeah, part yeah. where I started with. Right, right, yes. Yeah, I, yeah okay. which even I can admit as a Kranya user, that's, you might as well just use this. Today. It primes it all up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Also, you don't have to worry. Also, you have to think about it this way: if you hit your save, the savior, uh, you don't have to care about not hitting fatal smoke on everybody. You still will. Oh, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, you're true, right. Yeah. So that's kind of insane. You just have to figure out the damage part, but you already know how to do that. So. Oh my Go god, me. this is so easy, chat. That's a high recommend because it just makes the bolt towers perfectly, like they're just perfect. You can't stop it anymore. Yep. Also, you have to think, by the way, um, Validar doesn't do any of those. So if you run Julia with Validar, that's three more debuff statuses. <laughs> that's true. They do enable each other. Oh, yeah. Rest of peace, Maleleer. Oh, my God. Is the counter towards Maleleer just a free to play? Yeah. Uh, just well, well, not free, not free to play, but like ancient or well, easily accessible. Uh, yeah, yeah, easily accessible. That's He's been crazy. in divine courts as well. So. Wow. And again, it's ploy. And in both phases, ploy. It's a real one. That's nuts. <laughs> Whoever thought of this? What the f- I, I don't, What were they thinking? That makes no sense to me on any level. Oh, he's a pretty important character, so... Yeah, just What are you that, talking about? For the record, none of this was well, on no, I mean, dark that, scripture. So, what does that, that have to do with refine? A lord can get a good refine, a lord can also get a very okay refine. Yeah, but, exactly. I mean, I it's, know, not, it's, so it's no guarantee, that's for sure, but sometimes when I see units getting really good refine, I'm like, oh, do they- do they place any importance on? Okay, you you truly are a DX the Fey apologist. Be My God. Clear on something what, here. What hey, come on, Legion. Legion, you have <laughs> talked with me before about like final boss <laughs> refines and how they final place. boss refines do tend to cook. I no, do it. But like they that. cook in unique ways, not necessarily good ways all the time. Talk with me. Not um, always, yes. But uh, any talk with me was. What? But any, anyway, yeah. No. Um, for those who forget, by the way, Dark Scripture before this was just <laughs> yeah. attack res minus six. And if foe was not dragon effective, you got follow up. That right, was it. exactly. And you had to be solo for this. And time. you had to be fully yeah. solo. That's it. They None completely this. changed this up. Yeah. None of this was on the weapon. Wow. Anyways, if foe needs combat or if units is not adjacent to an ally, it flex attack res minus six and speed minus four on. <laughs> speed minus Your four. Favorite. Why do you even need that? Your favorite. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. Oh, on look, screwed off with the dragon effective part. You need to mix a guarantee fault. Yeah, for those who don't remember, she needs to be, uh, if she's against dragon effective, she can't auto double. It's such a weird thing. Also, is that the first time we've like... had if foe initiates or a unit is not adjacent instead of being Yeah, I don't initiates? think that's ever been used before. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a funky condition. All right. Um... Anyways, huh. a star comet unit that treats 25 star and above inflicts attack speed res minus four on foe. Foe cannot make a follow attack and unit deals oh, damage equals 20% of units res. Wow, they gave her two res scalers. That's so dumb. Her yeah. damage just skyrocketed. And also, if units res or foes res reduce damage from attacks, they gave her three res. What the fuck? Yeah, the expected part. That one what the was hell scary. is this shit? They completely. Yeah. I I was willing to bet she would get like res damage reduction or or, or res I damage. Kind of lame. I didn't think she would get res this like is kind of yeah. res this super sabotage with deep wounds into a dragon point wall. Check, true damage and dragon wall, yeah. Okay. With ploy, she alone can inflict five penalty stats. Where, where's my Julia fans in here? I remember back in the day we had so many Julia submitted throughout time because she was so good. I have I a plus a one, and I think I have one, one more manual. I think I'm just gonna keep merging. Okay, her. you you should one just use her. Honestly, yeah. that what what the hell are you gonna do with um attack res four? Like, who cares? It's really just for the panic smoke, and we have Lo Linus. I don't need it. I'm yeah, you need it. Yeah, why not? Minus plus Mi four. So yeah, um, anybody who was holding out to Julia's, you won. This is an insane uh, refine. Yeah. I Go was. nuts. I was, oh my god. The okay. only problem is if you got attack res ploy, it's a little annoying, because the stat... Yeah, you need speed overlap. defense ploy, which doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, but still, wow. Wow, nice of you to think like a true whale. <laughs> <laughs> And this is your job, by the way. I know. The he's, always, he's, 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 the, he's the former or I, If anything, I'm actually thinking former, former on way. the on contrary, because I'm like, I don't want to give her a ploy right now. I'll just wait until that comes out eventually and just run her with a basic kit. I don't that. even know what and I want to probably give won't. her. Honestly, okay. she's got so many things on her base kit. I mean, solo sucks, but you could just use her base kit. Just use her base kit, honestly. Yeah. Light and dark her is still good. Not bad. Yeah, light and dark is good. Or All right. You had a Oops. It's only minus she, two to all stats. Ooh. Yeah, but it's the nullification that's more important, right? So. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, null bonuses and also anti-adaptive. So dragons are bad. Yeah, that's her. nice. 
Wow. She was so impressive for back in the day, but like, I'm really glad for her. This is huge. This is, ins yeah. And it made her very different from Legendary Julia too, which All is right. nice. Let's take a break from the really good refines and go to the really shit one. I'm hoping it's shit, by the way. I haven't read it. Daniel right. May Bo. Why are you Yay. hoping it's shit? Did, did you get mad at because the George Because it got botted. He got botted in. Oh, right. The botted George. Yeah. That, does that, does, like that George, doesn't bother you? Like, there are legitimate characters who didn't get it, make it in because of this dude. I think it's funny, is what I think it is. So I give at him a pass At this point in that. the game, I don't mind. Uh, but it definitely, even though I found it funny at the time. Oh, and also, it got like, Alex Lee into face, so that's fine. I, I'm okay with that. I will never forgive George. He he took this from somebody. I just don't know who. But I'll I'll be angry on that non-existent <laughs> that character's behalf. Yeah, behalf, yeah. Uh, you'll be angry for uh, Bloom <laughs> from FE4. Oh god, <laughs> is it Bloom? Like, I knows. guess Bloom could get botted. That would be funny. All right, real quick. Daniel May Bow, slaying ability, effective against flying foes, grants attack defense plus five to allies within four spaces of the unit during their combat, inflicts attack defense minus five on foes within four spaces of the unit, and those foes suffer guaranteed fall attacks during Oh, he's crux. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Yeah, and the range doubled, and it's defense now. Oh what my god. That's so actually so good. We only have one yeah. hero of crux thus far. Yep. And then he just gets it. Why? Yeah. Why is a is... botted hero gonna just do this? That's so good. <laughs> that is it actually is. really good. It's the first dual phase support follow up that's available for free. I don't and care how fact, good he is. is. No one should make him. He's a piece of shit. Of Ashnar because Ashnar does attack defense. You run the two buffs together. Four spaces and the foes uh, can't make a follow up attack. Yeah. So this is, You're... I guess, Daniel or sorry, George. Meet Just my new best friend, Ashnard. Yeah, if you yeah. run these two together, that's attack def minus 10 and full breaker support. <laughs> funny. Yeah, imagine canonically George meets Ashnard. How how much of a friendship would that be? <laughs> George does actually <laughs> talk about Ashnard uh, and Radiant Dawn. He says, like, the Mad King was, you know, terrible for business or something like Terrible that. for business. <laughs> Secretly meets him behind the alley to uh, give him the hookup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. they have gay sex. Uh, uh, oh wow! Okay. <laughs> phrase, yeah, that, phrasing, phrasing. You my said, bad. "Look up." I was not. <laughs> and then he just took it. To I the mean, next you never step. know. You never oh know. Oh my god! It could be hooking up on a terrible. There's nothing oh, wrong with it, by the way, chat. It's just the way Legion worded. It. Yeah, the way it was presented. <laughs> sure, yeah. All right. SR turn units within two spaces of an ally grants attacks P plus six hex plate and special equivalent charge. Why? <laughs> Why do you get all this shit? He's a merchant. He likes he likes uh, selling his wares, you know. For oh, attack during okay. combat to unit and allies in two spaces of unit for one. Oh my god! Am I gonna have to build this guy? We already got him for free as a five star. This is such, this is so such a Mafia piece of shit. Refine is not unique anymore. That's oh kinda my god. Weird. Breath I knew he was gonna get support. I just didn't know what he like. I knew they were gonna lead into it because obviously, but this is not what I expected. Well, the Phoenix's combat was in two spaces of an ally, it grants attack units plus five the unit during combat. All I was hoping for this guy to get was they'll be like, well, well he's a free to play hero and he's bought it in, so we'll give him guaranteed follow up attack and we'll stop there. <laughs> well, they the did not it stop also there. Drew's allies. Yeah. yeah, they went way further. Why is wow. he so good, LMAO? I have no idea. You should make him. He's so stupid now. It's um, funny. I literally think just, he just wanted to lean into refine him. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll also. It's just like he had support, so why not just double down on that? And it makes sense for him to just be a, a supportive unit. Yeah, the, one of the most the disgusting himself. sports. Hexblade and Breath? He just combined the best That's of Mavir and Young Minerva on top of auto follow up support. Mm -hmm. And I was, I, I was mm -hmm. talking to Evan about this, and it was so stupid. It was one of his usual brain dead takes. He said, Oh, uh, who's going to use him? And I was like, what are you I was like, I know it was There's so, so many Georges from back in the day. This yeah, is I was like, there were a so lot of Georges. And he's like, day. he's like, well, he's not going to be Gale Force, so I don't think those people are going to be using him. Like, who's going to be using him? And it's like, <laughs> Gale no, Force Archers, let's go. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. and, and I was like, well, Young Minerva is great for Gale Force, and she's the breath effect. She's like, well, no one uses her, so she's not good. And it's like, I just had to like give up there. Just, Ugh, I miss Evan. We should get him here so he can shit on you again. Well, he would not. He would not do so very well. You, you'd start to actually start agreeing with me more if you were here. That's the funny thing. Okay. His takes would be so outlandish that I would my even even my sus takes would look pretty good in comparison. But anyway, that aside, this is a really nice refinement. I'm happy for George fans. 
and I might yeah. have what, to build what, them now. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Happy for George fans? Who? The I remember he, the was he not was the lowest voted Choose Your Legends hero? Yes. I mean, not... <laughs> it's in the single digits. The year after. I mean, I meant George fans as in the people who built him and liked building him, not literally like George fans as in like people who are like, that guy from Radiant Dawn, He's he was my favorite at Radiant Dawn, actually. Like, it was, he had was three voters, guy. dude. He had but, three yeah. voters. I mean, the people who... I mean, they already got him in, so why vote for him at that point? They they won. Also true. What? <laughs> you vote for Choose Your Legends because you want them for other reasons, not just in the game, and all right. The people there who are, are no fans, fans of George the Unit. Oh, Can we get some bot emotes out game. here? Like, those There's are his Diggum. real fans. Diggum it's Diggum bots. He's a huge fan of George, so I'm, I'm sure Diggum is very bot happy. Emotes. All right. Last two. Astro Breath. This was one I was looking forward to as well, because Lilith is really interesting um and she has to beat fallen Lilith, so she can't yeah. do that it'd be pointless anyways so yeah. plus three unit can move to a space i know my head's gonna cover things chat unit can move to a space within two spaces of a support partner at start of turn if units within three spaces of support partner grant speed defense res plus six and dodge oh wait there you go um, speed, defense, res plus six, and dodge unit and any support partner within three spaces of unit for one turn. Ah, oh, that's she's dodged quite good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If units within three spaces of an ally, grants all stats plus five to unit during combat and restores seven HP to unit after combat. If foe's range goes two, calc damage using lower foe's defense or res. Most important okay. part. Yeah. <laughs> SR combat, units HP is 25% or above. All stats plus X. X goes number of spaces from star position to... Oh, oh she God! Flash. flash, yeah, because of her warping, it's easy to oh. warp. With. Yeah, that that's almost they, guaranteed. They extended the warp to two range, so I guess it's possible, but it's actually still kind of hard to use because you got to move a lot. Yeah, yeah. you, you can't. Guess. You're gonna move your support once, partner, but something. that's about it. Right, you're but. right, but like if she's just by herself, she's never gonna get alt stats. But yeah. Um, Number of spaces from start position to end position. Whoever initiated combat plus four, maximum eight. Unit deals plus Y. We have X and Y on a. On a refine for old hero now. Wow. Why? Because highest total bonuses among unit and allies in two spaces of unit. Oh god, it's like on Marth and neutralize the effects of guarantees. Why? And she gets NFU. Hey. Yeah, and gets NFU. Wait, okay. That's not crazy. I mean, but it's not it's bad. It's not crazy, but not bad. I mean, she's at least getting a lot of true damage. She gets to bar of stuff. Uh, she can get just from her. I mean, plus six speed defense and res buff. She can get 18 true damage. The healing is weird, but... The treachery okay. is kind of... Yeah. Hold on, hold up. I like that. Um, She's basically like a god dragon? Um, Supported <laughs> god dragon? <laughs> but, oh, we already have a god dragon. His name is Fallen Male Corrin. Technically, it's still here. But, but Male Corrin is trying. He's trying. Um, it's, it's a bad. huge upgrade in minimum because guys, oh, this is what she had. Look at that crap. It was just she a was lot. A, yeah, no, at least she had plus five. Crazy. At least she, she had plus of, five. Um, yeah, not quite a lot, but yeah, no. The uh, honestly, making her combat actually matter between the competent speed scaling and true damage is pretty good. It's honestly the one thing she needed more desperately than anything else because. She was more combat focused and fallen from the get go, and uh, yeah, she sucked at it. Shout out to Red Love, who it. said, This is the worst refine so far, but that shows how good everyone else is. I agree. Yep. This That's is the worst true. one by far. Um, everyone but, else yeah. is kind of game. Everybody else she has, right. It's not because it's a terrible refine, it's just everyone else really set the bar high. Yeah. Yeah. Because I actually like the refine a little bit. A little bit. I, I like this refine. It's solid. But it. it It'll be fun to play with, yeah, but it's it not is. gonna increase your usage rate or something because it's not no, game breaking. Especially yeah. since warping is already common enough where anywhere from oh, yeah. warping, it's a good warp. But especially where we have Emerin now, obviously, uh, sometimes it's not necessary. No, the the warp meadow from Flower Guidance and Guidance Four, it's just so much more common. When she first and released, clash. that stuff was not a thing. Nope. Yeah. There was like she, her warp warping. Granted, it's still objectively some of the best, but it was oppressive almost, almost because anywhere you are on the map, Lilith was there to come hit you, mm. and now it kind of feels like that for the whole team. So what? yeah, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, yeah. anyways, she's a more comp, com uh, competent fighter, but yep. I, I think this is the worst thus far. I think that's fair. 
It's cool, yeah, fine, but it's definitely the worst. I'm kind of disappointed because it's not even exceptionally better than Fallen Female uh, Lilith. Fallen Lilith. Well, yeah, I mean, all Fallen Lilith. Noticeably Lilith better, but not like. Fallen Lilith is characters. just this with no follow up, or her base Lilith with no follow up and slaying. So yeah, all I know. the stats and true damage and all that. But. I know, but they just made her comparable. It's better, but like comparably better, but like not significantly better. Yeah, they gave her the support that Fallen had, and then just gave her some stuff to kind of make her calm. Contemporary. Yeah. That's kinda, all. Kind of honestly lazy, too, if you think about it. Oh, yeah. All right. True damage is neat, but yeah. Okay. we we'll move on. Let's see. Uh, Hades. Slaying ability. If unit she's combat or is in two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus five to unit, and utilizes unit's penalties to attack speed during combat. And also, unit is equipped with a special, and unit's special cooldown count is... Less Under than or two. equals two or at start two. combat grants additional attack speed plus seven to unit during combat. So she wants to use like Moonbow Glimmer or Rupture Sky. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot more generous. It used to have to be fully charged, and she would only get attack speed plus four. So right. we really bumped that up. Yeah, because this, yeah, her her weapon was ancient. Too. Right. So We're looking forward to nuke. Ten, speed plus four. Yeah. If you need combat or foe's range equals two. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Grants attack speed plus five unit, deals damage equals 20% of unit speed. Okay, makes sense. And utilizes foes bonuses to speed res. Need, needed that because she's not very fast. And also, if unit attack can trigger unit special, grant special cooldown count minus one unit before unit's first attack during combat. Special what? Jumping, like Arlen. So, yeah, she gets, um, yeah, Bradley Spectrum esque cooldown acceleration. Um, so she'll just, if she has like Glimmer, Moonbow, or something, it's just instant. Yep, she's basically mm -hmm. meant to instantly proc um, Glimmer, Moombo, Ruptured Sky. Wait, can you just scale that? Um, yes, but it would just, you know, reverse, um, neutralize. Yeah, so. it would okay. neutralize so, it. Not terrible in that regard. It's but. an okay. okay. I'm not a huge fan of this, honestly. That's, I don't mind That's it, another Lilith fair. level. Yeah, yeah, it's competent, fine. but we have so many mage nukes that while this one is not bad, it's not really justifying or fine, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it feels point. like... Heck, I might still even prefer Braveless to Thea's Refine, and that was like a year plus ago. Yeah. As well, Desperation, and also That's the fact cool. that we have Magical No Follow-Up kind of goes Didn't hard. she also warp? Yes, and she also has she does, warp. And she does that one damage to herself every turn. Yeah, she was yeah. much more... What the heck? That's so weird. She's got more unique effects. Uh, uh, yeah. Brave. The one thing this about one, this Lysithia is that she completely ignores any foe's attempts to stat uh, scale in terms of swing uh, the buffs yeah, and penalties. Yeah, she has that Eleanor style it. stat security. Where yeah, she stat security, but buffs. that's... And of course she can yeah ramp up her specials, but is it really that big a deal if your specials aren't going to be like DR piercing beyond yeah, the Yeah, also she doesn't or, come with DR piercing. That's the one Yeah, thing that she doesn't have any no follow-up. It's kind of... It's a little awkward. That's weird, because... Julia seems to have gotten everything, and then Lysithia just got the... It's not the bare minimum, but it is the bare minimum in a lot just, of ways. Because it's just more it attack and more the... speed, and more attack and more speed. And then just instant special niche that she had before, slightly improved. If it weren't for the Rally Spectrum part, this would definitely look like an older refine. Um, yeah, that's for sure. not for that, it would be, um, feel very old. It, it's good, it's just... Yeah, no DR piercing, what the heck? Yeah, no That's DR the biggest piercing. thing missing. You, right. So you have to use not like even tempo or anything. SR tempo four or magical follow up or spiral. Yeah, just it feels like it's missing something. Yeah, because mage nukes are a very cont uh, contentious group. There's a lot of them. Uh, it's, it's, it's so much competition, but yep. um, where Thea already is in that group, and frankly. Let's be honest here, it doesn't even use the speed super well because she doesn't have desperation or DR. No, the intention is to speed. kill in one shot, which is why it's so weird. Yeah, she's so they're just to trying to scale why speed into damage. Uh, but then why don't you just scale yeah. attacking or whatever? Like, do something else. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you do have a DR piercing Lysithia, which requires inheritance. Okay, um, sure. If those guys exist. Sure. And yeah. It'll absolutely. I mean, my Scythia you. fans. Okay, That's you a lot can't. Of for you, you can't blame me on this one for saying there are a lot of my Scythia fans. Yeah, because they're actually. Yeah, awesome. but they already have Brave Scythia, and she was a form yes. as well. This is yep. true. Not even. Like, I'm content with Brave Scythia. Like I. It's just you have to already inherit stuff to make the kit work, let alone be meta, and that's not ideal. Um, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Refined, but. 
it's honestly just straight up the worst one here. All right, yeah, I would agree. that sums it up. Okay, let's summarize it then. I think we can all agree that's the worst one. Yep. And then it's Lilith, and then it comes down to who you valued between these three. I, think uh, I still George think might be the bottom of the three, and that's yeah, just I because I still think it's Nyla one because she. I if that is not the best refine, what could you have added to make it better? Yeah. It is an ama It's as good as it was gonna get. It's just that Julia is also some of the most ridiculous support ever. Yeah, I, sure. I right. really yeah. like Julia's. I think for me that was number one, and that was number the two. the big. I'd say it's a toss up between the two. Julia, the nice thing is that, first of all, the skills that she needs are a little more accessible than Nyla's. Yes. And also, she is more accessible. And yeah. also, and you yes, can use actually. her low and best. Support. Because of the support. Stop using and your logic here. You're just supposed to pick. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that I think that Julia might be first for me, but all it, right, it, fine. it's mostly just because of all those factors. I would I, say, yeah, Julia, then Nyla, then George. As much as I like George's refine, it does I'm refining all just a little bit below. Both these yeah, heroes yeah, essentially got everything you could possibly ask for, because anything else is just yeah. either new or yeah. unreasonable. It would be a damage would be otherwise. as much as Julia could possibly get, and that's mm -hmm. not happening. But it's impressive that the free play hero is in the middle of everybody. Yep. That's and not yeah, and normally, if if refines were pretty normal this time around, he'd probably be like number one or two, I would say. Yeah, honestly. But they were just, Julia and Nyla were exceptionally good, and thus, it's hard for him to argue for, you know, first place or something. Yeah. Yeah. By no. the way, I don't even have this Nyla, so I, I don't I, even enjoy I this. Either. I don't yeah, even know anyone don't who either. has her, so. I She's I quite completely early. skipped Bride Banner. I feel bad. Because I actually was excited for this refine, but I then remembered I don't have her. Wait, maybe that's why this refine is so good, because they figured no one was going <laughs> to use it. That was the Kiel syndrome. But, uh, yeah, right. Well, now you got to go get her. <laughs> I mean, most I'm refined see. badges also just have that one random, like, amazing, the ridiculously pops good refine. Yeah. And this time it ended up being Nyla. All right. But, Anyways, I mean, next month. Yeah. Patrine, that's what I'm looking for. I have a plus and yeah. Patrine from way back when. I may plus 10 her. I'll probably Always plus 10 her as well. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, Legion has a plus 10 male Byleth. I haven't given him anything since the attack speed ideal. So oh, God. <laughs> that's so Legion is just running I'm still running Wind Sweep 3. Wind Sweep 3 with Times Pulse 3. I oh haven't changed God. anything. So you are now's the time. I need to know what those skills are so I can rebuild them. <laughs> if he gets, gets drive tempo, I'm going to be mad. He won't. Uh, uh, that seems very <laughs> unlikely, yeah. Unless female by also gets drive no follow up. Drive then no follow up in four spaces, finger. though? That'd be sick. Um, also, OG yeah. Mia. Summer uh, Mia. Oh, sorry, Summer Mia. That's o oh, the OG yeah. uh, Dagger Cav. Harmonic? Yeah, that'll be pretty nice, because I like using her in resonant battles, and I want her to not Same. struggle as much. Yeah, first Harmonic getting a refine. Um, oh, sure, yeah. She had the neat niche of a slaying dagger with 75% first to damage reduction. And but she forgot so. no follow-up, so she just dies to everything. Um, sure. I remember when she started dying to everything, and I was like, wow. I used oops, to think this unit was I, good. She, is, she was good. It's just a power she creeping was, game. It's insane. Yeah. She and was so fact, cool on release. Yeah. It's yeah. just the guaranteed follow-ups as they got more common um, in the meta. She died. Yeah, and then George. tanking got yeah. way better too. And tanking, yeah, zero. she did zero, she so she was useless. Answer. Zero times one and dying. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, and then Sigurd, which will be insane. That will be scary. Yeah. I don't want to even think about it. Sigurd. I mean, it feels so early, but he's I'm, really I'm a... terrified because, but I'm also like. They gotta do a lot to fix him because right now he doesn't do any damage. He hasn't basically since he came out. Uh, his bulk is weird. What well, he he did damage for an entire year. Yeah, so he he had yeah. his damage was fine for a while. It just fell off a cliff after it fell off, a while. I'd say maybe a half year before I started being like, eh, I can take this. But maybe maybe a little over a half year. But yeah. Well, yeah. you were scared of tanking him because then you get mauled. That's the problem. The, the problem is that you. Yeah, did. And I remember him killing my Marf sometimes too. I was like, what the heck? But his reign of terror. 
begin again. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. actually, like, at first it was him, and then afterwards it was just the threat of him boosting his whole team. Exactly. Because he, he came it, out, uh, he came out with not, and that that just added to the chaos. Oh yeah, note line. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys remember? It was like four knots and just one Sigurd, and it was just like, it's just yeah. Sigurd who's going to kill you, him, but he yeah. goes everywhere on the map. <laughs> you're going to get hit by Sigurd, and then you're going to get followed up by some cheap ass mage calves, but they do damage, so you're just going to die. It's I funny how tea time Sigurd never really took off. I saw him once in a while. What are you talking about? I use tea time Sigurd. He's still good. I mean, he's still good, but he never really took off officially. Tea time Sigurd also suffers from damage problems, ironically. But, that is true. Um, so I, I'll be winning? interested to see how they fix him because that's a really, uh, dangerous. Revival. How you? How are you? How you feeling? Well, are you winning, son? Uh, won't anyone please be Thornier's friend? I was watching his stream yesterday. Oh no! And uh, <laughs> he kept playing with random people in the in the lobbies <laughs> because nobody would play with. Oh him. no, that's sad. <laughs> um, and then for All the right. raid message, I was I wrote him a long message about won't anyone be his friend? <laughs> I am and going the to the streamer out. ignored it. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, you're not gonna be his friend, huh, Legion? Oh my god. Sorry, I'm gonna head out because... Uh, Alright, take your Legion. Well, I think the power might go out, so... Have to get oh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh. Ouch. oh, yeah, it is in New Hampshire. It's looking grim right now. Yeah, uh, I hate it. Uh, have a good night, everybody, and I good will night. see you... Yes, good night. See you, Legion. Chat, please, please, check out my friend Thornier, Thorny Kura. Give him a follow. Please be his friend. He, I, needs I, it. he needs it. It doesn't he matter. He, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're homeless. It doesn't matter if you haven't bathed in four months <laughs> or longer. It he doesn't can't matter. See you. He can't smell you. It's yeah, okay. it, it doesn't matter if you actually hate him. Uh, please be his friend. Yeah. Please. All he can see is your chat. He can't hear you. He can't see you. He can't he, he's a you. good guy. If can't you give him a you. chance, you'll mm -hmm. learn to like him sometimes like I do. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. You're you're really selling him here. Oh please check him out. He's my favorite bottom. There you go. Yeah. Now all the tops will Please be in. his friend. <laughs> he he plays Overwatch because he hates himself, and then he gets his ass beat in Helldivers. I haven't played Helldivers yet. You can make friends. I believe in you, but I'm just helping you along. <laughs> I can make friends. <laughs> it just takes a while. You just, just so you. Okay, I shouldn't reveal this, but like, I've oh, known no. Thornier for how many years now? Thornier, two, three. He wouldn't DM me until like after a year. <laughs> <laughs> Cautious one. Did you always initiate yours? You know, he's just shy. Oh, he's man. Just a shy guy. You know? Yeah, he's he's really shy. That's why. You're shy guy, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll never understand it. Like, what's the worst that can happen online? So it's okay. Well, mm -hmm. Oh, that's well, funny. No, if you're a streamer, it's not really. It's not a. <laughs> In fact, I often make sure to give you the worst of what can happen online by like ruthlessly teasing you and whatnot. Uh, I was scared. I don't want to be annoying. Exactly. Yeah, it's like don't have those fears. Like the. If you're annoying, someone will tell you you're annoying. Thornier, you're annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can help it. I'm sorry. No, you're not annoying, Thornier, you're not. But they'll tell you, don't worry about it. I've known you for years and wouldn't want to DM you either, Kappa. Audio died again? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what causes it, second time tonight. one time yeah, you, it's it's something in OBS because yeah, I don't yeah. hear it. It's something in OBS. OBS. I really don't understand it. Mm. Virgie says, "I've known you for years and wouldn't want to DM you either." That's because you have nothing private to say, and things that you say, should say privately, you you use bits to announce to everybody here. So, I I don't think you should worry about that stuff. I'm gonna hope the audio's fine now. Alright. Okay, rest in pieces. 
Thank you. I will try the rest of pieces. I've read the pieces, but maybe many, no. many pieces. <laughs> wow. I, I, I think I'm going to rest up. Well, isn't that nice to rest even longer? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll stay a little bit longer. I'm not going to rest. All right. Good night. Uh, good night. Yeah, it's Thursday now. My gosh. Tomorrow I'll do a showcase of all the weapon refines, and then I have to play. Oh, I wanted to play it tonight too. I have to play. Um, I have to play two sponsorships. One's like Advance Wars, and the other one is a famous fighting game by uh, a famous fighting game series. So I hope you see you guys there tomorrow as well. IRL voice band. I can't take that right now. I'm, I'm trying to conclude the stream and. Oh my god, I hate Sugma. Can someone ban him already? Do silent yeah, how many here how many people here understand silent silent bitch? Let me let me know. Wait wait, I saw a really funny meme yesterday. Oh shoot, I should probably One sec, I'll show you guys. Um I saw a really funny meme yesterday, it was hilarious. Uh, about, about sign language. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, maybe I, no, I'm not gonna be able to find it. Wait, wait. <laughs> it was... It was a I'm deaf sign language meme. But, uh... It was on. It was on YouTube. Damn it! I don't think I can find it. No. All right. Night. Night. All right, chat, let me see. Uh, it was for banning your guests. That's not how it works. But as usual, nothing, nothing Sugma says makes any sense. Um, let me see. I think it was here. I'm gonna try and find it. But yeah, hey, let us see. Man, yeah, tonight's not gonna be a long stream because tomorrow I gotta do a lot of things. And I hope tomorrow goes well. Oh, I found it. Here. Yo, bro. Your girl's cheating on you, fool. I'm deaf, bro. Sorry, my bad. That effing ho. <laughs> this makes no sense on any level. Because being deaf doesn't stop you from reading a text. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was so funny. Ugh. It makes no sense, but my favorite kinds of jokes are the ones that make no sense. Anyways, at least I found it. Thornier, Thorn how could you? This is why I can't be friends, Thornier. How could you? How could you say that about my mother? She's a nice lady. Why would you even do that? All right, chat. Don't be Thornier's friend. He's a dick. Unbelievable, Thornier. Unbelievable. All right, chat. Let's start wrapping things up. Me tired. So your jokes, Sugma? No, all your jokes suck. In fact, I don't even remember you telling a joke ever. You were asking a question about what? Sugma, I think I think more people w would laugh if you didn't tell a joke. <laughs> In fact, I think it's more funny when you stay quiet. <laughs> See, I'm already laughing. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, I'm so... I'm so terrible. Alright, chat. Anyways, tomorrow's decided. That was a good stream tonight, wasn't it? We covered so much stuff. I did want to do something else at the same time, but I, I want to continue to fix my sleep schedule. I went to bed too early as earlier than the night prior. And if I go to bed sometime soon, I will also go to bed two, earlier, uh, two hours earlier than the night prior. Improvements. It was a good trailer. I agree. Is this Felly? It is. Felon. Mm, when's our next important thing in Faye? And if you say uh, never, uh, I will believe you. It was a good night. Yes, it was a good night. It's Edelgard on Edelgard violence. I'm all for it. On the 13th is the next trailer. Yes, nine days without Faye. All right. I quit. Goodbye, bitches. Or I I, I quit for a week and uh, two days. Next important thing is the next emblem hero in two months. <laughs> Thanks, Fernie. Well, yeah, tomorrow I'll be back for the weapon refund showcase. I do want to find a better balance of content. You guys already know I, I don't just do Faye, but like, I want to do more content that people would enjoy. That makes it sound like no one enjoys my current content. <laughs> I I have so many different uh, viewer bases at this point. That's the reason why I bring it up. Um, because I play so many different games. I want to find a, I want to find a way to like get people to watch, even though they're uh, it's a game that they they aren't directly interested in. Fate just isn't for content. Yeah, it, it isn't really. But I, I need to keep improving myself as a content creator, so. Oh, for a moment there, I thought that was refined. Wait, that's Floretta too, jeez. Wow. That's a fan. It's definitely a fan. Oh, okay, I'm glad that kills Sheeta. I would have been really annoyed if it didn't. Nice. I don't even know. Outside of Faye, I don't know what people like. Jeez, dude. This is why I recommend, like, so many other games for you to play. Like, why don't you just play one of them, man? What's with this, like... You're not as bad as other guys, but, like... There's some people who, like, only care about Faye, and I don't understand that. Like, don't you have another interest in your life? Nowadays, it's about personality, not games, from what I've seen. Uh, a personality only carries you so far. Unless you're a girl, then there's other reasons why it carries you further. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to guy streamers, I don't really see it like that. You're either a pro gamer... It Personality can win anyone over, but it's, it's a lot harder for a guy. Alright, let me check. See if we have anything else to do. Sorry, I don't like Faye and purple haired vampires. You liar! You liar! See, like once a month. Man, Burgess, I missed you, dude. What the heck? Where'd you go? There was a time where I was. I, I think I told you this last time. I was thinking about like people I missed, and one of those people was you. And I was like, man, I haven't seen Burgess in a while. I wonder what happened to him. And then, and then like. You showed up, like, sometime afterwards, and I was like, what? But yeah, prior to that, I was like, I don't remember seeing him for, for months. I met some guys who had a talk with you, even Dex and Legion. What do you mean? They were just there. For the Fade Down Mine trailer discussions. Guys, what do you mean? They were just there. Nikkei. All right, let me check. See if we got everything, chat. Okay.
Is there anything else you guys would be interested in? For those people who only watch me for Faye, is there anything else you're interested in? Genuine question. Hey, I've been dropping it a few times a month lately, yeah. Well, it's not the same as before. I used to beat my butt and be really cool. Now you just bully my butt. <laughs> Bird Jesus, what do I have to do to hear you sing? You know, I, I want to get- Hey! I just realized. Can I DM you or- Granted, that's not like the few times a week it used to be. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I'm glad you realized that. You broke my heart. Alright, um, no, the other thing I want to ask you is like, I want to get into singing. Ever since I've been listening to like, um... This song. By the way, what kind of music do you sing again? This song. I want to sing this song. This is The Pretender by Foo Fighters. It's been on my mind ever since I heard it. I've been wanting to sing it. That dude sings? He actually sings. Yeah, it's the Pretender by Foo Fighters. I really like it. I want to sing. Um, you have any recommendations? But yeah, one of the things I wanted to do this year was to learn how to sing. It's not like I've never sang before. I used to be a choir boy. Are you a stalker? Wait, what do you mean my stalker? Wait, what? Wait, why are you calling me a stalker now? You used to sing this? Oh my god. Alright. My guy. The hell? That's so cool. But yeah. I don't know why. Ever, I, ever since listening to this song, I wanted to sing it. It's so good. Oh, has it begun? Oh, it's begun. Let's see this real quick. You love Foo Fighters too? Yeah. But I really want to learn how to sing the song. I watched another VTuber sing it, and I was just like, Man, that's really good. I really want to learn. This is water weakness. I've already prepared. Are we gonna go play a game? Sounds All right, let's do these real quick. But yeah, that's so cool. I sing, listen to a lot of, of 90s and 2000s grunge rock alternative stuff and a bit of classic rock as well. Yeah, man. Uh, we, I've been listening to a lot of stuff from the 90s and 2000s as of late. Uh, I've been revisiting a lot of my older favorite bands like Rise Against, Incubus, Green Day, Blink-182. We've been listening to like Linkin Park, Nickelback, even some Nirvana. But Nirvana's definitely 90s. Lady Luck is always on our side. Dude, when can you sing for us? Come on. I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. How come how come how come you haven't sang for us? Basically, anything that Chris Cornell was lead singer for is my favorite. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Sing a song, yeah. Audio Slaves, Soundgarden, Temple of the Dog. Wow. You have really good taste. Well, then, 
Not that I would ever question it. Because you watch me and all. I'm surprised we never talked music before. I reached 350 and now it costs 11k core dust. Is that really a big deal? It's just 1,000 more. It takes until 350 for it to be 1,000 more? Hey, Mr. Fujin. How you doing? The game sounds too loud. Mic check. Is this volume okay? I'll drop it a bit more. Just having dinner? I just finished my face stream. Just gonna auto battle through some of these solo raids. I'm glad I checked. I was gonna forget to do these. But I was gonna fail. We're solo level, it doesn't even matter. Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. Bruh. Hey, this is a sensor version. No. Eh. I'm so glad I waited all this time for this, but damn it, man. I, I just need one more boost battery to hit 30 so I can upgrade. I need two more onslaught battery for the upgrades, but I'm so close. I've just been resisting getting them. Please, game, stop tormenting me. Just give it to me already. I also have to pull for uh, Rem and Melia soon, but so busy with other games nowadays. This SSR requires one water unit at least every team. Oh, let me check. Elemental shield. Ugh. That ain't gonna be fun. I'll check. I'll check to see my, um, how many water uh, Nikes I have. Also, I noticed that this is early stream, but Overwatch actually did a joke update. It's, it's funny. You didn't explain what it was. I think we got all these ready. You haven't played, but you were watching. Ah. Let's see. Ludmilla, Privity, Amelia, Dorothy. That's four. And Helm's probably my fifth. Or Tove. I'll be okay. Unless they do some weird elemental shield where you can't can't break it unless you hit it at, at a certain angle or something. Like something weird with range. But I, I'll be fine. Yeah, Lumilla, Privity, Amelia, Dorothy, Helm will be my five. Though ideally it's Privity, Dorothy in the same team. Ugh. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe N102 if I'm desperate. Or Viper, put Viper in. I'm not looking forward to it, but I, I don't think I'm screwed. I think I have enough of the right Nikkei's. Remember Rem. I remember Rem. I will not forget Rem. I will never forget Rem. I'll, I'll have to do the pulse on them soon for Rem. For those who don't know, if you're from Fire Emblem Heroes especially, Nikkei's having collab right now for another six days with ReZero, so you can pull for a Rem from ReZero, who's best girl. And you can still pull for Amelia, who is not best girl, but I guess I'll keep pulling for her because 
I'm starting to like Amelia from, because of this game. It's really weird. But yeah, this game has a collab right now, so it's a good time to start. I remember mentioning Rem because she's also water carry for solar aids. Oh, you're right. Get Rem. If I get Rem, then yeah, I'll be using Rem. You're right about that. Show me your potential, mon ami. All right, I want to try this real quick. Let's do it. I should be able to beat it now. All right, good night, Mario Maniac. This is a good one. I got a bunch of levels since last time, so we should be able to do it, right? See if we can get it. Oh, it's a time gate. That's right. It's time. Give me a few minutes and I'll be right back into it. Oh, it's two. We're at two. We got it. We got it. Hey, we got it. Let's go. It's time gated. That's right. I guess this we did it. A good luck charm, doesn't it? Let's go. Jeez. We I got it finally. Right now, so I won't be able to talk. Thanks, Just Majestic Watermelon. Thanks for dropping on by and saying hi, dude. Thank you. How you doing? We got a chat. One sec. All right. Holy crap. We finally got it. It took forever. Man, I'm just glad we're done with it. I've been trying this for a long time now. All right, one sec.
Okay, I'm back. Let's do a bit more. Let's do this. Lady Luck is always on our side. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Oh shoot, I should get Master Fujin a shout out. We have more mods now, but we still uh need to train them on everything. Uh it's still really late, I mean. Oh my god, it's so easy to die. Thanks, Andre. Head back to Snowfield. Like this. Lady Luck is I always like on our way. side. Intermission. I'm hiding. Give me a few minutes and I'll be right back into it. Lady Luck is always on our side. Oh my god, forget it. Ugh, I'll just take the 150. I'm too tired to really grind too much tonight. Four hundred core dust. The heck kind of deal is that? That's six times effective. What's the point of that? All right, one fifty it is. First to reach one fifty in the server. One fifty. 150, feels nice. 142. That still needs work. Tyrus. All right. Alright, we did good, we did good. Two little things remaining. Upgrade. Three five five one eight. Three five nine five six. Wow, that's a big upgrade. Alright, but finally my leader is complete. Ten four ten. And Naga. Three nine four seven four. Three nine seven one eight. All right, I'm just one level away from maxing out her her second. Feels good. We're we're getting close. I get about twenty of these, so in ten days. 
in 10 days, I should be able to get the burst manual and we'll be good with that. I thought we we're going to have more full burst days. I guess 45. So yeah, in 10 days. I'll get Naga to um, 10, 9, 8. But yeah, I think I should finish my Naga first. Finish Naga. Now that Leaders is finished and Tia is finished. You say I look like a kindergartner? You take that back. <laughs> now I finished these two. I just want to finish Naga, Modernia, then I'll work on Amelia and Scarlet, and then that everything is done. Then all the all the all the characters I really care about are done. That's the goal. All right, let's rematch this dude real quick. Match, match. Match, 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 match. This team sometimes loses now. I don't understand why. I guess the, his firepower just got, uh, enemy firepower just got a lot higher. I have, a f I have a extra level increase on him though. He's up by about 4k and I'm up by about 4k as well. So it's about even. Even. Alright, let's do it. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, wow. Okay. I should just go for speed. I should just go for speed on that team. It doesn't work anymore. His damage has increased by a lot. I'm losing the first battle now, which makes me really unhappy about it. That first battle, I took so much pride in winning before, but now I guess we're just going to lose it. I can't survive long enough to burst. And there's not really a lot I can change because there's no burst. Uh, there's no batteries I can shift around in the team. All right, four minutes to finish the daily. Let me do that.
I'm just finishing up my Code Guess dailies. You're still awake? What the heck? I only streamed for 5 hours and 40 minutes today. It's a pretty short stream, all things considered. Hey, Dingy, what's up? I can't let the others see me like this. My next level is going to be huge. It'll be the breakpoint level. I think I'm done with Nikkei for a night. Oh, I'm glad I logged in though. I was gonna forget it was Solar Raid starting today. I I think I have a problem. I mean, I have many problems, but like I I always feel like I'm forgetting something in Nikkei, but it, I'm not. It literally tells you, it gives you a red dot if you're forgetting something. Yeah. I'm gonna not look at it. And get past that. That's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. We can play a bit more. Is there a patch? <laughs> is everyone sleepy? <laughs> the chat is always so dead at this time of night. If anyone falls asleep, to me during a stream. People have said that before. I don't know how people do that. How do you give people nightmares, chat? Is there things you can whisper to give people a nightmare? I fall asleep to you a lot. How dare you? I would never fall asleep to you. I'm a little sleepy. I have several times. Is there a way I can like give you guys nightmares? Is there something I can say to you? If I keep whispering, your pee pee fell off. Your pee pee fell off. It detached. It withered. It it inverted. You think you can have like a nightmare with like that? I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, shoot. I should have logged on earlier. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. I am very sleepy. Right hey, Rylas, you're still here? How are you? Also, how do I say your name correctly? Thornier says your name wrong all the time, and I don't want to be a Thornier. You know. I'm better than that. That's right. I'm better than I'm better Thornier. Than and I will say, say it correctly. Boom. I don't. I know what I can whisper to give you nightmare. Do so. <laughs> How could you? Stand still. It won't work regardless because earphones Time always fall off. Aw. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. All will be swept away by the wind. 
Mm, this is a very satisfying day today, even though all I did was Faye. If you're putting viewers to sleep theoretically, you're doing something wrong, but it's it's 4 a.m. I'm like, I mean, come on. Yeah, but like, you should be so exciting that no one would fall asleep to you ever. At least that's what I think should happen. It's hard to do, though. Say my name again. Rylus. Is that, is that wrong? Time to say bye. Boom. People say you have a cozy voice, so maybe you have an ASMR of energy. <laughs> cozy voice? I don't, I don't think anything that, about that's cozy. It's time to join the dubbing industry. Well, I do want to learn how to sing this year, and I do want to start learning how to be a voice actor as well. Say it again. Hey, is this a kink of yours, Rylus? Enjoying yourself? All will be swept away by the wind. To betray my customers, I charge extra. You could take the Yang Ya route. He put the fact that he was a million subscribers on his channel on his resume. Is that actually on his resume? That's so weird. Did he actually? Has anyone played the new um like a dragon game? He's playing the voice of Kiryu in uh, English, no? How is it? And awaken. Like, I watch his videos creation. and stuff, but I never thought of him as a VA. No, I'm just very unfocused right now. Oh, okay. I'm seeing it right? Good. Good. Relax. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. I saw this guy play it and he hated it because it made him no money. Wait, what? Time to say what is that? The heck is that thing? What? Together as one. I don't know who that is. Relax. Stand still. I'm gonna do the Monopoly game in a bit. Human creations. Existence is unity. Time to say bye. Boom. Mm -hmm. Relax. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. Copy. <laughs> Suppress. The heck? <laughs> Stand still. Unscathed. Time to say bye. Boom. The heck? Did I really not log into any of these tonight? I think I didn't. Oh my gosh. Playing too many gacha games. Alright, one more and then let's play the Monopoly game. I'm still farming these. I don't even know if I still need them. And it's Phil. It looks like an alright game, but definitely one that takes a very specific person and energy stream. And Phil has no energy. He's got a lot of flack for it. Maybe something is too harsh, but it just wasn't great for, to me. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Wait, Phil? The only Phil I know is you. Mr. Darkside Phil. Be swept away by the wind. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. Oh, you mean Young Ya voice acting? Enjoying yourself? Suppress. Oh, 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 sorry. I I didn't read it correctly. I can't believe I didn't do that. What that's weird. What the heck? 
Okay, now I know what you're writing. Yeah. Yeah, he did get a flak for it. But I don't know. I think that's fair. I, I don't think he has the voice profile for it. It's not all his fault because they casted him. Right? If someone came with you a big check and they want you to do something that you really wanted to do, is it really your fault for like taking the money and doing it? Like, I don't think so. All right, let's play the Monopoly game. Lob is also the voice director. Yeah. The voice director can only do so much too, though. Again, I think he has the wrong voice profile for Kuryu, so it doesn't make sense. Alright, let's play the Monopoly game. You can call me Re, Rila, Rylas, or even Rogue, or anything you- Really, as long as you don't pronounce Re as Re. Re! I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. It's Rylas. It's an I. I can say eyes. You look more friendly or more approachable. Give us your breast curry impression? I can't. I'm also tired right now. I have a hundred excuses ready for this. You think you're gonna get a, a curry impression out of me right now? Never. Maybe in another lifetime where you're actually lucky. No, uh, I'm talking about Curry the the Curry the panda bear. Curry the, the 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 Chinese panda bear. He's been on tour in China for the past month, and uh, Yang Ya has to voice act as a panda. And obviously, he doesn't have the voice profile for a panda. Like, has anyone ever even heard a panda speak before? I've only heard it twice now. They speak in a very uh, deep, rigid evil voice and yeah obviously young yeah as a as a youtube news reporter um doesn't have the voice to pull it off but props to him for trying to make uh curry the panda work but yeah it's it's only a natural people shoot him out for it oh like rye ryless yeah All right, all right, Rai Rai. Oh, ah, I'm glad you understand, Andre. Yeah. Pesh also 140. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I only have one more. End game, what the heck? What? what the hell's that end game thing? That's new. Oh, let's go checkpoint. Yay. <laughs> Require number movements. All right, let's try our luck. Oh, let's go. You keep moving for eight steps. What? Is that good? You know Herta's super busy, but each time you meet, she always reminds you to test out the similar universe if you're not busy. But now the Herta puppet before he's full of joy. Oh. 
Respond in kind. Oh my gosh. She nonchalantly hands you a bag of snacks. There's nothing strange in them. Oh my god, so much money. Please be three, two, nice. Two. Oh, nice! Double house. Dude, I have so much fun with this game, it's crazy. The Curio Joy filtration set appears to have been used a little too frequently by other researchers. The researchers who manage the Curio wonders if the feature should be changed. It's not even open this can work. Of course. What do you think? Happiness grows on trees? Yeah. Any happiness that can be bought is already cheap. You notice the researchers sur sur surreptitious surreptitiously turn off the food order robot. Why would such people even do this, you will? An opportunity to report to that technician. Honestly, that's nothing to do with me. Yeah, let's report him. Huh? Turns out it's a te technician too. Wow. The children abroad, the space station mature faster than most, but child on child bullying is still a juvenile offense. You run into such a scene, get them to shut their traps. None of my business. Let the kids resolve them. Indeed, your life has one fewer problem. Arlen has asked that you eliminate antimatter legion remnants in his zone to protect the public assets. You're no s yet you're surprised to find out that there are no monsters, but a wubba boot breaking the equipment there. Make it stay and work for you. Issue him a ticket requesting compensation. <laughs> hey, stop that. You're charged with tending to raw maze creations. One of them, the butler, is causing trouble and also appears to be high of standing among the other creations. You take a look. Do it a favor. Okay, sure. But it wouldn't even utter a word of gratitude for you. Okay, fine. No, Robin. Robin Duo is a W. I was fearing after Byleth. Byleth. Male Robin W, but no little Lucy. F Robin Crom Duo is pr pretty surprising. They usually don't do male female duels unless they're in a family or a canon relationship. Uh, yeah, it's usually a family relationship, you're right. Oh, shoot. Nice prize. I need a, I need a two or a three. Oh, it's a two. I'm just going to take this entire route. I have 37 land tiles now. One. You act as Natasha's assistant at the Boulder Town Clinic. A minor has become comatose due to an accident. Natasha does her best to treat him and hopes that the family can keep talking to the patient. If he wakes within 10 hours, the worst will probably pass, but if he doesn't, it will be a dangerous situation. His family has tried umpteen times to no avail, and Natasha looks like you. Requesting the usage of physical methods. Sure. Wake the patient up with a swift slap across the face. Oh. Was that wrong? I think we should have done that. Why don't we beat that guy up? Oh my god, I'm getting all the low rolls. Mechanical Fever has been playing to a full house, extremely popular. Maybe a name change will be more appropriate. 74,000, oh my gosh. Oh, come on. I, why are my rolls so bad? These are some really bad rolls. Um, I think I want to end up here on the shop tile. So I want to roll two.
by ordering dice. Oh, what happens if you run on it again? The Brawl Happy Celia. Oh, sure, we've done this before. Help her clear her mind. Let's try it. it. I know how to dance. Try more. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh my god, 120k. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're done. I'm almost completely done with this. Only two more. I can finish it, but I don't want to. All right, chat. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, follow. And check me out. But yeah, I think I'm done. It's a short stream today, only six hours. But I wanna stream on time tomorrow because we got a lot to do. I really wanna. Um, I really wanna pull for Akira on soon. I still have not done it. And I love her. Okay, well, she's super cool. We still have 13 days left, but yeah, I gotta pull for her soon, so. Be sure to follow for to see that. And only a six hour short stream. Don't you also do super long streams? You're Mr. 12 hours, as far as I'm concerned. 12 hours is a long time. I don't know who this is. pose if you're new be sure to follow so we'll see each other again i will ray oh she's sick oh she's summoning too All right, we'll, we'll raid her and um, she's sick and she's pulling chat. Let's wish her luck. All right, come on, take part. Let's make someone's night. We're raiding Elena and I'm not making it up. Oh, there's our stream message, heal and rail. All right, that's our that's our stream message. Uh, how do I make the sun emoji? Glowing star. All right, we'll just go with this message. They're gonna she's gonna think we're mentally ill. We are mentally ill. What are you talking about? Wow, how the hell did you copy it? Why can't I copy it correctly? I can't copy it correctly for some reason, what? All right, anyways. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Please have a good night. 
Uh, take care, Swilling Dingy. Good night, Rylas. Good night, Majestic Watermelon. Good night, Fernie. Good night, Andre. Good night, Potato. Good night, Len. Good night, Peepos. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll be back tomorrow. Hope to see you guys then. But yeah, to Alina we go. Good night, Philly. Good night, everyone.